Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Creative Live. We are here on day two of our three-day workshop with Clay Blackmore. Pose it, light it, love it. My name is Kenan Klosterman, and I'll be your host today, along with the beautiful Larray Lobdell. Larray, how are you this morning? I am doing fabulous, Kenneth. Thank you so much. The energy here, again, is awesome. Yesterday was absolutely fun. Clay was on so, fire. Yeah, and then it kind of was contagious, because we were all like, it, yeah, yeah, we were totally pumped up. So excited for today. It was. The day flew by like that. It sure did. It sure did. All right, everyone, we're going to do a little bit of pre-show. And the goal of the pre-show is to make sure that you can see us and hear us. So let us know, click on into the chat room, which is a little button right there, maybe it's over here, um, for the green chat with live participants button, and let us know if you can see us and hear us. Also, let us know where you're joining us from. We love to do those shout outs, and also we would love to hear what your biggest ahas were yesterday, or what it was, the biggest thing that you learned yesterday. All right, and while you guys are doing that, um, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the in-studio audience here at our Seattle location. And our students have just been absolutely amazing, so I'm going to have you guys introduce yourselves, uh, let people know your name, how they can find you online, and kind of your um, takeaways from yesterday, what it was like to work with Clay one-on-one, -on -one, the master here at Creative Live. So Jerry, we'll start with you. Um, my name is Jerry Hughes, and you can find me at um, fjhughes.com or on Twitter at jerryhughes67. And yesterday was just simply amazing. The energy in this room was um, difficult to keep up with. It, uh, an eight-hour seminar seemed like it took two hours. I, I went home. I was exhilarated and exhausted both. Um, turned on the rebroadcast and you know just tried to recapture what happened yesterday because it happened so fast. I can't imagine how someone online was trying to keep up because I was here and I had to go home and look at it again to you know, try to recap what happened. So. I love that. And did you find that when you were doing the, when you were watching again, that you were like, wait, I totally missed that part? Or were there things that you were thinking to yourself, gosh, I can't believe I was there and I didn't even catch that? Because that happens to me all the time. Yeah, absolutely. Like, here I am, I'm watching myself on stage <laughs> and I'm like, well, how did that happen? Or when did that <laughs> happen? So, yeah. It was pretty great. It was a great experience. Can't wait for today and, and tomorrow. Now, I believe at the end of the day, you all were given homework, and we are going to review that in this first segment, the end of this first segment. Tell me a little bit about that. That was After you were exhausted and exhilarated. It was terrifying because, you know, know that based on um, how many hits my website got yesterday, I know Ooh. there's a lot of people watching. So um, knowing that I was going to have to um, show this in front of a bunch of people, it was terrifying. I didn't have a model. My nine-year-old came home from cheerleading practice, had a little dress laid out for her, and I go, I need you to take a picture. And she's just done with me taking pictures. She's been my experiment for the last <laughs> two years. I don't want to. I'm like, I need you to. So tears, she goes, I'll do it, but I'm going to do it in my cheer cheerleading practice. I'm like, it's not what I've got the color set up for. So, but I'll take what I can get. I had 15 minutes, put it together, and... Um, just hey, that's my fingers that it's acceptable. Well, we'll be looking at those later today, and I hope that all of you out there did some of that homework as well. Um, and what I love about that story is just that's real life. Yeah. Especially if you photograph kids. I mean, my goodness, that is, uh, you don't always get smiley, happy kids. I so. took the last click, and then she was in tears. So, all right, yeah. all right. Well, we look forward to seeing those. <laughs> Christina. Good morning, my name's Christina. Uh, you can find me on Ripley. Um, yesterday, like Jerry said, was mind-blowing, exhausting, exhilarating. It just, wow. Um, having no real experience with models or posing or anything like that, yesterday was fabulous. Just the very basics. It was perfect. That's awesome. Yeah, and, and for those of you who weren't with us yesterday, Christina is uh, starting pretty, pretty early in her photography, and so uh, it was so great to see you get so jazzed yesterday, yeah. so thank you. And I'm Monica from Tacoma Family Affair Phot Photography, and um, yesterday what I took away was just getting back to the fundamentals um, and then building from there, and there was a lot I missed in the rewatches too, so I was just exhilarated by it all. It well, was that's, awesome. And experience. that is the beautiful thing uh, when you own the workshop is truly that you can go back and go segment by segment and really stop and go and practice uh, because there were so many different looks and feels and shoots 
and whether it was one person, two people, a family uh, that we did yesterday, and that was only on the first day. So. Exactly. I mean, just as an example, my husband watched it three times, the rewatches different parts of it because he had missed parts. So I. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Tell me about your homework. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a challenge, too, because. Um, my model was my daughter who was leaving on a date, so she told me I had five minutes, put five minutes on the timer. So I had five minutes from the time I pulled up into the front of the house to finding a location, finding lighting, and getting her three pictures, and she bolted after that. So, Wow, another I, real world experience. Oh, I yes. love it. I love it. Can't wait to see how it all turned out. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Don. Hi, I'm Don, uh, donaldfam.com. Um, yeah, yesterday was good because it, the main thing it taught us was like what we need to practice because obviously you need a lot of, it's not just knowing, knowing what you need to know, but actually doing it over and over again. And you have, in order to do that, you have to pick up the right habits. And that's what Clay focused on is helping us develop the right habits. Uh, the homework assignment was pretty crazy. I couldn't find anyone until 1 a.m., which normally wouldn't be a problem, except for the fact that I had to wake up 6 a.m. yesterday at 6 a.m. today to get wow. here. Wow. Dedicated, Don. That so, is dedication. And like, I forgot so many stuff. I forgot the tripod. I forgot the tripod. All right. Well, uh, yeah. again, real life. <laughs> yeah. All right, Lorraine, let's quickly hear who is joining us online. All right, the chat rooms are already buzzing this morning. We have, let's see, Scott Carpenter Photography joining in from Ontario, California, or, uh, Canada. We have Dom joining in from the Bahamas, Paulo Tibet, joining in from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Good morning to all of you. And we have uh, Robin in the Netherlands, Carolyn from Nova Scotia, Teddy Bear joining in from Kenya, Team Disney joining in from Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, Dismos from Greece. We have an amazing global audience represented today, and I'm so happy that you are all in here. There's quite a few saying that uh, big things that they learn. Uh, let's see, Qual's photo says, uh, I love how Clay openly admits that he received help from others and is sharing what he has learned with us. For me, that means remember to give back. That's fantastic. so many great people in the in the chat rooms already this morning. I love yeah. it. I love it. And Clay certainly is one who is all about giving back, whether that is through education or I know he does a lot of other charity work as well. So um, go check out his website if you have not already. All right. Well, it is that time to get started, everybody. Welcome to Creative Live. We are here on day two of Clay Blackmore's Pose It, Light It, and Love It. And I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial about how to watch today's class, how to ask questions in chat, and how to purchase the course videos. There's one place to watch Creative Live, and that is creativelive.com live. You can take us on the go on your iPhone, iPad, or Android-friendly device. So wherever you are today, take Clay along with you. Let's take a look at the live page that you should be watching right now. You can see that up on the top there, you can, wherever you are on the Creative Live website, you can see what is playing at Creative Live at that particular time. So you can hover over that watch button and choose the course that you're looking to watch. Beneath the video feed that you're watching right now is the easiest way for you to add this course to your Creative Live library. You can purchase anytime access to the course, and that allows you, like I said, anytime access so that you can go back and learn at your own pace or see the parts that you may have missed. We read off, Lorray read off, where people are joining us from all over the world. We would love to have you actually not just watch, but participate in this Creative Live classroom. This is your opportunity to ask your questions of Clay Blackmore. This is a huge opportunity, especially for those of you who are all over the world. So you can go ahead and click into that green chat button, and there are three tabs, and we're going to talk about each one. So the first tab is the Creative Live tab, and this is the chat room for you to have your on-topic conversations. So once again, we invite you to share with each other. Talk about what we're learning today. There is so much that we're doing here. Share your resources for things that are on topic. We love to see you guys asking each other questions and getting those answers from the global community. The second tab is there for your questions for Clay. 
And again, these are what we, what Lorraine and I will be able to ask Clay throughout the day. Tell us your name, where you're joining us from, when you ask those questions, and again, feel free to just drop those in there. We have a team of folks behind the scenes who are in there hanging out with you in the chat rooms and passing those questions along so that we can ask them when they are on topic. And finally, we have the creative lounge. This is the room for you guys to build community and have fun. Again, keep it family friendly in there, but you're free to talk about whatever you would like there in the lounge. So in addition to the chat rooms, we would also love to see you and engage with us on social media. So the two best spots are on Facebook, creativefacebook.com slash creative live. Give us a like there if you have not already. We are nearly at 90,000 and growing. I would love to see that number um, get over 90,000 during this event. How fun would that be? So invite somebody on Facebook to this workshop. If you all invited one person, again, the more the merrier uh, here in these free live events. And we are also using the hashtag Clay Live. So we'll be looking for your comments and questions there on Twitter as well. So let's talk a little bit about how Creative Live works for those of you who might be new. We try to reach as many people as possible all over the world for free during our live events. This is three days with Clay Blackmore, world-renowned instructor and photographer. And again, anybody out there who has internet access can watch it. We do a rebroadcast. So at the end of the day today, we end about 4 o'clock our Pacific time here in Seattle. We will start a rebroadcast as quickly as we can for those of you who may have missed parts of the day or that might be asleep right now in other parts of the world. And then, if you so choose, if you can't make all of the watching the whole three days, uh, you can choose to purchase anytime access to the course videos. It's $149 for all three days. However, during the live event, you can purchase anytime access for $99. So in addition to bringing free education to folks all over the world, we also like to make this education as affordable as possible so that we can still continue to bring all of you world-renowned instructors. Let's take a look at the course page. This is where you will find all of the content that is related to this workshop, Pose It, Light It, Love It. So first, you'll see that you can still enroll for this course for free. That gives you upcoming notifications about this course and all those important details. You can also purchase the course right here on the course page itself. Clay has included a beautiful little PDF that is a bonus material for this course. So when you purchase the course, you can also get Clay's top 10 portraits of all time, plus two, as Clay couldn't keep it to just those 10. And he goes through in detail talking about how he created each of those portraits. And this is just a beautiful bonus piece Thank you, Clay, for including that in the paid downloads. So there are a couple different ways that you can watch Creative Live when you do purchase those access to the content. The first one is you can download the video files. We break them out into bite-sized chunks so that you can go back and reference exactly what you were looking for. And you can download those in both the high-res and the low-res versions, which are great for your mobile devices. And then anytime you can stream directly from the Creative Live website itself. We are doing a massive contest for this workshop. This is not our normal quote contest. This, everybody, is a photo contest. Clay wants to see your best portrait. And if you go to our Facebook page, check out the photo contest. All the details are there, but basically you have until 2 o'clock today. That's only five more hours here Pacific Coast time to enter the contest. We are giving away over $5,000 worth of prizes. Uh, Clay has brought in the big guns. He has collected all of his many sponsors. Go to creativelive.com slash blog. See what we're giving away. It's amazing bundles. The grand prize is $2,000, almost $2,000. Clay continues to throw things in that he wants people to win. So amazing, amazing opportunity. In addition to submitting uh, your photos for this contest, you guys are going to pick the winners. So go on over to Facebook. This is where you're going to vote for the entries that are already there. Again, you've got five more hours to enter the contest, and we can't wait to announce those winners tomorrow. So with that, everybody, it is my pleasure to welcome back to the Creative Live stage 
Mr. Clay Blackmore. Come All on right. up, Clay. Woo. Woo. <laughs> All right. We're huggers, right? We Give are me a hug. Huggers. Okay, good girl. How are you feeling today, I'm feeling Clay? great. You know, I'm on fire because I, yesterday I looked at the pictures. <clears throat> I was up late just editing and playing, and I've just got a whole new day for you. We're going to really let them have it. We're going to do window light. We're going to add strobe. We're going to go on the roof, and we're going to do families and children. I hope they just throw a bunch of kids at me because that's really one of my loves. I have a seven-year-old at home, Aww. and every stage of the life of, of Daniel, I learned the tricks. So I'm going to give you all my shortcuts for kids today. And again, that is going to be real <laughs> life. And yes, he just said it. We are going up on the Creative Live roof, so that is very exciting. That's going to be in the second segment. Exciting of the day. for you. It's not exciting for me because <laughs> it is the most difficult place to work on this whole Seattle landscape. We're going to be out in the open where I can take no cover, and my whole teaching mantra is take cover. I'm in cover here. The light's coming in up there. I have no cover. So let's see what I can do. Again, real life <laughs> scenarios. Okay. I'm going to hand this to you for okay. when you need it. Is that cool? I think I'm going to judge some homework or take a look at your work right now. I think I hope we're so. going to do that. Oh, we are doing that Let's now. Let's take okay. a look now. Fantastic. I think we're going to take a look. I Go hope right your ahead. names aren't associated. They probably are, but uh, let's take a look at picture number one. Christina, we're going to say sorry. We're going to put the pressure on you. So here we've got a full face, a profile, and a two thirds. Okay, let's go back and take a look at these. On your full face portrait, you've done well here. One problem you've got, and a lot of people do this, you put your subject right up against the background. So that feels a little bit, um, to me, busy. My eye wants to see the background. I want the background to disappear. So bring your subject off the wall. One thing you did here, which is very common, and I see this all the time, her eyes are right in the middle of the picture, right here. Where do those eyes belong? Upper third. So sometimes I even cut off the top of the head on a picture, but I have samples in my studio to show the customers. I do that because it's a close-up, and, and you can get away with it. Watch those beautiful Hollywood movies, and you'll see the heads cut off all the time on you know, Humphrey Bogart and you know, all these great movie stars and Marilyn Monroe. They're in close. They're cutting the heads off. So we can get away with that if we're in close. The eyeglasses have no reflection. You did well with that. I want to really point out one thing that you did here. You've got, you've got the feminine pose posed well, okay? I love it. I want a little more support. I need a little more support, okay? You see, see how you cut in close? But when she leans this way and turns her face this way, where does the light need to be? Over here. You've got the light over here. You've got your loop shadow, but the light needs to come on this side. Other than that, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, here we go. The profile's great. She's got a, 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 an area here that you might want to go in and liquefy a little bit, and the eyeglasses you might just take off for the profile, right? But I think other than that, the light here also is a little flat. Doesn't it feel like it's kind of flat, so you want to bring that light around for me? But your two-third view, I mean, I really think you nailed it. You've got the light on the correct side. The catch lights look good. I think that's great. I just think you should pull back a little bit, give her a little breathing room, and maybe get her off the wall just a little bit with a separation light behind. Very good. I, that last portrait kind of saved you. All right, here we go. Full face. Let's talk about it. <clears throat> shoulders. First thing I see are the shoulders are square and they're level. So I'm going to drop one of the shoulders. This is you, Monica? So other than that, you know, I think it's... A, She's not cooperating. That's why we have to be quick and boldness of attack and, and bribe them. I'll take you out to dinner if you'll just do this for me. So there's your two-third view. And this is a, an area we talked about as a tip, is try to keep your eyes centered. You see how she's cutting her eyes back at you? I call those Egyptian eyes, like on a profile they used to put the pupil right there on the edge. You know, it looked really funny. So what you need to do here is to get the shoulders posed first, then tip the head to the high shoulder. You know how I remember this when I was teaching it once? All right, here we go. Can you, th can you four sit up? Sit up in your chairs. Do you guys have a camera on my, my four students as well? I want you to lean this way and look that way. Now tip your head that way. Now lean this way and look that way. All right? Lean this way and look that way. Come on, Don, you're part of this. Sit up. Now hands on your hips. Sit up. Come on, sit up. Pose light, lift for fine. Go this way and look that way. Look, yeah, there you go. You're on the feminine pose. Now go this way and look that way. All right, now in, in unison, let's go. I want you to clap with me. Amen. Hey, 
Now, you think I'm kidding, but you're going to get to a wedding or a portrait, you're going to say, that guy was crazy. But you know what? I did remember that because of that little trick he did with this. So you lean this way and you look that way. You lean this way and you look that way. And what's happening here, you've got her just kind of going like this out of the side of her face. Okay? Let's keep going. Again, here the light's a little flat, and where are the shoulders? They're sideways. They need to be 45. So what's really neat, I really never hammered this home, is that let's say that I'm, here's my light source here. I want to be turning my body away from the light, tipping my head here. The light's in place one time, right? Loop shadow. Now watch this. I'm going to go to two-thirds. The light is like locked on. Now I'm going to go to profile. The light's locked on. So as you go around the profile, <clears throat> that light needs to be coming from back here. Okay? But this is great. You got to keep after it. Here we go, Don. Beautiful portrait. I just think so far, this one just jumps off the page. The lighting's a little bit flat. She needs to bring her elbows out. She's in a two third view with her eyes cut back to the camera. I like the portrait a lot. She would be looking straight ahead for the views we were showing yesterday. But I said yesterday, when the picture looks good, take it. I want to get a little more support, a little more separation. The lighting also here seems <clears throat> very flat. Are you using off camera? I see a little bit of shadow there. You're off camera lighting, aren't you? Yep, there's the shadow. Good job, Don. I like what you did here. And now you've got the full face. Here's that thing where we talked about expression. What is the perfect expression for a portrait? Think of the Mona Lisa. Seriously, they always say in all times, she's got this hint of a smile, and all you want to do is know what she's thinking about. So it's an afterglow of a smile. Big toothy grin, your eyes close a lot. We found that out with Hannah. Today I'm going to do a portrait any second here, the sooner the better, because I want to shoot. I said today, the producer, I had this slideshow that was like 20 slides, 40 slides. She says, just shoot. That's what the audience wants, and that's what I love to do. And that's a nice profile. <clears throat> but what you have here, you've got her leaning down this direction. So she needs to be going this way, looking that way. Remember that. You see? You've got her going like this. She needs to be like that. That should be the back shoulder, okay? You know, on this subject right here, can, Hannah, can you just walk in here, my model, and just hand me that little statue right over here? I want to just hold that up again. <laughs> all right. Jerry, all right. Jerry's crawling under the chair. Thank you. You can go off, off the stage, Jerry. Let me just go back here again. You know, when you start looking at this statue and realize it's just that, she never moves. The light moves with her, and when we come by window light right now, it's going to bring it home in a big way, I promise you, because it's going to be, it's going to be the camera position, okay? So full length, so we're going to go full face. So this one's it's a cute picture. I mean, if I were to critique it, I feel like what's happening here, you know, it's just kind of stiff. Look at her shoulders. Drop the back shoulder, point the knee. Remember the feet position? So you shot this picture last night? Yes. Wow, okay. Did you get in close? Here we go. There's the profile. But what's happening? The light's on the wrong side. You see, the light should be over here coming from the back. So it feels a little flat. But this is a, a fun portrait. I'm sure she would love it. She's kind of leaning like this. I want her to lean this way. You know what I mean? And tip her head back. Do you know where a great place to learn how to do this? Go to an art museum. I, I love D.C. because we have the National Portrait Gallery. <clears throat> if I go to Paris, the first thing is, well, let's go to... Uh, the Montmartre is a great place for museums, but what's that, the, the D'Orsay, Museum d'Orsay. You go every floor, and you know if a painter is going to start a portrait and he's going to spend four months on that canvas, he's going to get the pose and the light really good. And that's where all these things I'm showing you come from, and we don't have to try to reinvent it. It's all done in art like that. So I think before I shoot, can I run through a few slides here? Let's see what I have here. Do I have my little PowerPoint up? And um, we're going to add flash today, too. Flash is also... Everybody loves these little speed lights, and so the whole industry seems to want to go to the battery-operated system. You see me out there with those big lights yesterday, and you're like, well, I would never do that. Do you know, I'm telling you guys, those things pack into two bags, under 50 pounds each, what I had on stage yesterday. And that's why the work looks so good. And I find that the people that take the effort to do more and to go out there and get it all the way, they're the people that are successful. The people that want to go the easy way out, I feel they're the ones that are struggling. So let's go through this real fast and start shooting. Look how gorgeous the window is here. I'm looking at the young lady in the window down below. See how soft the light is? See the profile? This was a sunny day, so look what I did. I put the scrim in the window. If you look at her catch lights in her eyes right there, they're gigantic. Because I made my own softbox right there. Did you see that? So here's what I call harnessing the light. 
And we're going to do this right now. That's nothing but a window. So what I have to do when I say harness the light is I want to turn the face to the shadow. Does that make sense to you? See the loop shadow? So she's not looking into the window. I'd like to do this right here. The window's here. If I look into the window, the window is, my light's going to be flat, okay? But if I turn my face like this, now I've got the shadowing in here that you see in this photograph. It's exactly what we did yesterday. This is one of my favorite pain, uh, portraits, and Jane Connor Zeiser, she's amazing, did some post-production on it. But this is in a garage. We just opened the, the garage door up, split lighting and a reflector. Isn't that beautiful? And that's just all window light. This is kind of what it's going to look like today. The background's a simple pop-out Westcott background. You know, this could go everywhere I go because it's white, black, and it's nondescript, and it's an easy way to work. My friend's wife broke water when we were in the air flying home from Fort Lauderdale, and I took him home, and the first thing we did, it's a long story, and I'm not going to tell it, Jen, but it's a great story. But this baby was born about eight hours later in a home birth, and that picture just really resonates to all of us. But look at the profile. Look at the two-thirds, and even the dogs in profile. You see that? The St. Bernard. I feel like it's a Norman Rockwell painting to me. But knowing which side to put the reflector on is, is really crucial. Normally, you would put the reflector on the shadowed side of the face. Do you see that the reflector here is on the highlight side? I'm going to show you why. Because <clears throat> it can create a beautiful highlight. When I'm at a wedding, I'm always using windows, but look, look what I'm doing. I'm shooting towards the window. This is window light at my back. It's very amateur feeling to that picture to me. If I turn around and shoot into the window, I feel like I'm getting better lighting. So I like to work into the window, shooting in and making these beautiful feelings showing the window. Now this is a picture I set up and then I walked away and one of my associates took this photograph and the camera's too high. I don't even think about camera height. It's one of those things that's drilled into me for a full length, what's camera height? The navel. Then that, that camera is too high and it distorts the picture and I, don't, I didn't even show this to the bride. But that's so important. Now look, kids, now we've been having fun with Pose Light, Lift Refine. When it comes to children, we don't pose them. We don't light them. We just hope we get them. We're going to anchor them and we're going to play a game with them. And the windows are the way to go because you can put the parents outside the window. And this little guy, Bradley, I did a book for him and he just came to the studio the other day. His mother's outside and he's going... Hey, there's mommy. Click, click, click. Now, at this moment, I could make a little noise or have a bell, and he would look right at me, and we have the shot. This slide is in here for one reason, to show you this muslin that I've kind of clipped across the bottom of the garage door. Do you see that? What do you think I'm doing there? Vignetting the light. So this studio is made for it, because you see, we don't have low windows. But usually when you go into a house, much of the light comes in from below. Why? It bounces off the pavement, there's an eave over the roof, and so the light comes in low, and it'll light up a wedding gown. The bride's got makeup on, her gown's two stops brighter, she stands by the window, the light's hitting her gown, and her face is already two stops darker, and we miss it. So what are we going to do? We're going to vignette the light, lower the people, put scrims in the base of the windows. That's really important. And there's the portrait right there. I mean, it's just a headshot for a young actor made all by window light. I'm shooting through a little ring. It's a little daylight uh, fluorescent ring. And then we went to a darker background here. And I thought the background was too dark. I put a little bare bulb in. So you could know that flash is daylight. Flash is balanced for daylight. So we can use window light and daylight together. That Q flash is amazing. I'm going to use it on the roof today. It's bare bulb here. I'll hold it in a second. You can go bare bulb or reflector. When I made the PDF for you guys to, the, that buy the course, I was writing little stories about each of those pictures. Over half of my favorite pictures in there were made with a Q-Flash. It always works. It's always there. It's strong. It's weak. It's durable. It's rugged. It's the quantum Q-Flash. I've always used it. Here's her bat mitzvah. I put an orchid on the posing table and shot through the orchid. Now, that's what we call layers of depth. You know, Hansen Fong said, let your eye, you know, three-dimensional feel come into the camera by building layers, shooting through things like that. Now, this is just a reflector and a scrim. This is probably what's going to happen on the roof today because it's nondescript. It's the uncluttered look. It's just one reflector. And then this is the same thing in infrared. Now, infrared's become a big tool for me, so when we go on the roof, let's take our IR camera. We have it modified. It'll always shoot black and white IR. Here, we're just shooting through some dirty glass. It's called harnessing the light, and look what we did. We came up with that image. 
Again, this, this is one of my favorite pictures from this whole wedding. I'm in the house, they're in the doorway, and I'm shooting through the doorway. So this is a lesson. I mean, I'm looking right at the camera to say, if you could remember anything that we're talking about today, shoot from the dark to the light. That's what I want you to do, shoot from the dark to the light. And this little light on the edge of the face is so important. And now the light is coming from one window. Look at the window. One window, we've added a little flash in this picture, but again, the reflector, which side is it on? It's on the window side, not the shadow side. 98% of America is gonna have that reflector over on the shadowed side. So I'm gonna show you over here the difference. What I'm doing with it is creating a main light and that edge light right across her face. Okay, I've laid the foundation. Also, I'm in a commissary in PP of A in Atlanta, and I'm hating the background. So look what I did, I just took a table and flipped it over onto two chairs, and we're shooting against a, a table you would eat dinner on. You know, and, and there's the background, I love it. It's just that metal plate. Okay, let's take pictures. Let's go fast. Come on in, Hannah. I've got questions, let's go. Yeah, just a couple of questions before we get going. And uh, this was from the chat rooms. If you could just explain again uh, what, this is from Kyle Photo, what a loop shadow is, and also versus Rembrandt shadow. Okay, <clears throat> the Rembrandt shadow is gonna touch the lip and it's gonna create a triangle patch of light, and it's gonna distort the mouth a little bit. So the loop shadow stays up a little tighter, and I think that's why they coined it the modified, modified loop, because it stays up high. Now, <clears throat> one lighting that's real popular is um, short lighting. Everybody says, what is short lighting? For me, that means I've got the light here and I'm shooting into the shadow. If I brought the light around and put it on the front of the face, that's broad lighting, so I don't, I rarely, rarely broad light. Although lately I've been getting, you know, more variety. You know, what does more variety mean? More sales. And so I'll have a portrait stu study in my studio and I'll short light him. And then real quick I'll say, just stay there and I'll bring the light over here and then I'll, then I'll broad light him. And I'll give them a lot of variety. And I say, look, a business portrait in our studio is 125. But if you'd like to own extra files, they're $75 each. And that really makes a nice little deal when people get three or four pictures. And the whole thing is in and out of the studio less than an hour, okay? My staff does the download, the website. I use Smug Mug, and let me tell you guys, <clears throat> a shout out for one of the best things I ever did when I went over to Smug Mug, because everything goes up for archiving. I used to worry at night about those pictures. I couldn't sleep thinking, what if I lose those wedding pictures? Now I upload them, medium res, and they're there forever. So the Smug Mug interface, the galleries, and we're selling more pictures. And guess what? I think it, overall, I make more money per capita doing business portraits, you know, for time spent. All right, Did Fantastic. I answer that? That was a long answer. No, that's perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, well, let's, let's go get to going. Work. So look, <clears throat> we're, th these cameras are all kind of over here and just having fun. I'm going to play with an 85-1-2 <clears throat> because it's just an amazing lens to drop the background out of focus. I normally would have a white lens. Let's keep that on deck, Bartho, 70 to 200 is really the lens that you would find on my camera about 198% of the time. These flashes here, this is the Q flash. That'll be something we can add into a photograph. <clears throat> very simple, very lightweight, battery operated. And everybody wants to know about the speed lights. And I've got some beautiful um, little, what we call light modifiers to go on top of these. This is something I just found from a company called Sp Spin Light. And I really think this is a pretty clever product and we'll shoot with that. But I love the little soft boxes, the battery operated flashes. I'm just kind of pulling this out of the set and we're gonna seat Hannah right here. Just have a seat. All right. So I'm gonna take one of my students here. I'm gonna think, um, Don, come over for me please. And I'd like you to put Hannah in a feminine pose. Turn straight to me, face me, right there, all right? She's looking great, just like that. The light's wonderful. Go ahead and just go in there and pose her. Okay. Like Feminine pose. Okay. Think about shoulders first. So the shoulders are what I'm thinking about. Okay. So turn 45 degrees. You yeah, want her? You did it. You be right there. Okay. So let's I'm see. Making, I know it's nervous when you're on national TV trying to do a pose. Uh, try dropping the front shoulder. Uh, look that way. <clears throat> okay, are we getting that on live? So Chip. here's what I want you to do now. I'd always like to have a little table that we talked about. Now this table's a little low, 
so I'm just going to lower you a little. That's experience. Now here's what I'm going to do. This is so good. Are you all at home watching this? Don, you should go closer to the window over here. Come right over here and come back. And, and you know, we might use two reflectors too, Bart. I'm, I'm going to start with one, but we might throw a light underneath. But here's the, watch this. Here we go. Lean this way and tip your head there and your elbow right there. Turn your nose to me. Good. Your chin down a dash. Look how quickly she brought her chin down. Tip the top of your head here. She's doing all these things so effortlessly and so quickly, and she's really cooperating because she doesn't want me back over there. Did you see how I started the picture? I said, I want you to sit up, lean forward, and tip your head. And it doesn't hurt, but it's like, whoa, this guy really has me plugged in, okay? So now, speaking of plugged in, let's get our camera on. Our picture one is gonna be very simple, chin down. How about now, Monica, I would like you to place the reflector where it should go. No card, okay. Go ahead, oh, take your time. Okay, I you said no, 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 no card in the camera I was reading. Go ahead. Bart, let's go to the white lens, the 7200. I'm gonna go white lens. I'll tell you why I had this 80. 85 on the camera. I had this on there because I wanted to melt the background out of focus. And you know what? This white background, it doesn't really matter. And this longer lens is, I think, a little bit better portrait lens. The Mark III is a full frame camera. I have a card. It was telling me something else. Uh huh. So you, you said it and you tell me when you're ready. Go ahead. There you go. I'm, I'm not going to help you. Okay, <laughs> so it's just like in the studio yesterday. I'm going to give you, go ahead, 10 seconds. Just set it and say, I'm done. Okay. Go ahead, you're done. Okay. I'm done. <clears throat> I don't think you okay, done. You're, very, you're very close, but what I want to do is put it right here. You see it? Wiggle it. Can I get a camera shot right in here? I want to wiggle that. Look at that. Is that good? You got that? So, also, yeah, you know, you can overfill. Donna, that, I mean, Monica, that was so important. You can take a reflector. And, and you can almost create a secondary source of light stronger than the window. That's really a very astute obser observation that I want to soften it. You know, we call it feather the light. Now come over here. Can I get a shot right here? And I, what I'm looking at, come on, you can walk in here. Don't get too comfortable, Jerry, you're next. <laughs> come over here. Look at that light. See how beautiful it is? But notice that the reflector ends before the face begins. This, this is so important. If I just throw the reflector up there and say, good, I got it, let me go to work. That's 85% that's of the country. In fact, I would go as bold to say that's 98% of the country. I don't know people who understand that what that reflector just did is it added a secondary light on her ear back there. I hope you can see that at home. It, if, if, let's see if I can get you a camera shot. But my camera should do it. Let me see if I can get in here and see what's going on. This is really critical. I'm live. Let's go. I gotta push a button. And that reflector is not helping at all. In fact, it's adding a light. You see it back there on her cheek? Let me zoom in. Right back there. Let me see it. Come on. Now watch how I'm gonna refine it. It looks like I've got another light on the right side of the camera, and that's cross lighting. And we want the light to all be directional. Now look at that, just like that. And I just, I mean, we're talking a couple of inches there, and we've got it right there. So let's take picture one. It's going to be a full face portrait. Um, Jerry, what's, what's camera height for a full face portrait? Just above the eye. Just above the eye. We got a winner there. Good, good, good. Now let me zoom back a little. I love it, right there. I feel like we're just going to go, we're ISO. 1250, we really should do a quick white balance, but in respect of time, and I want to keep shooting, I think you guys would appease me if I just push this button here, and it's funny, anytime we click in to this, um, to the, when we load in the camera, it doesn't let me have the ability, sorry, to go black and white the way I normally do. I think the black and white might speak volumes just to the educational value of the lighting and take our eye off everything else. White balance would be important right here, and it's just a daylight balance, isn't it? 
Or I can just come back here. I'm just going to go black and white. That's what I kind of want to do. You got to tell me where it's at. Custom white balance. Do you, you need us to it? bring somebody out? or? Are no, you no, it's right here okay. somewhere. Do you guys see image, uh, the color? I hope the whole country is watching me do this. Exposure, lighting, The world, white Clay. The world. <laughs> the world. Custom <laughs> white balance. Color space. I'm not going to cr crack here. There we go. That's right in here. Color. Picture style. Picture styles. Picture style. I don't Go even back see one. It. Back one. Oh. Thank you. Woo. Sorry Beauty about that. Beauty of guys. live television, Clay. It's all right. Ah. Uh, all right. I'm black and white. And I think the black and white's going to look good in here. It's pastel. You guys agree with me? I hope so, after all that. Now, I'm gonna, I've got her in a beautiful feminine pose. But what do you see first? The shoulders. I want you to lower your left shoulder, but guess what? She can't. The table's too high. Can I raise you an inch? Now sit. Now, you see the shoulder drop right down? Now I'm going to tip your head like this and your chin down. Get right there. Here we go. <clears throat> your chin down a dash. Good, right there. Now, look at the back shoulder. There is no back shoulder. There's no back elbow. Can you bring that elbow out? That's it, a little more. All right, there's picture one right there. Now, I'm going to kind of zero in on that lighting pattern. I'm looking right. I'm going to go a little higher with my camera. A little higher, just for that beautiful look here. Now, I'm going to take picture one, and then I'm going to improve it, because that's kind of fun for you guys to see this. I'm looking at my lighting. There's the loop shadow. Can you all see the loop shadow? It's soft, but it's there. It's very easy. So this is just a hint of a smile. Your eyes right here. Look when she brought her eyes up. Actually, picture one, look right in the camera, OK? She's looking in the camera. I've got to tighten this up just a little. That happens a lot when you throw this on real fast, and you've got to bring that in. Sometimes you just, you got to really get it right. Now I'm back live, picture one. Let's improve it. I would like to have Christine come over for me. Now my camera's floating. I want to tip my camera. Which way do you think you should tip it? Towards the high. Towards the high shoulder, which is which way? This way. Look at this. Very good. Now you're going to tip your head this way. A little more. Beautiful. Right there. If this course is all about making photographs, we're doing it right here. That is gorgeous. Your nose to the right a little bit. Now, Bart, how about real quickly, give me that other reflector. Don, come over here on your knees, please, and just give me this. Just a little kick from below. Okay, you got it? And you just wiggle it until I tell you. You know, no, stay on the, on the other side because you're not catching the light. That's, that's a real good lesson. Can somebody get me here? Don jumped in here, right? How can, he get, how can he do anything unless he's here? There's the light. So if you're outside or if you're by a window or you're anywhere and you want to add light with a reflector, what do you do first? First, point the reflector to the window, to the sun, to the cloudy day. Get the light. Now I got it, and you can see it now. See it on the wall? Look, Don. See it? Look on the wall. See it? Yeah. Now it's on the floor. Now it's on the ceiling. Now, oh, I got it. Woo, woo, here she comes right there. Okay? That's really important. And I teach that a lot. Take a knee, go low. And there you go, go a little bit lower, a little bit lower. That's good, good done. Now we're going to compare these two pictures. Tip your head a little more, turn your nose to the right a little bit. That's it, right there. Now the last thing I'm going to do is have your eyes right up here. You, know, you guys appease me. I'm going to focus the camera right here and just push that in. Critical focus. And. We're ready, right here. You're looking beautiful. Relax your smile. All right, let me look at picture one and picture two, okay? Dawn, great job, relax. <clears throat> oh, she blinked. I can't do that. Let's do it one more time. Looking right here. I remember one time, tip your head to the right a little more. A little more, tip it more to the right. Yes, right there. A little more, chin down. Turn your nose to the left, right there. Can somebody show what... Hannah actually looks like over there, where she looks like she's kind of falling over. Is that what you're getting here? She looks very awkward to the, to, to over there, but through the lens, she looks fantastic. Let's look. This picture that's right in the middle here, why don't I just delete that? Erase. Now we're going to go from here to there. Go ahead, and you can lay the reflector down, Don. 
It's the shoulder that's really changing. The shoulder is coming down. <clears throat> so now I have picture one. So what I want to do now, relax a little bit, I would like Jerry. I've noticed the last couple of days, I don't know if it's coincidence or intentional, but it seems like they've been doing a single portrait on the posing stool that they're almost falling off of it. Is that intentional? I mean, like where they're just on the edge at like a 22 to half degree it's, angle. It's a great, a great uh, question. <clears throat> She's sitting on the edge of the chair. Right. This whole thing, what I'm thinking about is posture. And I, I don't want her to get too comfortable. And that actually is pretty comfortable, isn't it? You're just resting on the edge. But every portrait I do, Jerry, I say, sit up on the chair. And they always say, I can't get up there. And I say, no, just rest against it. You know? Here's another trick. Cross your left knee over your right. I mean, right over left, right over left. That helps to drop the back shoulder, OK? Now, <clears throat> what we're going to do now, Jerry, look right here at me. Turn to me, turn to me, right there. I'm going to take this camera, and I'm going to go live. And I'm going to move this camera to two-third view. So thus, camera position. So what am I going to be looking for when I do this? Christine knows. To keep the skin there to keep the eye in. The little bit of flesh to hold the eye. There it is, right there. You see what's happening? So the cool thing is this background is so portable <clears throat> that I can just kind of roll it in here. It's on wheels. You can set that up. And it's just a flip-out background. And now, look at that, light's getting better. Looking right over here now, the reflector's not in place yet. <clears throat> I shouldn't have even moved it. And come on this side for me, Don. Come right over here and sit right in that corner. <clears throat> come around even more so you kind of hide. Now, right down here. And let's just kind of give her that little kick from below. Right there. You got it? Rest it on her knee. That's good. Just let it rest on her knee. Now, critique that picture for me real quick. What am I looking at? The shoulders are square to the camera, and you can do that only when you're going to crop above the bust, which I'm doing. <clears throat> that is the rule. Can I say that again? I will only shoot square to the shoulders when I crop above the bust. If she's outside in a two-third view, full length, I'm going to cheat her shoulders back because I want to slim her. Then I'm going to be looking at the cord in the neck. If I cheat her too much, it's going to be awkward right there. But if I can bring her just a little bit, it was so funny. I hate to tell Monty stories all day. I've been criticized for that, but this is the best one. <clears throat> I ran up at the wedding, and I told the bride, I pushed her shoulder down. And she, I got back to my camera, and they were level. And then I, then I went up over there, and I said, <clears throat> bring your foot over here. And I was trying to get her shoulder down. And I ran back to the camera, and her shoulders were level again. And one day, I was at a wedding, and, I, and I, Monty was behind the camera, and he said, Sarah, drop your left shoulder. And she went like that. And I go, oh, God, it's that easy. You just ask them to drop the shoulder. Mm -hmm. But that is, you know, if you look at the classics, you're going to see a lot of this, a lot of beauty in the shoulders. And if you look at your portfolios, you look at the homework, you look at things that are going on a lot, you're going to see square, stiff shoulders. Right, Monica? So now you know the shoulders are everything. Let's go faster. I think I'm telling too many stories, right? I can hear you back there, Jen. Your elbow's out a little bit. See, that's what I was looking at, the pyramid. You see it? Now tip the top of your head to the right. <clears throat> I'm at, look at what I'm at, 12. I never even looked at my exposure. It looked good. I'm at 1250 ISO at 2.8. Why don't I go to 4 for depth of field and open this up a little? You see what I did there? I just gave me an F4, so I've got both eyes in focus. A little critical on that now. Now I'm going to tip the head here, tip the camera. Pull a little hair off your left eye right there, off your left shoulder. Yep. That you're there. Now tip the top of your head to the right, chin down a dash. Right there. Chin down a little more. Tip the top of your head to the right a little more. A little more. Don't make me come over there. <laughs> chin down a little bit more. Look at that. She knows I'm kidding. Turn your head to the, your nose to the left just a little bit more. Your nose, now your chin down. Now everything fell to place. I posed it. The light was already there in this, in this case. Now the refinement is the eyes. They need to be centered. Wherever you're looking is great, Hannah, but can you let your eyes go to the left a dash? Just a dash, right there. We've centered the eyes. We've got it. Hint of a smile. Now tip the top of your head to the right more. More. Right there. Come on. Now turn your nose to the right a little bit more. Right there. That's it. That's it. Beautiful. Now if I went to the bride's home, relax, and I went in her dressing room with a flash on camera and took 80 pictures, and then I brought her you know, down by the window and the stairs and took 80 more, <clears throat> Or if I just 
put the window, the background near it, and a reflector and made a portrait like this, what's going to be better? This, because I only need four pictures of her for the album. I don't put 80 pictures in the book. I'm going for a beautiful story, but I just need a few portraits. Don't you think she's going to want that more? And you know what? You show that to the mother in the home and say, look at the back of my camera. And she says, oh my, she says, would you sit with us for dinner? You know, can you please join us? She's like, I'm her best friend. This is what she wanted all of her life to have a picture of her daughter in the wedding gown that she can put in a frame, that she can love on. And then the bride, what she wants is what she sees in the magazines. You know, current, fun, the roof. That's what we're going to do. Let's come around here and you stay just like a statue, right, right where you were. I shouldn't even have to move anything, but I, I, you know, I just have to come in here and tweak the background a little bit more right over here. There we go. I'm going to lower the camera for what reason, Christina? Christine? Um, you know, you got to know. I'm lowering the camera. We did it three times yesterday. You're doing a large or a further back shot? Nope, because I have a zoom lens. This is critical. Oh, yeah. Can you pull the hair, all the hair out from under your right, under your right ear? You can come out of there, Don. I think one reflector is going to be great here. Good. <clears throat> Somebody help her out. Is it when she's moving in closer? I nope. mean, when you're moving in, I mean, cropping in, cropping in tighter is what no, I meant. No, nothing to do with the crop. Tip the top of your head to me. How about different. if I show you? Look at the screen and you guys see what the difference is. Separate the neck from the... Sh Separate the chin from the shoulder. Uh, so let's just do it and you'll see the difference. Now I'm going to pose her without touching her. Can everybody see this? Watch this. And use her name. Why? Because Dale Carnegie said the sweetest sound to Hannah's ear is her name. So, Hannah, can you bring your chin down a little bit? Hannah, turn your nose to the right. Keep turning, right there. Good, right there. That's, that's what I'm talking about. It's just, there's the pose. Now, <clears throat> our window light, it's morning here in Seattle, and it's, it's been cloudy. We're like, where's the window light? Now, it looks like the sun's coming out outside. It's getting a little bit flat for me. Let me take the reflector away. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> Booyah! That's what I want you to see. Let me move my little thing here. Let me move this right here. I mean, this is, this is what it's all about. That little, that's a little Rembrandt, isn't it? It shouldn't be, you know, it's just, she's been sitting patiently while I've been doing all this talking, but how would I turn that into a modified loop? I can't move the light, it's cemented into the studio wall. I can't move her neck, I turn her nose to the right, just a dash. Keep turning, turn your nose to the right, keep turning, keep turning, right there. There's the loop shadow. For the viewer today that wanted to know the difference, can you turn your nose back to the left more? There's your Rembrandt, triangle patch of light. Turn your nose to the right a little more. That's the Rembrandt, now there's the loop. We just took and tightened up the shadow, that's all. And we're there. And this reflector now is just gonna be real soft like that. Beautiful, I love it. Let's pull this right off of here. Tomorrow, I think we're going to have a, wedding, a bride in a gown, and it's your turn. I'm going to set her up over here, and I'm going to let you guys take a few pictures of the bride. In fact, tomorrow the show starts at 9 a.m. I need you here at 8, because I want you to work with, before we get going, so that when the cameras come on, I'm going to be critiquing your new style, your new look. It's going right. to be, wow, I got it, I got it. Tip the top of your head to me a little bit. Yes, right there, a little more. Chin down and dash. Now, which way am I going to tip the camera, Christine? Towards her higher elbow, or her higher that shoulder. That shoulder, right there. How about that? And just a touch of a smile, right there. Whoops, I got a blink. Again, when I'm unplugged, I might <coughs> unplug here a second and show you how I might really shoot this. I might be going, you know, I might get eight shots just making sure that eye is tack sharp. When I get into my catalog and I'm reviewing them, I hate to say, oh, it's, oh, it's soft, it's soft. Oh, I missed it. Oh, yes, I got it. You know, you know the feeling uh, when you shoot it just right. Here we go, turn your nose to the right just a dash and we'll take the picture. How about if I wanted to tip the camera the other way and that would be tipping the camera this direction and now when I do that, your, your eyes down, eyes lower. Look down right there, beautiful. Eyes a little higher, good, right there. Eyes a little higher, turn your nose to the right, just a dash, All right, right there. So there it is, full face, two thirds profile. Can I review it? Let's do it, relax over there. Is that helpful? Isn't it kind of helpful? I think it is. When I saw that demonstration, I go, now I understand camera position. One, two, 
3. All right. So now I'm going to try something a little different. Can we, can we ask a couple sure. of questions? Sure. Love, love to have it. And Bar yeah. while we're getting the questions, can you swing the background on this side and make it black? Okay? Take a little break. Clay, I'm ready. Do Where do I stand? Right here? <laughs> Clay, do you remember at the very beginning, you went up to Hannah and you were touching her face and you said, she doesn't want me back over there. And a lot of people in the chat rooms are wondering, what is protocol for touching models? What's appropriate and not appropriate? When do you actually go in and, and, I and do that? I learned again from a master, and that's the way he did it. And I think to give you that little shortcut is taking 10 years quantum leap to learn that people, you know, it didn't hurt. It was all about confidence. It was all about, wow, that I understand. You know what I mean? So um, I, I'm a toucher. I know that some people in, and schools were teaching use batons. You know, that was Brooks Institute. And I did a seminar there, and I was like 20 years old. And everything I did, I went in there with that Pictrol and VR 1000 film. They were shooting four by five, sharp as a tack. I'm shooting grainy pictures with a soft focus on 1000 film and touching the models. <clears throat> the teacher in the back was ready to, you know, die because everything I was doing, but it was what I learned, you know, in the field. So going to school is great, but I think this creative life platform is going to be 10 times better than going to college because you're seeing how we do it after, I mean, really 35 years of experience and I've been very attentive to what the other pros are doing. So I'm always trying to pick up ideas to share with you. So that and answers we, that. And we appreciate that, Clay. Sure. Okay, next question is from uh, Christopher Monroe and also Marie. Uh, how, how much of his rules, uh, rules of the road with this model, such as straight shoulders only cropping if only straight shoulders only if you're cropping above the bust, are applicable with women. Is the guidance different with men, in that, in that one in particular? Okay, men would never be square to the camera, so that's the answer. I would never take a man and put him square to the camera, I just don't do that, <clears throat> it's always 45. Now, I look at magazine covers, and I look at everything out there on the internet, and <clears throat> you know, if you've got a young, petite guy and he's a musician, I mean, let's think of like a Mick Jagger, you know, that body type, I could see Mick Jagger, you know, like this, square to the camera, editorial, cool lighting. I mean, I could do that. I'm teaching classic portraiture today. I hope that you'll know that tomorrow, on, on, on day three, I'm going to kind of unbridle the, what's going on around here and, and do some of that photography. But know in the back of my mind that that lighting and those shoulders are so important to me. So I hope that answers that. <clears throat> you know, we're going to move into something that's really exciting to me pretty soon, and that's corporate photography, corporate identity. And you know what the good news is for all of you? I don't do the feminine pose for corporations. Any businesswoman, I never photograph feminine, ever. Now, I might if I have like the CEO of the company. If I just do her basic pose, I might go basic two thirds, basic to the camera, basic half and half, hand up. What else can I do? Over here, basic two thirds, basic half and half, hand up, looking at the camera. That's six portraits of a CEO of a big company. I don't think it's enough. So then for the CEO, I might give her some feminine poses. But if she's heavy, I would never do it. Why? If you're heavy, here's the light. If I'm a, a heavy, which I pretty much am, I'm, I'm a female, look what happens. I get really heavy right here. The women should always tip their head to the light. So that's critical to say the feminine pose, what we've been doing, is reserved for young, slim women. Not even, you know, no grandmothers, no, no men for sure, you know, um, unless, you know, you're just playing around. Actually, if I put a, a guy in profile, he is in a feminine pose. That's the only time. Do you see, if I put a man in this picture, if you look at your posing card at home, he's in a feminine pose. Does that make sense? He's got to be in a feminine pose. Jerry, turn your nose to the right. Keep turning, keep turning. All right, Jerry, just sit here. Can I do this real quick? Just sit, sit right down here. Oh, now we're a black background too, and you got a kind of a black shirt on there. Just sit right here. So Jerry, the light's over here, so turn your nose this way. Yep, keep turning your knees, keep turning. Bart, square up the background for me. And roll it back, stand up real quick. Are we okay? Just sit right here. I'm gonna do a man's portrait in profile. Just put your elbow right here, and turn your nose right there. Keep turning your nose to the right. Do you, why don't you take the glasses off? That's good. Now turn your, whoops, your nose to the right a little bit. That's good, right there. So the man can easily fall into a profile portrait. Boy, those, the light's getting good out there. You guys see that? 
Watch this. I'm probably going to need to uh, stop down a little bit. We never even metered it, so let's get that meter handy, Bart, uh, to talk about where we get this. You know, people do say, <clears throat> do I use a meter? The time I need a meter, I need a meter when I need to pull together ambient and strobe. But when I'm working in here, these cameras are amazing. I'm on a four-lane highway on the raw file. Turn your nose to the right a little bit. Boy, is that good. Actually, <laughs> watch this. This is, this is a lesson. Keep turning your nose to the right. Keep turning. All right, I'm going to take this picture real quick. Uh, stop it down a little bit. Can I get a critique on this picture? What's wrong with it? It's flat. The lighting is flat. He's looking right into the window. If I'm doing a studio portrait in profile, where's the light? It's coming from behind. So stand up for a second. Now sit here and put your elbow here. Now turn to me a little more. Keep turning. Shoulders 45. Now look over there. Does, does everybody see that now I've just harnessed the light? I've harnessed it. Guys, this, this will save your life at a wedding. If you understand how to pull this light in here, I mean, if you want to have a lot of pride in your portraiture, because, you know, all I'm looking for is what right now? What am I looking for? One. One, two, three. One what? One lighting pattern. Two poses. <laughs> and now, oh, wow, the sun's even coming out more. We might even scrim this, Bart. Do you have my pop-out scrim? Turn your nose to the right a little more. Chin down. Chin down. Tip the top of your head to me a little. That's good, right there. I want to get in there close. Turn your nose to the right a little more. I think you're going to see a big difference here. Right there, just relax. Jerry, you're going to love it, man. Right there. Do you have a Visa or Master Charge? Because I think I've got a sale there. I've got a sale. Can you guys look at the difference between this picture? Let me see if I can get it up. Right here. There it is. That didn't sound good. Right here. One, two. One, two. Jerry, take a look. That's flat when you're looking into the window, and that's more of a, of a loop shadow. Stay there. Bar flip it up into the window and show, show the audience at home what we can do. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, look at the sun coming out. So what's the key to the softbox? The closer in it is, the softer it is, right? Do you think it applies here? Yes. So come on in real close to his face, Bart. Yep, 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 come on, come on. Go vertical and just stand it on the floor. Yeah, and just kind of wiggle it right in there. Now, you're going to block the light. Hannah, you come around the back here, sneak around this way, and go through there and help Bart and hold that. Now, set it on the floor, I think. Now, lean it right into his face. Come on. Come on, closer, a little higher, see his forehead? Come on down, come on down, right here. Right there, beautiful. You got it, guys? Yep. Now, you're, sh you're barely in the picture there. Somebody get a setup shot of this. This is, this is great, I always say that's a great shot right there. And look how soft the light is. Turn your nose to the right a little bit. Good, right there, relax, just like that. And your eyes, wherever you're looking, look a little higher. He feels like he doesn't have a neck, does he? Relax your shoulders. Oh, much better, chin down a little bit, chin down. Turn your nose to the right a dash and your eyes to the left. Good. I want to compare. Relax. Everybody come out of there. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of flip around. See, there's the light hard. There's the light soft. I kind of like the hard light. Don't you for the black and white? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's flip this around, Bart, and talk about shooting into the window light. So bring the stools out. Jerry, you want to help me? Jerry, you get one. You get one. You take that over there. And let's go over this way. You go that way. All right, good. Now stand right here. Just stand in here for me. I want to just let her stand. Come right in here. Okay, good. Let's put the camera here. Am I in your... I can, I can move, guys. You all right? <laughs> I told them we'd be, do this. Oh, look at the light. I hope we can draw some conclusions. Can my four students... You guys can see that all right, can't you? Um, fold your arms. Turn this way and point your right toe to me. Do you know that even when I'm doing a head and shoulder portrait, I start with the feet? You see what I did right there by putting the front foot forward? So we could even take a little block, you know, always keep them around and throw them under her left foot if we needed to. But we, we're okay. Just keep them right there, Bart. Just keep them on the floor. Ah, look at that light. That is so pretty. 
Bart, can you throw an infrared camera together? Just put a lens on my, they're, they're in the bag right there. What is IR? I mean, it is one of my biggest tools and I want to use it to show you guys, but the sun that's getting bright and sunny and infrared likes bright. And this could be a beautiful IR portrait. But now I've got to stop down a little bit. <clears throat> my ISO, I'm at 1250. I could be anywhere, guys. What am I thinking? I'm thinking about F4 and I'm thinking around 400. I would have to think the, the lower ISOs are going to give me more quality, aren't they? <clears throat> In the old days with my old Canon equipment, you know, I could say I always want to be around 800. 1600 maybe, 2500, I'm really pushing it. The new Mark III, the 1DX, I'm going to tell you, I can shoot 12,500 ISO and not even see the noise. And it just is a game changer for me, for weddings. Okay, come forward a little bit. Again, I've got her standing there. Where is the camera going to have to be, Don? Come show me with your hand. Just show me with your hand. Come on, jump, jump, jump. Boldness of attack, boldness of attack. Where's the camera? Come on, come on. Yep, yep, yep. How am I going to get up there? I need a, whoops, can we plug me back in? I'm going to need a ladder. So I'm going to seat you. Why do I carry these everywhere I go? For portraits, I can't do it any other way. Sit right there, please. All right, good. Hey, Bart, you know what I'd love you to do here? As I'd like a hair light. And it's right here. It's all plugged up on the boom arm. Can you slide it in for me, Don? Go help, Bart. Because what's beautiful about my, my lights here, they're daylight balanced. So you turn a little to the left. Just get it plugged in. And I'm going to talk about the reflector. Look where I'm putting the reflector this time. The reflector is on the highlight side. Nobody's teaching this. This is one that, I mean, this is a pearl. This is a pearl. All right, st stay right there. Are you, are you guys, okay, right there. Now tip your head this way a little bit. Let me go live. And uh, Jerry, you come over here and you show the group with and without, okay? And I'm going to get this all zeroed in for my exposure. What did I do here? I changed from shooting with the light kind of at my back, but now I'm shooting into the light. And this is where the professionals make their home. If you want to look at the work of the greats, Beaton, um, Harrell, George Harrell, say no more, go and Google the guy. All the lights are coming from behind. He's working in a Hollywood studio. So lean in this way a little bit. So where's my light coming from? Behind, tip your head this way. Now this is just split lighting. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to come in there and put a loop shadow on her nose. Why would I do that? Pose light refined. <clears throat> and I'm going to take this and I'm going to drape you. All right? You just pull your hair out. Why am I doing that? I want to just see the face right there. And you can hold it down right there. Let me just tie a knot in it. You ready? Mm -hmm. I love going to the fabric store. First thing I do, I go to Joanne's Fabric and say, show me the cheapest stuff that you want to get rid of, you know, the remnants. And let's take this down. So it's a rated G program, but you know, this is a pretty shot here. Lean forward, chin down. Okay, now lower your hands. Yep. Let me help you. Can I get, well, a stylus? Do we have one? It's okay. I'm just going to tuck it in. I'm the stylus right there. You good? Now lower your hands down. Right there. Good. Whoop. Come in. All I'm doing now is making a portrait where all we see are the eyes. All right, stay right there. Good. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my reflector. Stay right there, Jerry. I'm, where am I going to point it? Tell me. Don, uh, Monica, where am I going to point this reflector? Where are you going to point it? I'm going to point it to the light. Oh, yeah. Remember that. Remember, I'm going to get the light. I'm going to, I'm finding the light, but I'm going to, I'm going to harness it. I'm going to harness the light. And watch this. There it is. I mean, we play ricochet games with light all the time. Now look at me. Tip your head. Whoops, you need help. It's falling. It's okay. It looks beautiful. It just looks like a high school senior drape. You know, when you get the senior portrait, tip your head a little, chin down. And then maybe that other silver reflector just... A little fun, Bart, on a knee, just on this side, real low. And get ready, Don. I might have you give me a little hair light. Chin down a little bit. Can you turn your body to the left more? Yeah, right there. Beautiful, beautiful. Just all in your eyes. 
Christine, you come in, please, and see her front shoulder. Mm -hmm. Can you pull the fabric down off of it a little bit and make it just roll it under so I can just see a little shoulder, real soft. Look, there, there you go, you did it. Can you set her hair up on top of that drape? <laughs> Chin down a little. Draped right, over yeah, like Yeah, this. just, that's good, just a little bit. Okay. Look at that. Chin down a little. Now look at me. I feel like she's in a vacuum. That she's just so, um, the, back, the, the black background, let me get her focused. Wow, there's a nice portrait. My camera must be loose. Here we go. Right there, beautiful. Don't go away. Let me take my thing off. This little, um, see, I can't wait to see that. I'm looking at a projector or a plasma. I can't wait to see this in my computer. It's probably just so amazing what's going on there behind there. Do it again, chin up a dash. Tip your head this way a little. Hint of a smile. Tip your head a little more. Jerry, switch with Bart real quick, will you, please? I might get Bart to give me a hair light. Just turn it on and put it right over her head. How are we doing? I got like three minutes? We good? Good? I'm just wondering if I could get a little energy. I know we can do it, Bart. We might just grab, uh, they're going to be mad at me. That rust wall behind her. Let's just do this. And you could imagine, no, I'm not going to do it. Imagine a little more texture back there. I normally have backgrounds everywhere. We, we do have one on the floor over there we could, we could throw up. But you know, I feel like she's a little bit in a vacuum. The hair light does help. Tip your head this way a little bit more. Chin down a dash. We're good. We're good. We're good. Good right there. I love it right there. Lips together. Someone get a setup shot of that. I think it's just beautiful. Let me go live there. Let me take a look at it. Let's, there, there is a background laying on the floor there, Bart. See, it's right to your right foot. See it? Can I get two people, one on each side, and let's just take a look. And you know, maybe right now I'll go to an 85. Am I doing all right? I'm afraid. I look around, I'm like, I'm worried. Am I on time? Am I late? Am I here? I Wait, just want to keep wanna, shooting. We're, we're going right, to want to get two ladies. Some... Here we go. Let's spread this out. And a lot of people have these backgrounds in their, in their closet. And they're like, what do I do with a the background? They're so, you know what people think about? They think about Sears, Olin Mills. Backgrounds think, looks inexpensive. But they don't know how to use them. And you know what we'll do, Bart? We'll go 85, 1, 2. And you guys, here's what we'll do. Just come right back here. Uh-huh. And let me get this piece. And you, you'll hold this piece here. Bart, here we go. And you stay there. You stay over there. Jerry, you come on this side. You can lay that down. All right. And Jerry, you go up on the ladder. Oh. And Jerry, you just pull it right over that thing. All right. Okay. I'm not, probably not needed now. Get it. Can you give me 85? Yeah. Come on, Jerry. Got it. Yep. Good up here. Does it need to come down a bit? Wow. That is gorgeous. That is shot of the day. Take that lens off. That's great, guys. I love it. This is what I do at home. I mean, and the clients, you know what? They love it. I climb trees and shoot their kids. I, I have two or three people on and we're shooting videos. And you know what? My clients go, they go home. They're in their car on their cell phone saying, that guy is crazy. He is so much fun. Here you go. He's the most passionate guy to get a picture of my kids. And you know, my kids were acting up, but he tricked them. He got them. Now here's what's going to go. Let's go live. It's, it's just marketing. This is marketing. Do your best. Never settle. And your client feels it. This is what we're doing. Now let's go live. There we go. There we go. Someone turned the camera off. Bart, never turn it off. All right. How about Bart? Go behind the background, please, and lower it and push it this way a little bit. We're going to go back to color. All right, guys. See if I can get this camera back on color. Now, usually right there, there's this little diamond. So I so said, my menu, I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to go this way. And then I'm going to go picture style, portrait. I really need a little bit of a white balance here. But let's see what it looks like on daylight. You guys stay with me. Stay with me. Portrait. All right, white balance. Why don't we do shade? You know, I'm on a window. I'm on a four-lane highway and raw, so we can fix it later. I hate to say that. I've been talking about white balance all day. That's gorgeous. All right, can you guys stretch it tight? Mm -hmm. Now look at my f-stop. I'm on 5.6, okay? Slide forward to me. Ready? 
Right there. All right, guys, right there. The background's getting a lot of light. Bart, get it set up, and then I want, you know, Christine, you come take this scrim and hold it into the window to darken the background a little bit. How bright do you want your background? You don't want it brighter than the face, unless it's a high key shot. There you go, you can hand Jerry one. There you go, right there. We're trying try to take the light off the background. All right, deep breath, Clay, slow down. This is fun, it really is. And I'll tell you what's dangerous, is when I get away from my one, two, three, when I get away from the classics and I start playing around like this, I love it. But in respect of time, I need to be consistent. Now the sun cloud just came down, so let's move that. Tip your head this way. No, I liked it better where it was. Can you put it in there to darken that background? Thank you. Last thing is turn your shoulders to the left a little. Right there. Look at this. Watch the reflector. Watch this. Two inches, I have no light. Two inches, I have light. Right there. Now look at what I'm at, 320 at 56. What if I go to ISO 100? Why? Because I want my f-stop to be 1.2 or 1.4. My shutter speed is now going to be tighter. I'm shooting this portrait at a thousandth at f1.4. Your chin down a dash. Stylus, how about uh, Don? The hair. Can you help me on the front shoulder? You see the shoulder? Okay. Just pull it up on the top of her shoulder. Come on, right there. Good, right there. The the reflector is barely in the picture. That's me. <laughs> Usually somebody I thought Christine was on it. Sorry. All right, let's get this portrait. Here we go. Could I build groups here? Could I do two, three, four? Yes. Turn your nose to the left a little more. A little more. A little more. Chin down. Oh, yes, the Lord just gave me beautiful light there. How about keep turning your shoulders to the left a little bit more? Keep turning to the left a little bit more. Bart, grab me the picture, please. Turn your nose back to me. That whole lens. I want to speak to this soft focus setup because, <clears throat> again, I think it's something that I'm adding to my repertoire. Tiffin makes the most amazing warm, soft effects filters. And yesterday... When we were working with the 8512, it was crystal clear through the glass. But what I'm doing here is I'm taking a lens. This is a Canon 135 soft focus lens, but I'm kind of using it without a lot of soft on it. And I put a Tiffin number one soft, but more importantly than the soft, I, I have it warm. So this is just going to pull the whole thing together. The Pictrol, again, is a dial in diffuser. And it's going to give me that soft, soft light. <laughs> my friend Calvin Hayes, he called me on my cell phone yesterday. And he remembers the days when I used to really have a lot of fun with this pic troll, make a, make a lot of nice images. And he says, Clay, that wasn't fair when you pulled out that pic troll. He says, that was playing dirty. And I love, you know, you have to know Calvin Hayes to, to, to hear him say that. Chin down a little bit. Come on, where's my picture? Plugged in. There we go. Now look, I'm going to make no soft right there. The, the picture is wide open. Stay. All right. Brighter, right? Back a little. Come on, camera. Pop on. All right, it's going to come back. I'm just turning the camera off and on. Everybody okay? <laughs> Everybody on the set? Here we go. I'm just waiting for my picture to come up. There it is. Don't look at yourself. There we go. Turn your shoulders to the left a little. Can you give me a little feed on that? Move your chair here, please. I think it could be just kind of getting a little... There we go. Just stand your chair up and move it. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's get the shot right there. Renaissance portrait right here. The reflector, Bart, get in here and pull the reflector to my right a little bit. Can you put your own hair up on your shoulder? Oh, no, you're stuck. Let me get it. Let me get it. <clears throat> and then after this, I think we're going to change directions, and we're going to go in to some corporate filmmaking.
and photography. Can I zoom in on that eye right there? It's hard to soft focus through a projector. When you look right through the camera, you're okay, you're easy. That's it right there. There's the portrait. Come on, right there. Turn your nose to the left a little. Dawn, take a knee and give me a little reflector on the, on the shadow side. Just see how bright, come on. Where's the shadow? There it is. Now you're getting that secondary light source. Come over here underneath. Come on, right there. Okay, okay right there. Are you guys happy? Eyes here. Turn your nose to the right of dash. To the right, of, yep. Perfect. Where did that 8512 go? Can you get it? Go ahead, real quick, jump out there. The reason is, I got the soft focus picture. I just want to do one quick with the 8512 because um, that was the whole idea to show the bokeh. That's beautiful. Do you guys like it? I love it. I love it. Do you, don't you love it? Tell me you love it. Where's the, show me the love, guys. But what does more variety mean? More sales. Right here. This is to show you a 1.2, and come on. I can add a flash to this window as well, just real easy if you guys want to see that too. Can you make it a little tighter over there on the bottom right? There we go, right there. I think the best light is over here. Turn your face to me a little more. Good. Tip your head to the left. All right, real tight on the background. Don, uh, Monica, come to me a little. Monica, come to me. Just, yep, yeah. keep coming. Oh. Now pull it tight. Which one? The, the background or yes. the scrim? No, the background. <laughs> no, now background. See, look at the picture, Donna. I mean, see it over the there, Monica? Scrim. See the picture? Mm -hmm. Soften those wrinkles. There you go, right there. There you go. I mean, is that gorgeous? Turn your nose to the left of Dash. I mean, I'm loving it. It's almost split lighting. It's Rembrandt, chin down. And sometimes I'd like to make a statement here. Hint of a smile that you get to a point in a photograph and I say, you know what, I could go for a loop, but you know what, I like it. And you get to a point where you've got to take the picture because you're at a kind of a breaking point with the model. And also with the whole thing, the more experience I've had, it's more about pace, the pace of a portrait where I'm communicating with her. If you guys could see what I'm looking at, I've got like 11 cameras here. I've got the host here. I've got something in my ear. Uh, when I'm working at home, my whole thing is just Hannah and myself, and I'm pacing my portrait and making her feel very good about the picture. And I feel very good about it. So let's take a break. Let's pull the background down. Maybe I can answer a couple questions right now. It'd be great. Well, first of all, congratulations. Thank you so much. That was absolutely beautiful. Thank, Thank you, you for me. taking the time to get us to that final portrait. That's yeah, let's look at beautiful. It. Um, we do have a quick question, and then we can jump right into the corporate shots. And uh, Lorraine, what was that question you've got? Oh, I've got it. Let's put a cue flash up on the stand, Bart. Okay. So the question is about reflectors. Um, this is from Robert Easto and Jean F. What did you mean by where the reflector ends and the face begins? Okay. And then uh, add on to that is can a reflector be used for a hair light? Let me answer the second question first. Okay. Absolutely, you can grab that light and light the hair. Really, and I, he's probably saying, why didn't he do that? And it probably, if I would have had this other helper on set, it would have been Paul, he would have been lighting her hair with this. I just pulled this in because I think, you know, it, it really made a difference in the portrait. I'm looking at the photograph on, on the screen and it really does a nice job there. Can I, uh, I really want to get your honest opinion. Do you guys, do you love it or do you think it's, what do you think? Tell me, I see a lot of blank faces. Hannah, the judge, what, do, you, do you love the portrait? Okay. It's She's so saying, different. Just okay. so she doesn't have a mic. Oh, 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 oh no, it's okay, it's okay. Now the other question She's, was very yeah. good. Um, the face, Hannah, can you jump over here? You don't need to step over the wire. The face, where does the reflector go? Ends before the face begins? Great question. Sit right here, please. Now, my camera is right here. Let's pretend I'm shooting here. Spin around to me. Bart, you, I'll just pull it out so you don't doesn't confuse the audience. Stand up one more time. Quick answer. Sit again. So here's the portrait. I want to get this reflector in there. 
Like that's looking beautiful right there. But it's, if it's over there, it's giving me that secondary light source. If it's here, it is ending, look that way, ending before the face begins. Right there. It ends before the face begins. That's, that's huge. I mean, I'm working with Explorers of Light. I'm working with Doug Kirkland. I'm working with Greg Heisler. I mean, legends on stage, and I have to follow them up there. And I watch what they do, and it's a magnificent. But I, I know what I'm giving you is a very disciplined approach, and it's, it's a little more refined than, than maybe some of you at home are expecting. But this is your road, you know? Buy this DVD and study it and do it and go over and over and over. You'll, you're, you'll be a quantum leap ahead of all your competitors. <laughs> Who is your competitor? Everybody with cell phones and everybody with point and shoots. I went to a bar mitzvah the other day. No kidding, bar mitzvah. There were three women in the room with DSLRs with interchangeable lenses. I was in a tent, so the, it was like shooting fish in a barrel. The light was so good in there. And they were just shooting away, and it really got me kind of like, this is just getting to be a crazy market. So I shot 8,000 pictures by myself. I took my camera and just put it on like high drive and ma I'm making a movie out of photographs to show I'm the media guy, I'm the photographer, I'm the portrait guy. So does that answer your question on, on the, the, the intensity you need today, the passion you need, you gotta rise above you know, all the people out there that are just getting into it. If you wanna make a living, if you wanna go to Turks and Caicos. <laughs> all right, let's move to right. corporate. Okay, let me discuss it a little bit. I'd like to do a little PowerPoint keynote. Absolutely. And as I'm doing this, it's ready we, to go. we need to have a little platform, a small ladder to take, I think, Larray or we're going to have Kenna just on the other side of this rail. And my, my thought here, Bart, is maybe a 20 millimeter or let's say 20 or fisheye. And I'm going to show the room and add you into the picture. But let's uh, go to the keynote. And while I'm doing keynote, Bart, you'll set the camera. You'll just take it up on stage. And who's got the clicker? I had it last. That's not good. Does anyone see a clicker laying around here? We need the clicker, Lindsay. Probably up on stage. Let me just see. Let me speak to the corporate while you're doing okay, it. Okay, great. This is an exploding market. In Washington, D.C., do you know there are more high-rises in D.C. than any city in the world? More, not high-rises, you're only allowed to build 13 stories, more cranes. Crane's building. What are they doing? They're building offices. Washington, D.C. is a boom town. Business. Business is good. Now, the good thing about business, they need to get their pictures on their website. Annual reports. They need pictures of everything. And you know what? This is a market where they have a budget. And I'm telling you, dealing with the mom of the bride and, and, and the bride sometimes will wear you out. Dealing with one person who's in charge of a corporate budget is not too difficult for me. We're both email savvy, we're both pretty handy, and we just get busy with it, okay? So what we're thinking here for corporate, let's get into it. I'm in the room with minimal equipment here. What are we talking about? As I'm showing these slides, I just need you guys to drop the black background down. Jerry, you want to put it away? Just unclip it. We're going to be working on that loft. Let's just clear that whole corner and let's get my camera up there on top. And you're looking at me just like I'm at the office right now. I've got two or three helpers, what you're seeing here, and I'm telling everybody, let's move this, let's get this. I'm thinking of the next shot while I'm taking the first shot. Does that make sense? Because I have to keep, keep it moving, keep it going. This hair light can go also. What are we looking at here now? I'm looking at minimal equipment. I'm working right into the light. I'm working right into the light. I've got a guy here on the right shooting PJ. What is PJ? Photojournalism, flash on camera. We're also shooting, yeah, take that camera to the top and we're gonna plug it in. Right here is the way I photograph a wedding. Look at my photojournalist to the left. I'm on a tripod doing portraits and my filmmaker is behind me. What I'm doing is taking my wedding approach to the corporate and I'm shooting light and lively and I'm moving through these portraits very quickly. I'm using long lenses, 200, 1.8. I'm using a speed light from Canon. And let's put a cinder up there, Bart, and start firing those flashes. I just really need one light. This picture is basically made with one little umbrella light. We'll use a softbox, and the softbox works on the speed light right over there. 
So here we are running through the corporation and doing, like this picture, I love it. Let me see if I get in closer. Do you know I've been doing bar mitzvahs for 20 years? I'm now at the corporate shop. What am I doing here, guys? They're just all looking at the Torah. To me, I'm harnessing the light. What are you looking at here? You're looking at a profile, a two-thirds, and, a, and two two-third faces. I'm taking my shadows and my lights and bringing them right out to the job site. But you know what? It makes your life easier when you stay consistent, when you push through this. And there it is. What is that? A profile. Where's the loop shadow? Right there. You can't miss it. The people are loving these pictures. They're light. They're lively. They're 2.0. And, and it's like shooting a wedding. We're out there just working through it. Now, here's this Canon C100, and I'm using a slider. Look at that. Three cameras, time lapse. And I'm just going, I'm exploding, just like I am here on stage, shooting away. Here's how I come into the job, something like this. Let me show you a little clip of us showing up at Folger Pratt. Sound? Well, I've got all my lenses in the bag. I've got the spider lights coming together, a reflector, and here it goes. Love it. Reflector, and now I'm just moving around the office. There's the 200-1.8. I haven't loaded that, cam that lens up yet. Well, hopefully we can get it on the camera. But the, the 2.0, we we're using some lights off camera. I'm using spider lights, different lights from Westcott. Here's um, the 35 lens. There's the time lapse going on. And this was a film we made about six months ago. That was the making of the film. Let me just show you a little bit of it. It's, it's two minutes long, and they love it. Is this fun? All right. Let's get a, a 24 up here, or a 20. Folger Pratt is more than just a development company. But we do more than just build buildings. We are really focused on building wonderful communities. And so when you look at something like downtown Silver Spring and the impact that had on that entire community, um, Park Potomac, a wonderful project that we're doing right on I-270 in, in Potomac that is mixed use with residential and office and hotel and, and retail. Um, those are the kinds of things that we we love to do because they really do transform and change and improve communities. This company isn't just uh, the, the founding principles, it, it really is made up of every employee we have. We have fabulous employees from top to bottom and so it takes an entire team and we, we go to great lengths to find the right people, train them, and support them properly. Every deal presents different challenges. So, you know, there are always challenges, but they're always different. And, and that's kind of what makes it interesting, is every day you've got to deal with something new. Kind of figuring out how to overcome the challenges is, you know, is, is part of what's fun about the business. Every deal dies a few times before it lives. We build to last. We build people, relationships, reputation, buildings, communities to last. Okay, are we up here? That, that was a quick move around. Kenny, you're going to come right up here with me. This is kind of cheating because look what I've got, I've just got this beautiful light on you, you know? And I tell you, I, I've never even used the spin light and I wanna try it, I mean, that's going kinda gutsy, but all I need is a little fill light. As a matter of fact, I've got all these helpers. Uh, Jerry, give my silver reflector over here and just lower the contrast, you know what I mean? It's, so, uh, yeah. so Clay, if we could, cause we did this, we set all this up while uh, the video was playing. So before we start, we did. That was like a minute. We're still setting it up. <laughs> We're still setting it up. But if That's you could good. just review, yeah. Yeah. if you could review what we've done, what you've done so far, just for the folks at home. You got it. Introduce uh, where we are. Okay. <laughs> well, is this the camera right here? All right. Yes. What what I'm trying to do here is show the space. Now, if I go into an office like this, I'm going to try to pretend like I'm going to take your picture with no light at all. Like, I don't have a light, okay? I'm going to use the windows. I'm going to get back in. And so, Jerry, with this right here, come on in here, sneak under. Look at what Jerry's got going on there. I'm pretending like I don't have a light. There you go, right there. And then, 
I've got really a pretty good portrait going on here. How about, can you turn around a little bit to the basic pose? That's all I'm thinking about. So my lens is a fisheye showing everything. And why are you using the fisheye? Well, I'm showing the whole room. Great. Now, the fisheye is a tricky one because it's going to spike and distort and give us all kinds of problems that we're not going to love unless we know how to crop the picture. So I might trim the picture panoramic. And in Lightroom, I can turn it back around. So I don't know if this is going to be tall enough for Lorraine, but let me get my first shot made right here. And Bart, let's keep an eye on everything firing right there. Turn around and look right here at me. I think I might be just a little bit wide. Let me see if I can go live for the audience at home. And we're going to turn this back to video. And you guys will see it down here. So as I'm testing these, turn on all these speed lights and see if you can link them up. Now, these, these are wonderful because I have a transmitter here okay. and it radio controls over to here. And when I push the button, you know what, on live view, I don't think it's going to go. Let me, uh, let me go live. I might have to unplug to make the actual picture. Okay. All right. So I'm going to unplug here and see if it fires. Because it's on live view. Let me turn it off live view. There it goes. There it goes. So I'm going to have to work off your camera and we'll show you the pictures later. That's no big deal. Okay. The fish is kind of cool. You know, one thing I want to talk about. Am I here? Monty was looking at some pictures of Dean Collins. Dean Collins was the master. Dean Collins was the absolute master of photography. And you all know the name. And we went over and we saw a calendar that Dean had made. And Monty said, God, it's amazing. We didn't have Photoshop back then. He gelled it. He timed it. He doubled it. It was all done with his mind, amazingly. But Monty said, we know what he missed? The people. He didn't make the people look good. So all I care about right now is how your shoulders look, how the light is. That's my goal. Thank you. Because <laughs> I know you're the one that's going to look at the picture. You don't care about the lights. You don't care about anything but how you look. Now, the, the, this, this is a full frame camera. So let's go live again. Let's go live and let's see that we're going to see so much. OK, we're coming up now. So I normally wouldn't think to use a fisheye as a portrait. Yeah, this is environmental portraiture. And it's to show the environment and bring your subject into it. So, my goal would really be get in here early and show the studio. You know, we'd probably get in here early and clean the floors and put everybody out and show the scene. Okay. And I'm, I'm begging and I'm going to do it somehow. And you'll see the picture, if not the video. The room next door is Chase Jarvis's old studio and it is so awesome. We shot there yesterday. I couldn't help myself. Big banks of windows. Macintosh is everywhere. It is Creative Live on that other side of the wall. And I, all I did yesterday was said, let me take a picture of the room, which I did. And then I dropped in. George jumped in. And you know, Jen jumped in. Everybody wanted to get their picture taken. And all I did is focus on the foreground. I had just one little speed light, just one light. And, and we took the picture just like that. And the pictures were gorgeous. So this, this fisheye is to show the room. Great. The flash is to come in. Now, how much flash? This is the key. If you have too much light, you're going to overpower and what is it going to look artificial. You can put a flash on camera and the flash on camera is wonderful. But then what happens? It's flat. Now, if I use flash on camera, you know what's going to happen with you, Kenna? You're going to look flat and, and basically heavier. I'm sorry to say. Flat pictures make people heavier. We don't want that. No, we don't. So if I have an off camera light, what do I do? I shape the face. So I'm shaping the face, making people look more natural, you know, much more beautiful. I think with the height there, what we can do here, I want to just start taking the picture. I mean, I tell you what I could do. Let's just shoot and quit talking. Oh, I think that oh, camera's on. Thank I, you. I think I see something here that I'm just going to play with. Let me have that. What is that medium wide angle? Let me see that 35 right here. No, is it? What is that? 24? All right. I'm going to put a 24 on here. And what's going through your head? My, what's going through my head is making you look beautiful, but I'm going to not distort you and I'm not going to worry about the background so much. So now I've got you looking good. How about fold your arms? Now, where's the light source? Here. So how about turn to the light and bring your left toe to me and then tip your head to the right. Good. That's it. Pose. Now what do I do? Light. Guess what? The light's in the, the window already. And you know what you could do, Bart? Why don't you bring my reflector over on the stand? So, Jerry, you can relax. I'm, I'm getting nervous up here, looking at everybody. I just want to slow down, take a deep breath, 
And say, Jerry, you stay handy because you might do something with that. You might kick it under. But the stand and the reflector can go much higher. And let me talk to this. This is a great tip. Bring it up, Bart. I don't, I don't want to block any cameras, but this is so important that we use equipment. Because if you have a, re a reflector in a guy's hand, you know what? Nine times out of ten, he's going to get a little lazy up there. Now, he's a little tired of doing it. And just a little like, you know, what time's lunch? And all of a sudden, you know that we're missing the light. And number two, with this one, I can place the light, excuse me, and I can get it right there on you. That light's perfect. And then what? My assistant, Bart, this is what you should look like. What's next? You know what I mean? What's next? I need a meter? I need a card? That's what a good assistant should be. I haven't found one in a long time. Bart's great. We run around. I don't mean to say it that way. I mean, I need a guy, and he's been hustling all morning. It's hard to find somebody nimble, quick, and ready to do everything. Okay? You know, as I start to look at this, I said all day, shoot from the dark to the light, right? How about... Keep scooting. Keep scooting right there. Beautiful. Tip your head to the right. Head right there. Beautiful right there. And... Now there's my picture with no light. And now I'm going to add a little light. Wow, it looks good. A little bright. Love the windows. My prints on the wall right there. I'm plus three, no wonder, plus a little bright. How about let's get a meter into the situation and let's just take a look. The cool thing about TTL is TTL, what does that mean? Through the lens metering. So I can simply change my f-stop. And when I change the f-stop, the light will change with me. When I use my Q-flash, Bart, just take it off the stand and hand me that Q-flash for a second. Thank you. This has been my go-to light for probably 20 years. And I get in there and I meter it. But you know what? I metered it so many times that I memorized it. And I, I turned it into my f5.6 light. And I said, from right here at 10 feet, it's going to be 5, 6 every time. And if it's going to be 5, 6 every time, I would put my lens on 8. Why? Because I want it a little lower than the ambient. When it's a little bit lower than the ambient, you're going to absolutely not see it, but it's just going to layer on. See, I'm adding light to this light. And if this is the same intensity as that light, what's it going to do? It's going to add and add, and it's going to be too bright. But why do we use flash? Why do we use off-camera flash? I'll tell you one. Two reasons. What's the first one? Just, just a guess, Don. Why would I use an off-camera light? Guess. For dimension to... Dimension. He got it. First answer. I'm going to shape the face. I'm going to add dimension to the face. The second reason I would use an off-camera flash is to warm up the picture. Did you know what a flash is? It's 5800 Kelvin. So, have you ever taken pictures and they look a little yellow? You know, a little blue? I have. And I've, I've seen them, what's, what's going on with the color? If I add a flash, speed light, quantum, whatever it is, guess what? The colors get beautiful. The skin tones get right on. And the third reason I use flash, it will actually, it will actually freeze the action. If I'm doing a wedding and couples are walking and stuff and I'm shooting off camera flash, the flash will actually lock them onto the film a little bit. Do you know what I mean mm -hmm. by that? And that's, those are all good reasons. So let's take the picture. I think, Lorraine, you're going to have to join us. Come up on stage here, and we'll shoot right up to these windows. And I'm going to do just a few fun portraits. I think we should also do um, a posing stool up here, I think. Well, look at the lights, just beautiful right here. How about come, come forward to me a little bit, because I'm going to get you in, into the hair light. A little bit right there. Look at that light just coming right around here. So you're going to come right up here a little bit. Now, what I might do is slip off your right shoe for me, Ken. Is it buckled or is it hard to get it, off? I got it. Or do, you don't have to. I can seat. Let me seat you. That's just, you sure? yeah, just okay. hand me the stool. All right. Sorry. Come around the front here. Good. Beautiful. That's great. Now, I'm going to fold your arms again. You're kind of in a basic pose. And you'll just come right in with your co-host. And that's great. How about just like this? Uh -huh. And kind of... What I'm thinking about is kind of slipping you up in front of Kenna, so just scoot to me a little bit, and just like that, all right? Can you lean in a little bit? I'm going to raise your dash, so stand up for a second. There you go. Sit again. You're kind of all the way up. Beautiful. Lean together a little bit. Good, 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 good. Right there. That's a picture. Let's take a look.
Let's see if we can get that. Beautiful. And then lean forward, Kenna, just a little bit. Now this is all natural light right here. So the reflector, I would like, Jerry, just wiggle that reflector right in there. You got it? Also important now, based on the same plane, back up a little bit. What about exposure? Exposure here is meaning how does the f-stop relate to this picture? If I shoot this picture, let's say at ISO 400, I can go like to f11 and go a 40th of a second. Now, f11 at a 40th, who would shoot at a 40th of a second? I'm on a tripod, so I can do that. I can just go like this. The f11 is going to kind of really keep everything tight and focused, okay? But how about now I'm going to go what I think I would rather do is go a little more shallow, 5'6 at a 125. And I'm just riding my meter in there using all available light like that. Beautiful, right there. Beautiful, right there. Lorraine, turn your face to the right a little bit. Good. Yes. Switch up. Okay, got it. Here's what I'd like. Mr. Nimble, gone. jump up here with, with a silver reflector in hand. I want to get you up underneath here a little bit. Can I have a, a question for please, you? Please, please. When you're working with corporate models or people um, for these shots, do you generally uh, tell them to smile, open mouth, or a smirk? Both. I'm not really, okay. Both. Yeah, that's gorgeous. This is glamour, beautiful, little light underneath. This is the way I picture you two ladies. Just, just <laughs> awesome is what you are. When I see this broadcast, it's all going to be how beautiful you guys look. It's so nice. Now, the camera just shut down when we put that cable in. You think I could just make the portraits and, and go live on here and just unplug for now? Uh, it keeps saying busy, busy. All right. I could speak to video right now while we're working this out. Right now, while I'm making my corporate new business 2.0, light and lively, more friendly, my friend Connie Hayes from Folger Press at Clay, we've been with you for eight years. You've made all of our business portraits. They've all been done on a dark background with the man like this. You know, the way I was taught. We need something more inviting, something more business 2.0, something more Seattle. I'm in around this place, it's gorgeous, the light's everywhere. So this is what I'm trying to do, airy, light feeling. I don't need to do anything other than push the button, and this is just two silver reflectors. My whole idea going into the company is not even thinking of flash, thinking I want the light that's there. If I need a little light, I'm looking for a loop shadow, and I'm looking to draw it together. So okay. that's my whole goal with this. Video, what I'm thinking is an interview with the CEO. You saw that a moment ago. I'm thinking of behind the scenes. I'm thinking of sliders. I'm thinking of bringing two guys with me. And when you're doing video on the set, you have to be looking for this. You have to be looking for a couple of things. You're gonna be looking for a guy with headphones on. If there's no headphones on the set, something's wrong, because it's audio visual. And making a good film means you really have to capture audio, and I'm usually capturing that not with the camera, with an off-camera source. Okay. Then I have a guy who's watching what I'm doing, and he's looking for the frame in between frames. If you saw the Folger Pratt video, a lot of the film was me shooting their website, and they loved it. They loved, they said it's a more personal side of our business like that. So we're gonna go live here, I think. I'm on. I feel like I'm still looking good here, guys. And, oh, there we go. I see the picture here. Take it off autofocus. I like it a lot. Now, here's what I wanna do. Don, are you okay to go to the left a little bit? I'm gonna switch sides with you. Bart, can you pull these lenses out of here? These lenses, just, I might, I wanna cheat over here. What am I doing now? I'm shooting, <laughs> I'm shooting from the dark to the light, correct? Now, I would handhold this because I can go 12,000 ISO, I just told you that. So, but I'm trying to project this at the same time and if I had to project without a tripod, it's just not gonna work. So I don't have my collar that I mentioned earlier. So what I'm gonna do here is lean out here like this, just like that. That's a nice portrait, guys, I love it. Ah. I mean, I wait to see it come up on screen here. I've got it right into the screen here. Now, to add the flash, I got a couple of variables here. And Bart, you know what you could do also for me? Give me the Q flash sender unit. I think there's two. We keep them because I'll show you another trick with a Q flash. White wall, 
-hmm. bounce, bounce the light right off of there, and I've got this gorgeous fill. All right, let me see your sending unit there. And then, Bart, what you'll do is turn that on one quarter power. I know my light. I know what quarter power is. Off of this wall, I'm going to just lightly fill you. But I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this, and I'm just looking at a perfect photograph here. I, I really think you're going to love it. I know you are. See why I'm, I'm selling it? I'm just telling you. I'm telling you how good it is. Beautiful. Close beautiful. my eyes. Close my eyes. Yeah, good, good, good. Right here at me. And All right, now, we're going to switch in. Um, for, you know what? I bet it's not going to fire with this either. When I project, I apologize to the people at home, when we plug in our USB, for some reason, it is shutting down the flash. So my flash is going. Yep. This is my trusty dusty. I mean, my Q flash. The PDF that you're going to get, because you're all going to order the DVD, is half Q flash, because I just use it for everything, and it, it will not fire when I'm plugged in. That's cool, because you know what? I'm a scrambler here, and I don't, right. I don't even need flash, because I've got these reflectors going. And I'm going to come away with the shot, and at the very end, you know what I'm going to do? Bart, Bart, you hold this, because what I can do, bounce it, Bart. Hold it up and bounce it. I'm just going to unplug and take the shot, and then I'm going to plug it in and show it. Beautiful. All right, Larray, turn your nose to the right a little bit. Just, just the flash just really cleaned everything up a little bit. Right there, right there, good, good, good. I want to get in a little closer to you guys. Good, good, right there. All right, now, can two people just run down there, my, my helpers, and slide the seamless off to the right? Now I'm looking at your portrait and I'm saying, ah, there's a black light stand over there. Get over there and help her, somebody. Or you can just plant that and hit the wall with it. Monica, you want to help her? Just, just clean that wall a little bit. Oh. That, there's one light stand on wheels. Just roll it over. There we go. <laughs> Let me give you some confidence here. Beautiful. Oh, cool. I'm, right. awesome. I'm not done yet. <laughs> I'm going to show the audience at home. I love it. Good. All right, Bart, move the seamless. Just two people right there. All right, looking right here. Thank you. That's it. They're, they're moving that. Turn your nose to the right a little bit, Larray. Chin up a little, Larray. Good. Turn a little more of a V-shape. What pose are they both in? Basic. What's my ISO? 400. What's my camera on? 160 at 7. Would I be hand-holding? Yes, I could. Why am I not? Because I'm doing video and I'm doing photography. I, I feel good about this image. I really do. Let me plug it in and show the people at home. And one thing you'll find about me, and especially like with children, if I get the picture, let's go to something else quick. I got this, I'm happy, I'm gonna go something else, something else, something else. And then when I get in something that's just so good, like this is good, I would just start bringing everybody to me and get, get them all done. And it's all about the pace of a session. I want the people to get in their offices and say, man, that guy just took care of business, didn't he? We scheduled a half a day for five people. He did them in five minutes. And we just, let's keep him on our Rolodex, right at the top. Anytime we need to shoot, call that guy, because their time is valuable. They don't want to be sitting around, you know, playing around with all these ideas that I'm showing them. I'm going to go live. Okay, no problem. I have so many I'm questions. To Me too. All right, wait. Okay, great. Okay. So we're going to review the shots that right. we're not seeing live. I want to get that 2018 on too. We would have had four or five minutes to get this shot. I, I'd love to show you the beauty of a 2018. It is the lens of choice a lot of times when I do this. Now, to, to focus this, I got to look way down there on the monitor. And we're going to go back to live. It looks like it's working fine, Mike. There's the focus right here. Let me even zoom in tighter. There's the focus right there. Larray look awesome back here. And. Come on, come on, come on. There's the shot right there. I'm going to cheat it over there to the window a little. It's a 35 millimeter. This gentleman right here, can you come over a little bit with the video camera right down here? And you look at him with his one man army. Just come over a little tiny bit right down here. He doesn't see me. All right. We'll leave him and we'll crop him later. But I love it because he would be my guy on the stick at the corporation doing the thing. Good. And a good smile right there. Teeth and now. I'm going to unplug for a second, okay, and I'm going to see the difference with and without flash. Off live view, and that is really something I've never seen before, that the reason that we can't have flash when we plug in. All right, I love it. Bart, yeah, yeah, I just have to take a couple with flash. <laughs> yep, there we go. And I feel like the flash, just to be sure, since we, we've been going on the fly here, Bart, if you can just pull the flash back a little. 
And you don't have to do video, a video plate. Just pull it back. I don't think we're going to use the 200. I'll just show to it. Pull it back a little bit just to be sure. I want it to be real natural. Okay. All right. Now the shot of the day. I'm going to bring uh, Kenna down over here, and you're going to stand on this ladder. Okay? And you're going to come back a little, Don. I'm going to go live, and you guys can see the shot. Sorry. Oh, no, we're not using that one. So go up on the ladder here, and you're going to come right into the corner here. Yep. Good. All right. Come back down for one second. Can you get a block, Bart? I'm gonna, i got to get you up a little higher. I think we can put one of our foam blocks in here, and somebody just steady her hands, because I want to get her a little higher. Put one, the bigger one. Yep. Give me both, and we'll hold her. Do we have insurance? Safety <laughs> first, Mike. I got you. First. <laughs> Oops, you should be barefooted. I know you went camping on Sunday, so this I is did. fine for you. Yeah. All right, you just okay. go like this. There we go. Look at that. She's in the pose. Larray, you're right here. Pose. Now what do I do? Light. Let's go live. Uh, this is it. Now all you students and stuff, just come on back over here, Christine. The light, Bart, way over here. Bart, why don't you give me a back 45 on the hair? Watch what Bart's going to do. Over here, way over here. All right, good, guys. This is it. This is the shot. Now I'm looking at this. I want to get their heads a little closer together. So to do that, I'm going to bring you down a little. All right, stay. See those stools? How can I do it without that? This is it. I've been wanting this shot all day. How about just fold your arms in the front, Lorraine? This is kind of the newscaster pose, isn't it? Kind of like, you know, I'm confident. Come forward a little bit. Come forward and then sit there. Good. Good, good, good. Now lean in together there. All right. I'm there. The white seamless. Can you guys just keep moving it to the right? Christine, you got it. Where's Jerry? Jerry's a strong guy. You got the reflector? Yes. All right. Bart's on one side. I just want to just kind of slide it a little bit. It's just getting a lot of attention. That, that way, probably. It is a studio. Now, where's my light going to be? Okay. I'm just going to use all available light with a back 45 light on your hair. And Kenny, you lean forward just an inch. What's camera height? Very important. What I'm thinking here is I'm thinking to keep everything level. So I want to get my picture like you're not in it, and the studio's level. That studio looks level. Let's see what the back 45's doing. It's beautiful what that light's doing. It's that little chrome on the Cadillac. I still think Kenna needs to come up, so you stay. I'm going to bring Lorraine down. Stand up for a second. Here's a trick. Come out and sit here and lean into the picture, which is going to kind of lower you in there. Yep, that's it, that's it. And Kenna, you lean a little bit right there, ladies. You're a little far apart. Pull your chair in just a little bit. All right, here we go. Here we go, Clay. Here we go. Creative Live. There we go, right there. Bart, there's a little light on the neck there. Just this light here, just kind of take it that way and feather it a little more. I love it. The whole studio, beautiful. How about this time, stand, stand up and push in a little more and turn your back to your, your partner. Turn this way. And then, yeah, that's good. Now tip your head. Actually, tip your head back to her. That's it. That's it. There's the shot right there. Can I get you a little closer and we're done? Tip your heads a little more. Right there. Can I tip your head that way a little bit? Yes, right there. Tip your head to the right a little bit. Good, right there. Let me just go with one other lens choice. What are you switching up to now? I was thinking a little tighter, Bart. How about, um, this is 24-35. You know, a, a 24-70 is, is a go-to lens for me because I can just zoom in and out. But I've gotten into these prime lenses for video, and I just think that they speak volumes for quality and just feeling. That's it, right there. That's it, right there, yes. Kenna, you tip your head. Actually, tip your head to the right, and Lorraine, you tip your head back here. This is the final shot, right here. Good, leaning in there. So all I'm doing here, daylight, you can't miss. We've been doing that all morning. A back 45 light to light your hair. Is the light going? Let's make sure we hit Kenna's hair with the light, Bart. Come on, right in there. Lean it in there, a little more of a hair light. This is it. Come on in. It's great to see the picture right away. It's hitting her cheek a little. Can you keep going this way? Keep going. Mr. Nimble, Mr. Nimble, go, go, go. Right there. Off her face. And last shot. One, two, three, and creative live, all creative. <laughs> creative clay. Woo! We got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's come on down and we'll t answer all these questions. Can I talk? Um... Okay. Good. Let's go review the photos. I'm going to unplug and you guys replug me back below. Let's 
plug back in here. There we go. One thing I'd like to talk, or we, we're live right now, so I'd like to just talk about what's going on here. So when we do these pictures, I need to plug in here to review, is you really need to, when you do an office shoot like this, you really need to kind of get in there and zero everything down before you go get Mr. CEO in front of your camera. So I, I would have done 10 pictures of Bart, 10 pictures of my assistant, the video's all clued in, and we just get going. Usually it's a half a day shoot, and that's how it comes together. So our idea here is to look where we started way back at the beginning. I like that clean look right there. Let's see what the flash did with and without. So I'm kind of shooting, I'm going to go all the way to the top and kind of tell you what was happening up here. The fish eye was where I began, and I think the fish eye was a little wide right there. You see, I think people buy pictures based on two things, Kenna. How does my body look and what's my expression, right? And you would look at this picture and say, no, I don't like it. Because really, I want to get over into this kind of view right here. Isn't that much more flattering? So now I want to get in closer to you guys. I want to hide the knees and get in, in here. Now I'm looking pretty good, and I'm using all available light. And from here, I'm going to start thinking the reflectors right there to open it up. Now, actually, here I unplugged our view, and I used a 600 speed light from Canon. That's a TTL unit, and I use them all the time, effortlessly, with a little sending unit. We're not done with these. We're going to use these a lot. Where I put my camera on 8, the camera goes at 8. The flash goes at 8. 11, 11. I don't touch it. It's called TTL. My problem with through-the-lens metering is that sometimes it'll fool me. Let's just say I'm in a black warehouse and the, both ladies are in black. The light's going to try to make up everything gray. It's going to overexpose them. So then you have to compensate and come down. So I would rather, I think, for my old-fashioned way of working, is just go manually. Put the flash on manual, feet and distance. You know, Joe Zeltzman, the great photographer, said, hey, that's what it's all about is feet and distance. That how far is the flash from the camera? How far is the, um, the lens from the camera? It's really just feet and distance, right? It's the easiest way to work, I think, as a working pro. So I'm looking at the picture. You can see the white seamless is going out. And there we go. How do we do, ladies? I, I love it. I'm going to tell you, I've been working with Al Gilbert, Bill McIntosh. These are huge giants in the location portrait business. And this is how they would do it. Now, we would be adding a, a little hair light here and there. We could be adding a little fill. And the fill light came off of the back wall. So here's a picture with no flash, and here's a picture with flash. Big difference, right? But Jerry, you don't even notice the flash, do you? Because it's so subtle. This, this window light is about f4. How strong is that, that flash? It's 2, 2.8. It's under, it's less. I can speak to that really strongly. Can you throw that cue flash on a stand and just stick it over here, Bart? It's just so important to where we're heading, which is we're going up to the roof here in a minute, and I want to talk about what I'm going to do. Then we went for this shot. I, I don't know. I was really pushing it, but I was trying to show the studio. Now, the only thing missing here is a big light just kind of clearing up the back wall there. Let's see. And I'm, I, I could have brought in some studio lights. Now, there's that light from the hair light back 45, and I see it on the cheek. So that's the picture here. I feel like the light was kind of missing Larray's eyes a little bit. And I think that I was plugged in. I was a little limited on what I could do there. I think a couple of flashes would have been better. I'm going to pick this as my favorite. Something along here. And just trimmed out like that. Just trimmed in a little tighter. Probably head and shoulders. So where is the cue flash? It's just laying around here. There it is, right up there, the real high one. <laughs> it's hidden from you. Here's what I do, guys. The Q flash is manual. I take the meter and I meter it. So here's a very important rule on how to use flash. And we're going to go up on the roof now pretty quick. And here's my thought. I've got to deal with a lot of elements up there. But the flash, I could never go up there without it. Let's put it on 1 8 power. 1 8 power. I meter this outside with a Sekonic Elf 398, I think that's what it's called, 358. When you, when you meter this, go ahead and give me a pop there, Bart. Let me turn this on. And what I need to do, I'm going to put the ISO 100. I'm going to go to ISO 200. Okay? 
I'm a 200. Now, Bart, just give me a sending unit. Just hit the lightning bolt, okay? 6.3 is what that light just gave me. 6.3, and you're on one-eighth power? Can you pull it back a little bit? And can you feather it a little bit to the left? A little more to the left, right there. Give it to me again. That's, I was going to bet you guys dinner that it was 5.6, and it's 5.6. I just didn't want to fall down on national TV, but I knew that that was 5.6. I've done it so many times. Now, if you go outside to try to meter a flash, it won't work. You know what happens? The meter is adding the sunlight and the meter and the flash, and it's wrong. It's incorrect. So you need to turn your meter up to 250th of a second or to 400. And that's how we get an accurate reading. I've got a 5.6 light. Hit it again. I'm going on the roof. I'm going to go F8. Let's do that. That's our next segment. But I hope that that was fun for you. The window light, the corporate. The, we're just moving around having fun. We made some great images. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Clay. <laughs> what a morning, everybody. We had a lot of fun. I hope you we guys did, did too. Um, so we're going to take a 20-minute break because, like Clay said, we are moving everybody up to the roof so that you can, guys can see what we do outside. All right. And just to remind you, this entire three-day course is $149. But during the live event, which is right now, you can get the entire three days for just $99. So you can click that buy button right beneath this video and we will see you guys back here in 20 minutes. Who do you want to see next in Creative Live? I'm Craig Swanson and we want to hear from you. Go to creativelive.com forward slash suggest where we've created a special form for you to tell us who you would like to see next in this Creative Live classroom. Creative Live is here to help you unleash Welcome back, everyone, to Creative Live. If you are just joining us now, we are here with Clay Back Blackmore, learning to pose it, light it, love it. We are now up on the roof here at Creative Live. We have the Space Needle here in Seattle behind us, and we are ready to get rolling. All right, before we get rolling, though, this is our last shout out. And to let you know, this is your last chance to enter the photo contest on our Facebook page. There are almost $5,000 in prizes. Just did a phenomenal giveaway of prizes. So what you need to do is go over to our Facebook page, upload your best portrait by two o'clock today, Pacific time. Start voting, have your friends vote, and voting ends at five o'clock p.m. Pacific time. So do that right now. All right, Clay, back over to you to take it away. Okay, let's get busy here. You know, you made it rough on me because I think I'm in the most difficult situation in Seattle. It's windy, there's no cover, the sun's at high noon at one o'clock, what am I gonna do? If I'm at a wedding, I'm leaving this area as quick as I can, I'm gonna go to the shade, I'm gonna get underneath the shade. But what I do like is to have the signature shot of the tower here and to pull it all together. So to do that, what I'll probably do is meter my light and bring it way up. I'm always talking about joining in with the light and stop under, keeping it under. But if I'm going to expose for the needle, which is F16, then what I'm going to have to do on that needle right there, wow, sunny 16, I said that so fast, let me be educational. What does that mean? When Kodak made film, they spent a million dollars giving you one little piece of information on a sheet of paper inside, and it was called the F16 rule, the sunny 16 rule. And you know what? I use it to this day. This meter is the sunny 16 rule, but you know what? What does it mean? I have to tell it to you at home because some of you will get a grin out of this. When the bright sun is out, you put the camera on F16. What's the shutter speed? Well, it's whatever your film speed is. If I'm at 125 ISO, I'm at 125 on the shutter speed. What if it gets a little cloudy hazy? That's 11. How about, you know, that's cloudy bright. How about cloudy? That's an F8 day. How about, how about really cloudy? How about kind of rainy cloudy like Seattle, 5, 6 day? So you put your camera on 5, 6 and you round your shutter speed off to the film speed, to the ISO, and it works every time. I mean, it's just a million dollars worth of information for you right there on Creative Live. Now, I'm going to say I'm on F16, 125. That's what I put the camera on. I didn't even check it, but what I'm going to do now is add in some flash. So let's pull the flash over, and let's say, how much light do I want out of my quantum Q flash? I think I'm going to want 
right under 16, probably about 11. So I, that to me, I know, I've memorized this, is going to be half power. So you guys want to get a little shot of that? You got it on half power right there. So now I'm going to hand it back to the camera position and I'm going to take a meter reading. But I said this inside really fast, so why don't I do it again? My meter is on a 60th of a second. Take a hit the lightning bolt on the back of the flash. It told me that that flash is F32. Is that, are you fighting that? You want him to put up the scrim? Because I know right now I would scrim. Jerry, go ahead, pop it open. Can you pan over here? I brought up a scrim. This is my cloud. I have no excuses. You know, when I get to the wedding and the bride looks at her pictures a month later and she's like, it looks so, you know, washed out or so sunny. I, my excuse is, I don't have an excuse. Well, this is the cloud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand in a cloud. Hey, hallelujah. Now, can you send that off again? I'm getting, it's telling me 32 out of the light. I didn't think the light could do 32. How come? It's because it's on a 60th of a second. And that's not correct. I'm going to meter this down. I'm putting the meter on 400th of a second. Hit it again. Hey, guess what that light is? Can you get a macro shot? It's F16. I could have made the picture without the meter. It's just from doing it so often. I hate to be humorous, but I eat three meals a day, sometimes four, and never does the food hit my cheek or my chin. I do it so many times, I just know it. I just know it, and that's where I want you to be. I want you to know your equipment, and that's important. So now let's get a model in here. How about Hannah just step in here? Wear your jacket at first, you know, just for fun. She's got a little sweater on. I want to keep her comfortable until I get the picture. It's a little breezy up here. We're in Seattle, Pacific Northwest, and just turn to me like that. Good. Now we can speak to a lot of things here, but the, the, the tower over here is going to be really hard to marry in and get rid of that Holiday Inn, so I'm going to have to go vertical. But let's take a test shot. We're going to bring our scrim in. We've got that in place. So now a silver reflector. Let's add that in. Even though I'm using flash, I always have the silver reflector in the mix because it lowers the contrast on this, this entire image. So it's always flash and reflector. And you know, sometimes it's one or the other. You know, I just don't know. But this, this reflector is just doing a beautiful job. And guess what? The sun's over there. Normally, it's really kind of like straight up, but it's kind of creeping that direction. But he's just playing a game of bumper pull with it. He's, where, did you, where did you point it first? Look where he pointed it first, to the sun. That's the third time I said that today, and I bet you're going to forget it tomorrow. you got to grab the light and then bring it in. All right, right there. How about I just take a picture with no flash and see how it looks? You guys ready? I'm ready. I like, just leave that sweater on. I know it looks a little bit cozy for me right now, and I'm not sure it's going to be the, the end-all portrait. I don't think it will be, but I'm just testing. Good. Now, if I go horizontal, which I would love to go and go live, let me just talk to my producer and see if you guys get the feed. I'm on live view. Oh, it looks cool. Can you guys at home see that? I hope so. I think so. My problem is now, can I focus it? I'm going to pull out these little guys here and go into plus 5, plus 10. Yes. There is no reason to have a picture at F16 out of focus. <laughs> That's, everything's in focus. God, this looks great. I'm turning off the flash unit and I'm just going to take the picture right here. I'm on autofocus. And that's making the uh, thing jump up real high. All right. Let me talk to my guys. Did that feed down? Are they okay with that? You can see it? All right. I love the, the way we married it all together. Let me look at the picture on my end. All right. Now, I'm going to bring that flash in. So let's go back to my exposure. How did I get on program? Joe Busink, did you sneak up here and put my camera on P for professional? I'm going to M for master, just like your Vaughn said, okay? We're going to go back to live view. Good, right there. And hit me with, now we're going to put a little light on there. Let's see if it works when we're plugged in. No, it doesn't. Okay. Just open that reflector up a little bit more. Good, right there. And, okay. So there's the picture, but we have half the space needle. So I'm going to go vertical. I'm going to unplug for a little bit. I'm going to have to do that. 
to go vertical and because of the video camera, why? You're now looking at, oh, it looks gorgeous here. It is vertical, but is everybody at home seeing it sideways? What's happening? We're okay. I love it. Good, good, good. Chin down a dash. Good. Now, here's the point. Watch this. I'm on ma manual. This right here, my cloud, is going to take two stops off of the direct sun. So if this is a sunny 16 day, what is the light now? Eight. I'll bet you guys dinner, the whole staff. All right, here we go. There's eight of us, there's ten of us up here. We're going to go to, we're taking the flash out of the equation, okay? We're going to go to ISO 200, and we've got to take the mode back to daylight. Meter the shadows. Uh-oh, I might be at 11. I might be buying tonight. I'm at 11. I'm at 11 right now. So I'm going to shoot 11. I'm going to shoot 11. And let's see what happens to the needle. I bet it's going to wash out a little. I know it is. Because if that's, if that's 16 and I'm shooting at 11, let's get my camera set. 16, 18, 14. All right, I'm at 11. It looks beautiful. I mean, you can't miss. The, the needle's all pulled in. But the point being, many times your background will wash out. You want this beautiful cloud. And what's going to happen right after our session up here, I'm going to have a super educational slideshow for you. And it's going to show me working in every situation. And there's many times where I'm not going to marry in the background with the foreground unless I know what I'm doing. And, and I just want to come over here and talk to it. Watch this. Let's pretend I'm on a golf course and it's just this beautiful willow tree behind Hannah. Hannah, I'm going to meter for your face and I'm going to put my camera on what the meter says. And that's going to be 60 at 8 just about every time. What is the flash going to be? One stop under at 5, 6. Two stops under at 4 is even better. So I like to work in this soft open shade. There's where you're going to find me. To come up here is just, we're just asking for trouble. We are asking for trouble, but I'm going to pull it off. And what I'm going to do is expose for that. Now this, if you're on the beach, which, you know, who, who wouldn't like to be on the sunset on the beach? What's the key to getting the color in the sky? The key is to underexpose the sky a little bit. That means fast shutter speed. Remember that, fast shutter speed. I want the needle. I want a fast shutter speed, maybe 250 at 11. All right, so there's two things I do with flash outside. What's the first thing? First thing is find the open shade, expose for the open shade, and put a flash in one stop under. The flash is going to shape the face, it's going to give me better color, and it's going to give me more sharpness. I love the Q-Flash off camera. It works every time. It's my go-to light, the quantum Q-Flash. Now I'm in a sunny situation on the beach. I'm at a sunset. And I say, look at the sky. I want it. I want it. I expose for it. There's the needle. I'm going to expose for it. I'm going to go 250 at 11, and I'm going to put the flash in at 11. All right? And let's see what happens now. So, so far, we've just been kind of tinkering around with all available light. Let's get our flash in the mix. I hate to do this, but I'm going to unplug the live feed because it, it won't work with it that plugged in. Let's undo it real quick, and let's shoot away so we can get right back on and review the pictures. What do you guys think? Is there a stylus up here? I don't mind the sweater. I think it looks fine. What do you guys think? I think it's okay. In a minute, we'll do fabric. So let's just leave her like this now. She looks comfortable. Turn your, your shoulders to the left, your toe to me, right toe to me. Now watch this trick. You guys saw me do this yesterday. Pick up your heel a little bit. Yes. Yeah, look at that. Look how I pose the legs, just so gently. Hands on the hips. Now, Bart, she's going in this direction. Bring your shoulders to me a little. So I'm going to pull you out, and I'm going to put my flash just like in the studio, exactly. It's so exciting when you can take this technique on the roof to the golf course, to the window, and it never changes. I'm looking for a loop shadow. And you know what I've learned to do? I've learned to look under the nose for the shadow. And I can honestly see 
if I'm getting a Rembrandt or a Luke. Can you believe that? I mean, you got to look fast, you got to look quick, and you can see it right there. So now the flash looks good. What is the intensity of the flash? It is 11. What is the picture going to be? 250 at 11. So let's go to M for manual, for master, and let's kick it up to 250. Here we go. Love, love, love. All right, Jerry, you're doing awesome. Can you raise it a little bit, Jerry? See, the flash did not go. That's no flash, and this is flash. Bart, why don't you throw your reflector in to kind of catch the flash? You know what I mean? And kind of bring it in. One final refinement here is going to be getting down low. What am I doing here? I'm selecting the background first. Hannah, turn your nose to the right. Tip your head this way. Bring your shoulders around to me a little bit. Chin down. Chin down right there. Come on, right there. Let's see. It's looking great. It's looking really beautiful, I'm thinking, right here. You know what would almost be a good idea? Chin down a little bit. If somebody can just take a, this fabric, this jacket here, can you come with me and just grab it? Can you cover my head with it? Just, I want to look at the picture. And this is going back to the days when we were, uh, you know, under the old 4 by 5 camera. Hallelujah. This is just beautiful. I'm going to make you guys surprised. I think it's great. I think it's great. Yeah, I'm good now. I got it. Let's keep shooting now. Woo! All right. That scrim is hitting her hip. I mean, come on. Jerry, you were awesome. You were awesome. Now, how about this? I got my picture. Give me 10 poses. How about one? Now do it. Two. Three. Lose that sweater, please. <laughs> Four. Here we go. And let's just play. Five. Six. Yes. Oh, hang on my focus. Seven. Yes, yes, yes. Eight. Yes. Go, go, go. Nine. Ten. Let me keep going. Ten. How about, yeah, I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Yes, that's it. Chin down a dash. Right there. Come on, camera. Don't run out of pictures. I got... Flash is going every time. All right, how about somebody just hold the fabric way over here? Well, you know, before I do, before I do, watch this. We're in the studio. I've got this beautiful light, right? What is it? It's full face. Isn't it full face? So let's say we want to go to two thirds. But I'm thinking I want you looking this way. So watch this. If I want her looking that way, which way does the body go? I think Mike even knows the answer. He's been paying attention more than all of you at home. I want your shoulders this way. Now your left toe to me, we built from the bottom, and now she's in which pose? The feminine pose. Where's the light? The light is right here. There it is. Now look under her nose, click. I've got a loop shadow. That's picture one, looking right at my camera. Now Barton, I'm gonna wheel around. Bring your body square to the camera and look right over there. Don't stop right there. Now turn your nose to me, hands on your hips. And I want you to look at that crane right over there, that yellow crane. So now we're in the two-third view of the face. Two-third view. <clears throat> Thank you. Chin down a little. Now look, chin down a little more. If she's two-thirds, let me take the picture. Yep, sorry about that. Chin down a little bit. Two-thirds, what is that going to do? I said this a moment ago, and here's what I said. I said when I'm on that two-third view, I still don't want her body square to the camera. This is posing. Pose it, pose it, pose it. What's happening? She's square to the camera. She's so petite, but I still want to cheat your body this way. Go back. Yes, yes. Now, that's good. Drop your right shoulder. Yes, that's it. Even more. See? That's it. Pose, light, love. Now, looking right over here, there's your, there's, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the picture. Hey, how about this, Bart? Just like a statue, can you wiggle around to me in full face? We're going around this way. Yep, right there. Now, Bart, bring the light. Bring the light. Here we go. Oh, it's going now. The flash went. What did you do, Mike? Look at this. One. Look at me, look at me, look at me. One. Turn your shoulders to me a little. Yes. Chin down. Woo! What is that? It's a little bright, actually. Feather it a little bit. See what Bart's got to even feather the light. You know, he was going right at her, blasting her. There's one. 
Now, like a statue, rotate. And Bart, you go with her. Right there. A little more. Bart, you're almost 90 now. Right there. Now, your nose back to me a little, and your shoulders this way a little bit more. Right there. Now, look to that crane, that yellow crane. Turn your nose to the left. Now, wherever you're looking, look to the right a dash. Now, Christine, I know you're down there, and you know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a little flesh to hold in her eye, and I've got it. How about a hint of a smile? You look too stiff. Right there. You're a little hot, Bart. Kind of feather it. Feather it this way. Keep feathering. Pull it back. Right there, right there, just a little right there. It should be exactly the same distance, Bart. Good, right there. And there's our two-third view. Now profile. Can you keep going around? Right there. Switch your feet up, bring your right foot to me. Bend your right knee in front of your left. Hands on your hips. Lean your shoulder back a little bit. Drop your right shoulder. And yeah, that's hands on your hips. And now look out to those yellow cranes. Turn your nose to the left a little more. You guys remember my picture of Paris? Got that beautiful shot with the Eiffel Tower. It's exactly how I made it, although it was in silhouette. Now, Bart, you need to be a, a loop shadow. And right now, you are flat. You are flat. Go, 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 go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now, turn it back to me. Now, get in a little closer, Bart. It should always be the exact same distance. We got a winner here, guys. Bart, keep feathering to me. Keep feathering. Now, Bart, use your reflector to, to catch the light and open it back up. Look, off the flash. Profile light, right there. Now come to me with a reflector. Keep coming, keep coming. Come out way out to me, look at me. Five steps over. Keep coming, keep now, open up the light. You're gonna use the sun and the flash. You know what Bart's flash is, his reflector is also doing, he's a gobo. We talked about that. Look where that flash is coming right into my lens. So Bart kind of goes straight up and down, just like in the studio. Yep, now open up the light, keep going and you're gonna shield me. There you go, watch the shot, right there. One, two, and tip the top of your head to me a dash. Chin down. Now how about if I take one with no flash? Okay, no flash. Eyes a little higher. Drop your right shoulder a dash. Good, right there. Turn your toe to me a little more. Drag that foot back a little bit this way. Yeah, a little more, drag it. Now, now lean that knee way in. Woo, pose it, light it, love it, woo. Tip the top of your head to me a little. Now what's happening? No flash. Let's turn on the flash and let's nail it. Right here, one, two, and smiling. Teeth for one. Hannah, eyes a little higher. Let me just see, Bart. The flash might be in a little tight. Just go back there. Ah, oh, it's great. It is great. Don't wear her out. Tip the top of your head to me a little bit. Somebody just give her one piece of fabric in her left hand and let her just hold it straight up in the air. Little piece of fabric, whatever. I know we got tons of bolts of fabric. Yeah, just white fabric. I've got this shot. Let her play with it. Let's get a breeze going. Yeah, right hand, your left hand, now just hold it straight up. Yeah, right there. Beautiful, right there. Wings, wings. Drop them a little bit on each side. Good, good, good. Oh, it's great. Bart, run over and feather the flash. It feels a little punchy. Just pull it back a little, you know, give me, it's really hard to see what I'm getting. It should be the same distance every time. I'm shooting a big raw file and then feather it towards me. There we go. Make sure it gets on her nose. There we go, right there. All right. This is where it takes patience, right here, to get something gorgeous. Lower it on this side, please. Even all the way down. All the way down. Right there. Beautiful. Jerry, you're doing an awesome job, man. <coughs> Bart, you got it going great. One, two, and. Let's get the fabric closer to her feet. Can you kind of bring it in like a bridal veil right there? Yeah. Oh, look at me like that. Now, when she looks at me like that, the flash is in the wrong position. Look back out to your left. Good. Higher with the veil. All right. Let's take a little break, and can we review those pictures? Can I do that and talk about it with and without, or you want to just keep shooting? All right. We'll keep shooting. <laughs> All right. Now, let's do, we got the shot. I came up here, and I conquered it. I mean, just flat out saw the picture in my mind's eye and did it. Now, what I'm going to do is have a little fun. We're going to go... Let's go this way a little bit. You can talk to me. Go this way a little bit. Review the lighting setup, although we're just moving, but just one it's more same. time. It's the same. Okay, so one more time. Tell us exactly. You get up here, there's nothing there's nothing going on, and you're looking at the blue sky, like exactly your process. I think I found your real picture. I want the two of you next right here <laughs> with your shades <laughs> on and everything. Once we got um, lunch. Okay, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm 
picking the needle and exposing for it. Okay. And that was 250 at 11 or 125 at 16. Kodak spent a million dollars telling me how to figure that out. Every day I look out my car window. I mean, we used to do this in high school. Seriously, I've been taking pictures since the newspaper in high school, and we read the thing, and my professor made me <clears throat> learn the F-16 rule. And we'd sit in the classroom and he'd say, Dr. Fulgham, I wish you were out there. I know you passed away. Your son's out there. Your son, awesome family. Hal Fulgham said, and he taught me cinema too. He said, what kind of day is it today? I'd say, F-8 day. He'd go, I think 8.2 would be closer. Ah, you know, he was that precise. And so we didn't really, you know, we, we love the meter. In fact, what I do with my meter all the time is say, I'm going to second guess it. I think it's so-and-so. Yes or no. So I got the exposure there using, I think, what's the best off-camera flash made, the quantum Q flash. I'm able to give me a lot of light or a little light. This can go bare bulb. Sometimes I'll have two of these. If I have a bridal shoot, I'll have one behind the veil, you know, behind. TTL is through the lens metering. I would rather do what Joe Zeltzman told me, feet and distance. I said 10 feet, it's 5'6". I pumped it up and made it 10 feet at F11. I shot 11, the light was 11, it all came together, okay? Now, we're just going to have fun now. We're just going to let the veil kind of flow on the face. And um, what would be really awesome, can you, uh, well, we, we didn't bring it up, was my 200-1.8, but I'm just going to shoot it with this lens. Uh, a 200-1.8 would give me this shallow depth of field. And I'm going to just get that fabric and let her play with it. Watch your step. Here's what we're going to do now. I'm going to cheat over here. You know what I'm trying to get away from the building to the left of the needle? So just cheat a little over here. You see my painted background on the floor. I'm going to end here. You can actually stand right on it. Right there. Cool. Good, good, good. Now, I'm just going to have fun here with you guys. I think what we're going to do now is going to go no flash. Why no flash? Because I want to pick up the pace a little. And I'm going to shoot... And I'm going to be honest with the viewers at home, high speed sync, it's just not something I do. I don't really understand it that well. I've worked with Bob Davis and my buddy Stephen Eastwood. They kick up this thing up to like eight thousandth of a second with flash. I know my flashes do that. It's just something I haven't wrapped my head around. What I do is bring my flash stronger. And that's the same thing really, keeping my shutter speed under 250. Okay? So now, I'm going to get the shutter speed about a thousandth of a second. Why? <clears throat> I'm going to put my camera at 2.8. And guess what? It's a thousandth of 2.8. I just took a guess. I'm shooting a thousand at 2.8. No flash. We took that off. And we're just going to have fun with fabric. You know what I mean? Uh, bring it up a little higher above her. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. Yeah, beautiful. Ah, oh, lovely. I'm going to get a little lower. Now, you guys are going to think I'm a little nutty, but this is kind of what you might see me doing on a shoot like this. I might drop in here and just flip on a Mark IV camera, and I'll just hit the video button, and I'm live. I'm live view, and I'm going to get my exposure down, and it is gorgeous. Come on. Ah, this is pretty video. i got to make sure I'm in focus. And I'm rolling right there. This is bringing some 1080p video into the action, and I love it. Let's go for it, baby. Let's show me some love. Pose it, light it, love it. Let it wrap around her, just having a good time like that. Yes, right there. Yes, yes, yes. Turn back towards the wind. How about bring your side all the way around in front of her, and let it just, yep, and you just let it kind of blow against you. Yes, right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to give up this camera. And I'm going to take my, my film camera, and I would usually just have Bart, you just stay on this, okay? And you just kind of play with it. Rock it. <clears throat> so what am I doing? I'm picking, <laughs> I'm picking the video. And that's, that's kind of being <clears throat> a DP, a director of photography. I, I know what's going on here photographically, and I know it's going to translate to video just as, just as well. So let's go shoot now. I'm going to go down. I need the shot of the day now. Here we go. The reflector's doing its thing. Yep. Do I have a, one more? How about just one of you let go of the fabric and come over here and wiggle my reflector. Let the fabric go. Right there. Just wiggle the reflector. Oh, Bart, you got it? 
and just give me light in her face. Maybe come over behind Bart a little bit so you can get a little more flatter. Here we go. Now I'm going to shoot away. Look into the light. Turn your nose to the left. All right, don't go. I'm going to play around with this for a second for you. We're running out of time, but we're not going to be finished until we get it. What did I do? I pointed it to the sun. I bring it in here. That's you. Keep wiggling it in there. Show me something beautiful here. This is going to be the cover of Seattle Magazine. I can see it now. And that's, I'm selling the model, selling the subject. Lean back, yes. Cover your face with it and just make it real sheer. Yeah, right there, right there. Now drop your, yes, right there, right there. Let me drop your shoulder. Look over your shoulder. All right, slow. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Come on, camera. I must be shooting on two cards. It's trying to keep up. I might just take my exposure down. You stay right there. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna. I'm plugged in, and that's what it is. I'm gonna. I could lower my exposure from RAW to JPEG because my JPEGs are great, and that camera will shoot faster. Is what I'm thinking. Now let the kind of the wind. Here's what I would be looking at for you, Hannah. More like this. This. Look this way. Lean this way. Yes. Yes. See that. That's what I see in the statues. That's what I see in the museums. Like this. Oh, I love it. Right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Tip the top of your head to me. Turn your nose to the left. Come on, wind. Yes. Put it right over your face. One sheer piece. And then wrap it around. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. Now pull it higher. Yeah, give me a veil right there. Beautiful. Show me that needle. Come on, come on, come on. Now let me see your face. Just a little bit of your face. Let go of this piece. It's too, I need, yeah, sheer. There you go. Beautiful. Come on, show me a picture. Come on, let me look. I'm going so fast, I haven't even reviewed anything. So, oh, look at that. Look at the wind. Oh, that video is going to be so magnificent. Keep it in focus. Oh, yes. Jerry's got the sail by the helm. Let me just take a... 10 seconds and let a picture load up before I just keep hammering away here. Ah, oh, it's great. It's great. It's great. I need my infrared. This is an IR dream shot. Now look over the fabric at me just a little bit. Just look over it. Yeah, right there, right there. Let go of your left hand. Yeah, and lower it right there. Chin down. Lower the fabric a little more in the back. Yeah, right there. Laughing. Look straight up. Yeah, the reflector is great. What you're doing with the reflector is great. All right, now you take two hands and just hold it straight up, Hannah and let it just blow. Try to get as much wind as you can. Right there, right there. Beautiful. Now your left hand higher and your right hand down and then soften the reflector. Chin way down, chin way down. Turn your nose to me a little. A little more reflector. Bring this uh, fabric in. Right there, right there's the shot, right there. Laughing. Yes, come on, come on. Right there. Chin down. I think we got it, guys. One more. Look out into the, to the reflector, right there. All right, relax. Beautiful. One more shot. Do I have one more? Or time to go? Yeah, a few minutes. So lay right on your back, right there. Let your knees go away from us so we don't look up your dress. Turn around and just lay down. Jerry, all the way down. <clears throat> one of the things I've always had fun with with my backgrounds is I use them outside. I lay them on the ground. Let's say I'm doing a three-year-old. I tell them it's a swimming pool. Hey, we're going to go swimming. It's a swimming pool, I promise. And I drop them in there and I do this. Another thing I do is I roll gray paper. You'll see that later. And I have people inside the paper. That's the burrito we're going to do tomorrow. <clears throat> but now we're just going to lay your face to me a lot right here. Now this reflector, to get it, one more shot. We've got to go fast. I'm going to help you out here. Okay. I'm going to have you go like this. Okay. Real close to her. You got it? Okay, got you feel good? Yep. Me know You're the man. You're the man. Here. You're the man. Turn your face right to me. I actually want to take the reflector backwards. Watch this. What did I just do here? Th this should be better. You're in the shade now. You got that? What we're doing here, we're making our own overhang. Turn your face to me a little more. Can you just let your hair out and just let it blow everywhere? This is the last shot. Yeah, there we go. Um, 
to Silas. Maybe she could play with the hair a little bit and make up. Just, just take the hair for this shot and just let it go everywhere. Let's finish kind of wild. Yeah, the ponytail out. Or it doesn't have to be. We're pretty quick. You can just put all the hair in the front. Is that okay? What are we looking at? A minute? I feel great about these pictures. Look at Bart on the video. We simply record everything we do. We really do. You just, it's just so beautiful. There we go, right there. And just lo lower your face to me. This, this fabric, there you go. And just turn your face to me a little bit right there. Just take a knee right there. There you go, and come down low. Yeah, it's the scrim's missing. Scrim's missing. Right there, beautiful, right there. Beautiful, right there. Look, at, look right in my lens. Ah. And then, and I got it, I'm on M for manual, for master, and I missed it. Hey, Joe, what do you think? P for professional. I'm in a hurry. We're running out of time. Just go to P and shoot. Autofocus. How about your left hand right up to your face? Right there, right there. Beautiful. You're okay. Now the hand long. Beautiful. Into the smile. Chin up. No smile. No smile. Right there. Shoot. Roll your nose more. Close your eyes. Your pinky is in your eye. Hide your pinky. Hide your pinky. Now just close your eyes. Chin down. Chin down right there. Now look at me. One, two, three. Got it. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready to talk. I'm ready for whatever. All Throw right, it at sorry. me, guys. <laughs> that was quite a sight to see. Let's give it up for Jerry and our model because, man, that wind was blowing. That was awesome. You guys gave me a challenge, but we overcame it. All right, so everybody, we are going to take our 45-minute break. Uh, why don't you turn around with us okay, here and uh, let us know what we're going to do when we get back. I don't know. <laughs> no, what we're gonna do, I think we have families and children coming, and I know I'm going to tell you guys I'm a wedding photographer, and the wedding photography market is getting flat. You know why? Everyone on Craigslist will say, I'll do your wedding for 500 bucks, and the brides are falling for it, and it's terrible. So I'm a portrait photographer, and that's where the well is. I'm standing right by the well and I'm dipping the water out and I'm going to the well after lunch. I'm going to families and children and that's where my love is. My true love is making pictures of children, making family groups, putting it together and I think, I, I don't think, I know, this is the last horizon for us professional photographers is making beautiful family groups and it's never going to go out of style. It's been done since the Greek statue. We want to remember people. We want to love people. My father passed away two years ago. Those pictures are the best thing I have, you know? So we're gonna lay it down. We're gonna show you some pose it, light, and love it for families. Awesome, cannot wait. All right, you guys, we are going to clear off this rooftop and we will be back in 45 minutes. Okay, great. Who do you wanna see next in Creative Live? I'm Craig Swanson and we wanna hear from you. Go to creativelive.com forward slash suggest where we've created a special form for you to tell us who you would like to see next in this Creative Live classroom. Creative Live is here to help you unleash your creative potential by bringing you the world's best experts in this unique live worldwide creative classroom and helping you build a sustainable business and lifestyle around your creative endeavors. We're looking for your suggestions for the best instructors in design, business, filmmaking, photography, audio, and software training. Tell us the name of your dream instructor, what you want them to teach, and if they are already teaching, give us a link to their current workshop or classes. This is your classroom, and we are listening to you. Hi, I'm Porter Gale, the author of Your Network is Your Net Worth, and I'm teaching a free class on Creative Live on July 30th and 31st. Hope to see you there. Everyone has barriers that can hold them back. Whether you're stuck in a routine or you're your own worst enemy, you might be at the beginning of your career or maybe you're even a CEO. Not everybody recognizes the power that targeted networking can have on your career, your life, and your productivity. On day one, I'll take you through a series of exercises so that you can identify any barriers that are holding you back. We'll also do exercises to define your passions, your purpose and to help you
Welcome back, everyone, to Creative Live. We have all come down from the roof, and we are ready to get going into another very exciting segment here. If you're just joining us, we're with Clay Blackmore and his Pose It, Light It, Love It workshop. We're halfway through now, right, Lorraine? I know. I can't believe how fast all of this has gone by already, how much we've all learned. It's been a really, really fun experience. And how much more we have to learn. <laughs> exactly. Can't wait what's coming up next. But before we hand you back over to Clay, we want to let you know that there is two more hours to enter the portrait contest on Facebook. One. One. Yeah. One. Oh, there's only one more hour. Oh, my goodness. Okay, time is ticking. Mm. So basically, Clay wants to see your best portraits out there. And the way you can do that is to go to our Facebook page. And you'll see uh, uh, the icon for the photo contest. Click on that. Upload your best portrait. And the winner is going to get bundles of prizes. So the grand prize winner receives almost $2,000 in prizes. The second runner up gets like over $1,200 in prizes. And these include Animoto, Picto Books, Pilot Imaging, Smugbug, Triple Scoop, Delkin, and tons more. And all the prizes totaling almost $5,000 that are being given away an extravaganza around here. It's going to be so fun. So you have one hour to upload your best portrait, but the uh, rooms are open right now in that Facebook contest for you guys to start voting immediately. So uh, if you are in the Facebook arena right now, go over and vote for your favorite portrait, and that will end at 5 p.m. Pacific time today. So do that now. All right, with that, I'm going to hand it back over to Clay to take it away. Okay, great. <clears throat> we're, we're headed into an area a lot of you at home are going to love because families and children are going to be, you know, unpredictable and fun. And guess what? You don't have to pose it, you know? Children, <clears throat> you just hope you get it. And I have games up my sleeve. You know, I was out in the hallway. There's five, I think, five kids out there. And I just asked them, you know, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? You know, uh, vanilla or chocolate? And they came to me like a magnet. And they, I'm all their best friends. But we got to get some ice cream because we're going to have to bribe them. I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve. And I think before we go into the families, <clears throat> now, children, I say you don't pose. You just really play games and play a chess match and go for expression. But families, that's a different matter. And families, you know, that's where we're heading today. And my program today is called How to Photograph Everyone. How to Photograph Everyone has been my brand. Because I saw a tour coming through town talking about it, and it was my good friend Sandy Push Bellies and Babies. And then I saw one coming through on weddings. And then I saw one coming through on corporate. And then I saw one coming through on business. And I'm like, I do all that because, you know, and I don't specialize. Maybe I should, but I love to speak to the whole thing. And you know what? <clears throat> I want to teach you how to bat 1,000. And we talked about that. 350, you're in the Hall of Fame. We're going to bat 1,000. By the end of tomorrow, I'm going to show you my secret, my shortcut to batting 1,000. I'm going to bring it right to you. The bat in a thousand is a great principle, and it gives me the confidence to know there's a family right out there. I've already won them. I've already won them over. I've already actually made the portrait in my mind's eye, and I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go super simple with a white paper and a big bank of windows. You could do this in a garage. You just open your garage door if the weather's nice and put out the paper. We're going to start a new foundation, a new group called GPPI, Garage Portrait Photographers International because it's so much fun to work in a garage, and the light comes to you. So I'm going to show you and speak to that really firmly today. And what I'm going to go to now is a little review, because what I did on the roof happened so fast, uh, I'd like to take you to a little keynote about adding the strobe to the ambient. So let's look at this first picture up here of the family walking up the hill. I'm working with my good assistant, John Aiken, and of course, we went to the Iwo Jima Memorial, where you can see the entire Washington, D.C. background. It's almost exactly what we just did, right, by seeing the Seattle Sea, um, the, the needle up there. <clears throat> now what am I going to do is expose for the, the background. The background here was 2.50 at 11. It was a sunny day. So what did I put the flash at here? The background's 2.50 at 11. Tell me, Jerry. Down to, uh, is it 8 or 6? I'm going to match on this, on this situa situation. The light on the family matches the Lincoln Memorial because then it marries together. Kind of what we did upstairs. Now let's look at this picture. I made this in November in Italy. We're in Tuscany. What a beautiful pose. Now I'm adding the light. It's that Q flash. I'm trying to go for that loop shadow, but what, what I'm getting is kind of a Rembrandt light. You see the Rembrandt? And what I thought about was pose, light, lift. Watch the difference. Come on. 
See how when she sat up, what a difference, right? Slouch, sit up. I mean, that's huge. And we got the light kind of zeroed in. And then I put an effect on there from my On One software suite. <clears throat> this was a great picture for me. It was Canon used this for high school seniors. And I photograph seniors, and I'm real big in the teen market because I do bar and bat mitzvahs. And I'm really strong with teenagers. And they love the fluff. They love the music. They love the wind machines. They love the smoke, mirrors. And the kids walk out of there chewing their bubble gum saying, Mom, can I go back? I love it. And the mothers have called me. You know what they've said to me? Clay, that's the best therapy we've had for our child in so long. She's a new person. She's got so much more self-esteem. And to me, if I can add self-esteem to a teenager and keep them out of you know, drugs and street and crazy stuff and shopping in the malls and just make them feel good about who they are as a person through my photography, that's batting a thousand right there. That's doing a good job. The key to this picture is what? I expose for the cloud. What's the cloud? F-16. I put the light on her at F-16 to match. Okay? Just like we did on the roof. Do you see the edge light on her left cheek? That's a mirror, it's a reflector right back there hitting her cheek and it runs up her left arm. Do you see that? That's, that's what makes that picture. Canon chose that for a full page in their Canon brochure for their lenses. And the reason that picture made it was that chrome on the Cadillac, I guarantee it. Here's my beautiful little son, Daniel. And I, this is a long story, I'm not going to tell it. But he, kissed, he would not stand still. Kids keep moving. And you'll see I used a little flash. And what happened? The flash blew it out. So I kept moving him back, moving him back, got the flash turned down, and here's the picture. What's the first thing I picked before I took that picture? The background. Look how beautiful that background is. I talked that the flash warms up the picture. Do you see it there? See that beautiful skin tone? That's right out of the camera, no retouching. And that's a Canon 600 flash shooting through a Zumbrella. That's a David Zeiser shoot-through umbrella. And that's how we made this picture. <clears throat> this is what I'm doing most of the times at home. This is Demetric Evans. He used to play for the Redskins. And I think he came up here to Seattle and play ball here. And he might have been on the San Francisco 49ers that went to the Super Bowl. Too bad the Ravens took care of you, Dimitrik. But anyway, I didn't have my posing stool there. You know how Dimitrik's standing? He's standing like this. His back is tall, but his feet are spread out to get him down to his wife, Angelia. And then I brought them together with a little flash, a reflector, before, after, before, after. Which side is the light on? The flash. Right or left? It's on the left, because I said I always... Place the light across the woman into the man. Said it three times yesterday. If I ask that question again, Monica, you know the answer. The light always crosses the woman first. I mean, these are things you shouldn't think about. These are the things that make your life easier because look how he's leaning into that basic pose. Look how the light is head and body right into him. And she's in a feminine pose. And she's tipped her head back to the light, loop shadow, loop shadow. This... You know, if you just have to say, what's your favorite picture? You know, this could be it. I mean, <clears throat> actually, my answer is, I haven't made it yet, and I'm going to make it today. <laughs> All right, that's a good answer. But how was this made? We had a flash. The flash came on, and I said, you know what? It just looked too contrasty to me. So I went back to the silhouette. <clears throat> that was my image. But this is a neat photograph. Camera's at waist height, and I think the one on the roof today is going to resemble that photograph. And this is one of my favorite pictures. What's the first thing I picked when I went outside? The background. It was the sky. And I put her up on a table, kind of like what we did today when I had, you know, Kenna standing up on a ladder to get her above the fence. And then I put the infrared camera on, a strong flash, and this is what we came away with. Beautiful shot right there. <clears throat> Here we're on the beach in Santa Monica, actually Laguna Beach. And this is the day after their wedding, so they didn't care about putting on their very expensive wedding clothes. The sister of the bride held the flash. Now, this is again at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, worst time of the day to work. Look at the sun, right overhead. I cannot compete with that. I'm going to join in. I'm going to put my flash at 11. I'm going to put my camera at 250 at 11, and we're all just going to be the same. <clears throat> but you can't take a picture outdoors without a flash, off camera, like this, because what's it going to look like? Raccoon eyes. You're going to have overhead lighting, and it's going to be terrible. So we're going to have one light off camera, here we are shooting from the, through the rocks, around the rocks. And the last minute, we all got down low. Sasha, he just flew in from Moscow. 
I took him to the wedding, and look how he went low. I have a 14 millimeter on my infrared camera. You can see the Q flash. When the veil picked up in the wind, I went low and got this picture with him. And this, again, is just pretty colossal, and the flash is the only way it would have happened. Now, today, we just took a picture on the way out. I said, you know, Ken, you and Lorraine, stand over there again. I love the Seattle. Let me get that for you. Click, click, click. And I said, you know what? I changed a P for program, remember? And I said, you know, my flash didn't go. Ken said, no, no, it went. I saw the flash go. It went, but guess what? It didn't sync. You know why? I was above 250. Now, that's a lesson. So if I'm above 250 of the second, the flash doesn't sync. I'm on the beach here in Cabo. This is about two months ago. Clicking away. The flash is going every time. But guess what? The shutter speed was on a 400th of a second. What happened? The flash did not go. The flash was going, it didn't sync, and it didn't appear in the picture. So from here to there is dramatic. I was able to save the picture in Lightroom. That's what I did, and I just picked it up like, like that. I exposed for the sky, add the flash. Here we're out in the Philippines. I saw this guy, he kept wanting me to go on a boat ride. I said, look, I'll take a boat ride if you'll hold my flash. Point it at her nose. And his name is Jojo. You see him in the corner. We're friends on Facebook. And Jojo just ran around, and he kept pointing the light at uh, Mariana's nose, and there's the picture. I love it. <clears throat> How did I get the color in the sky, Jerry? Um, fast shutter speed. Fast shutter speed. So at what point do you say, like, we're there where your, your subject is at a different lighting level than your background, at what point do you not marry the two together? Or are you still marrying... Again, on the Lips. beach, I guess when I look at the scene, I say, what do I want to expose for? Right. Here, it's the sunset for sure. Right. Here, the Seattle Tower for sure. Sure. <clears throat> but most of my work is done in open shade with green trees, willow trees, backgrounds that are nondescript. Okay. Working on a white background is nondescript. This is called the clean, uncluttered look. This is what Peter Gallen was famous for. Right down in Santa Monica, he had a Gallen Flex camera. He was famous. He shot pinup, Playboy. He developed the camera, he was a genius, but he called it the clean, uncluttered look. And that's about what I'm gonna do right here. Most of you take your families at home and lump them around on the sofas and shoot away, maybe put them on the front porch where there's other items to look at. I wanna see the faces. So on that on particular this picture, are you using like a lower shutter speed and then like a rear sync on the flash to hit it at the end? Or? No, I, I put the camera for the sky, which okay. was 125 at eight. All right. So I exposed for the sky. And I go, you know what? I want a little more color in the sky, so what do I do? Underexpose the sky. Right. So maybe I went to 250 at 8. Okay. So what's the flash? 8. At 8, okay. And there it is. Right. It's, it's a little bit of, you know, guesswork, and, and I love this image right here. And there's a, you know, you'd never make this picture on program. I had to expose for the sky and then, and then bring the light up on her to match. And I think that's about where we're at. At weddings, I think the flash and the reflectors are just like we're talking about. This was a brilliant move. It was a chilly day in October. I went in the front of the country club where there was no wind. You see what I took this spot? And look what's above me. Just out of luck, they had translucent plastic in the country club creating a softbox overhead. So now I've got my setup. There's my tripod, but look, I'm not even on my tripod. Like I showed you, I can come off and on real quick. So I'm grabbing the light on the highlight side to light the veil. There, you see where I've got the reflector? Not on the shadow side, but the highlight side. And then I've got these portraits coming together like this. One more observation. On outside, you're not using any modifiers on your flashes? You know, the modifiers outside could catch the wind and knock them off, and okay. I like them just pure and clean. Okay. You know, good question. You know what I mean? They're gonna add a wind screen to catch the wind and take off. <clears throat> Look at the triflector under the mother. That's a triple reflector from Westcott. Throw that under just to light up the eyes from below. And these are the family pictures that keep me going. I mean, these are very important people to me. And everybody knows the man on the upper left, Jay Brown Jewelers. They all buy the jewels from him. And you got to make their family look good. And they love the work. <clears throat> the bride, we're in the middle of about six albums for her, from her Friday night dinner to her wedding, her rehearsal dinner, and her engagement shoot. And that means I'm doing my job. I'm shooting and I'm selling. And this is a cool little thing, the Rogue Bender. You, that's, you asked about the light modifier. Mm -hmm. That's what I might do, and it acts like a little reflector. Okay, how to photograph everyone? We're going to do it. We're going to photograph everyone. They're all outside. I'm going to make some family pictures, and I'd like to come back and speak to photographing everybody, everyone, after I take these pictures. So before I even bring the kids in here, what I need to do, I need to, I need to get a monkey. 
I guess I want to be the monkey. Christine, I'd like you to help me, okay? <clears throat> let's put Christine right here. Go ahead. And then let's put the camera right here. Let's go ahead and we don't really need a lens shade, do we? And how about, uh, Don, can you get me a block? I need to anchor. You know, I've got to have an anchor. Uh, just a, you know, Bart will throw you one. You'll sit right here. And Don, come over here with that block, please. <clears throat> and you just <clears throat> sit the block right here. And you know what, Don? Can you just go in here behind there and just take a knee on that block? Now, that block is black, right? So are we going to cover it? We're going to shoot knee up, three-quarter length, okay? Let me get in here behind you real quick and just see what's going on. Now, what I think I'm going to do, guys, and this is exactly <clears throat> what I'm going to do at home. I'm going to turn my cue flash on. So, Bart, can I get a meter? And I'm going to bounce the cue flash off the back wall of the garage. And all that is is a fill light. And I don't think about it, but what that's going to do is lock the skin tones. Actually, um, why don't you go up on the, on the ladder? I'll hand this to you. Because then you'll be right up there. It's just like an umbrella. It's a nice light stand. So, I always told you I'm going to guess the exposure. All right? I'm actually going to kick my ISO up pretty high on here, so it might be a little harder for me to guess. Mode. All right, good. ISO. Why don't we go ISO? I mean, 800 safe for me. I'm going to go really bright with my opening, my aperture, meaning I'm going to go about f4. <clears throat> Here we go. Wait. I'm 125 at 4. Okay? 125 at 4. If I could appease you, I'll start at f4. Okay? That's cool. You know, why don't we slide these chairs a little bit? And why don't we pull in that sofa over there and just stick it there in the middle? And maybe they could hang out on the sofa. They came in so beautifully. I want to keep engaged with them. But I want you guys, I want them to have their own place to sit. So how about this? You know, I'm just kind of, I'm thinking now about them. I'm not thinking about anything but making them happy. Guys, come over here. You sit over here. This is where I'm going to give you the chocolate, over here. <clears throat> of course, they're going to get treats. So how about I just take that exposure reading, 125. Just one second, guys. One second. One, 120. Let's go 60 at four. So I'm going to go manual. You want to go right too? Come on. All right. Turn on the camera. We're going to go live feed here. So when you go live feed, we're going to shoot a little slower. This is so much fun, isn't it? This is like this is the best. These are the good old days, guys. Oh, look how pretty they look. I can't wait to take the picture. Now I'm going live. They're all in the studio here. Now, we talked about clothing beforehand. And you know, the best idea with a big family like this is just to spread the clothes out on a bed and just kind of blend them together. <clears throat> we had a bunch of things that kind of fit together, more grays and whites and t-shirts. But I kind of like the dressiness of these shirts. And I think they look very neat and, and pressed like that. I like the look here. ISO is what? I said 800. There we go. And I think the meter told me 60 at 4. OK? That's close enough. Yeah, it says 100 at 4. It did. I knew that. Why did I say 60 at 4? Anybody? Come on. This is an easy one, Jerry. I'm oh, opening up my lens for some reason. Okay. Yes? Because you want the, it's the auto exposure is going to make that gray instead of white. Yes. I want cleaner exposure, and I want to open up the, the, I want to be brighter, a little overexposed, so the white's not gray. <clears throat> I'm 60 at 4, and I think that's pretty good. I'm going to go off of manual, fo off of autofocus, because that's really the only way to do it. And let me go live. You know what's so neat, guys? You want to be on television? Look what I see up there. You see that guy up there on TV? See that? I can put you on TV, too. That might have been a bad idea. They're going to keep looking at that television. Okay. It's like Willy Wonka. Now, so, why not, so you don't actually have to look through here with a diopter. Have a seat here and just take a picture right here. At home, I have Catherine, I have Paul, I have Bart, but I want Bart with me. Let's get a, a feather and let's get a bell ready. And here's uh, for my friend. I'd like you to warm these up. Okay, so you all get treats, okay? You know what this is? What? This is a tickle feather. 
It tickles me. Oh, no, it tickled me. I can't believe it. Woo-hoo. Be careful, Clay. You want to see? It tickles you. Whoa, it tickles you. You want to see? <laughs> it's fun. Who wants, who wants to get tickled first? Me. All of you? How about can I start with your, your sister, and then I'll tickle each one of you, okay? Come over here, and I'll tickle you, okay? You're out. You're out. And you're in. Come over here. Who's got a quarter with them? Anybody have a quarter? 25 cents? I'm going to tickle your sister. Stand right here, okay? Come right here. Good, right there. And you know what? I anchor people with this. Somebody, we're all broke. Nobody has a quarter on them? Because there's a game where you just put a 25 cent piece on the floor. Now look at this. Don't you move. All right, let me see. Oh, that's so pretty. Now I got to zero in on her a little bit better. You hold this. You could be a good monkey, Christine, also. Oh, look at that. See, I would have had 10 pictures of her already because I'm just trying to get this thing all projected. Okay, I'm going to play a game with you, okay? Don't you laugh at me. I'm going to guess how old you are. Don't tell me. Can I guess how old you are? You are five years old. Are you? She's just standing there kind of w wondering what the w in the world's going on. Oh, look at there. All right. I've got her, now I've got us kind of zeroed in. You see the exposure there? Let me do this. I'm losing her because I have to stay right in with her, engage with her. There we go. There's the picture. Let's make sure we're sharp. I know the best game. I'm going to make it sound like a dog, okay? Woof, woof, woof. Is that funny? Now I'll do a kitty cat. Meow, meow. Now what, you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to do a cow. Do you know how the cow goes? The cow goes like this. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Does the cow go ribbit? Ribbit. I think he does. Ribbit. There's no light in the eyes. Okay, you're all set. Come back in here and sit down so you're comfortable. Let me have this, and you'll take a few pictures. The cow doesn't go ribbit, ribbit. Now, the game was I was going to tickle you, okay? So here we go. Don't you laugh at me. Don't you laugh at me. You're, she's good. You're next. You come over here with me, and you can actually tickle her, too. All right, right there. Don't you stay. Here we go. Come over here. Somebody find me a quarter. This whole room, we don't have a quarter? Here we go. Don't you <laughs> laugh at me. Oh, you're so good. I would like to pe play peekaboo with you. Right here. Don't, you know what? I'm going to tickle Christine. Watch this. Don't you laugh. You're going to laugh, Christina. I'll tickle your brother. Woo! He's going to laugh. Shoot away. Shoot away. See, I would, we, at 10 frames a second, we would have had 30 pictures of her if we wanted. And she's doing so good. How about, look at her. Look at her. Where's the video camera now? Woo, woo, woo. Hey, let's play Simon Says. Simon Says. Ready? Look at me. Tell me your name. Oh, wait, I'll guess your name. Your name. Don't tell me your sister's name. Come here. Come here. Your sister's name, I know what it is, Cinderella. Are you Cinderella? Yeah. <laughs> right there's the shot, right there. Oh, you want to play Simon Says? All right, let's switch. You come in, and you come over here, okay? Come over here. Bring your sister over here. Now zoom back a little bit. Oh, quarter. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, right here? Good, right here. All right. Who want, come on over here with me. I want to play a game with you, all right? See the quarter? You want it? All right, put your foot on that quarter. Come over here first. Come, wait, come all the way around here. Now put that foot on the quarter, that foot. Now look, don't let me see it, okay? Don't let me see it. Did we ever meter that flash or we just let it go? I don't even remember metering it. <laughs> the reflector's barely in the picture. You're doing great. Your feet a little closer together. I'd like to tell you, the flashes should be two stops under. All right. Don't you laugh at me. Come over here. Come over here. All right. Good. All right. Come over here. Don't let me see the quarter. Can you turn like this a little bit? Yes. Keep turning your body. Turn your feet. Turn your feet. Yeah. I'm going to play a game. You want to play a game? How about Simon Says? Simon Says. Come over here. Come over here. Simon says, touch your knees. No, your knees. Good, good, good. Simon says, touch your back. Stand up. Simon says, touch your ears. Simon says, touch your tongue. Both tongues. Simon says, touch your hips. Oh, yeah. Simon says, don't let me see that quarter. Simon says, arms in the air. Yes, yes, yes. All right, hands down. So look, we're getting beautiful portraits so far of everybody everyone. So, look at that last picture. It was great. You can't miss. If I unplug the camera, it would be more of a rapid fire. 
I almost want to, Bart. Can you throw my Mark IV together and just put a 8512 on there? We'll have this for the folks at home, and I'm going to just tear it up. Go 10 frames a second, and I'll show you what I'm, because we're really inhibited by our transfer speed. You were great. So did you like chocolate ice cream or vanilla? Both. Both? Okay, you can have them both. You know when we finish the pictures, you all get surprises. Now who's next? You want to do it? Yeah. All right, you come over here. Leave the quarter. I'll give it to you in a second because your brother's going to put his foot on it. Put your foot on it. Wait, right over here. Put the other foot. That foot. Oh, cool. Can you put your hands in your pockets? Oh, is that nice. You could also make a gorgeous video here, guys, <clears throat> in your own studio. You know, I've got six Canon cameras. Half of them do video. I would just sit here and make a little family film, and it works all the time. You get that all zeroed in, Bart. Go ISO 800. And we're not going to be adding flash to this. We could. You can send a unit. All right, here we go. Don't you laugh at me. All right, I'm going to guess what your name is, OK? Don't you tell me, OK? Let me guess what your name is. Your name, look at me, look at me. Oh, I know your name. Your name is Silly Dilly. Is your name Silly Dilly? Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Is it really? Camera height, right at the navel. All right, look at this. All right, watch this. Here we go. Can you put both hands in your pockets? Both hands? That quarter is so cool. You just keep shooting as fast as you can to show the folks at home what you're getting. Oh, you're cool. You know what I'm going to do with you? I'm going to ask you to do one thing that you're going to love to do. Turn around to me. Turn around to me. Come over here. Yeah, right there. Now watch this. Watch this. On three, both hands in your pockets. Good, good, good. I'm going to guess what you had for breakfast, OK? Don't tell me. For breakfast, you had pizza. Yes? No? Did you have waffles? What did you have for breakfast? Yeah, look at that smile. OK. No waffles? I know what you had. You had tuna fish sandwich for breakfast. Yes? Yes, look at that smile. Yes. Oh, I love it. Jump, jump, jump. Woo! How high can you jump? Put your hands up and go, one, two, three, jump. Yes, jump, 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 jump. Woo! OK. All right, you come away. Do you, which, which kind of ice cream are you going to get? You guys all like yogurt, because I know we have yogurt here, because we'll give you some yogurt. And we have chocolate. Good chocolate for you. Yeah. Now, who didn't get a picture? you got to come in. A little older, more mature, you're great. Come right in and put your foot on the quarter. God, that quarter. I'm going to have to get some more quarters for these guys. And this camera? What I'm getting? Uh, just a playback? You know what? I think it's a... Yeah. I'm going all natural. We have a little flash over here. You guys want to see yourself on TV? Oh, look at there. Oh, looky there. Look at those. OK. Look at that. Great shot. I have to do auto-rotate or something. I mean, that's just perfect. I mean, isn't it? You are so cool. But you're standing sideways. What did you do? Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. I could make a movie right there. Are you dancing? Look at you. You are so funny. Oh, look at that. OK. A couple of little soft shots in there. What did I do with this camera? I'm on an 80th of a second at 5.6. Why don't I take the, this one up to 1,600, OK? Because I don't care about the flash. And I've got the 85.12. Why don't I go to 1.8, or let's go to 2. OK, I'm going to put you on TV right now. You ready? Look at me. Good. Put both hands in your pocket. Now, he's so but cooperative. He's really good. What could I do with him? You hold your daughter just like that. Hold her. Because watch this. Look at me, guys. Put your head right on her. Put your hair out of your mouth, honey, because I don't want to Photoshop it. Now, look, look right here at me. Look right here at me. Right there. Don't you laugh. Her chin down. Her, hug your daddy's neck. Hug your daddy's neck. No, but look at me. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> cheek to cheek. That's it. That's it. That's it. Look at this. Look at this right here. And this is how it happens right here. This is the beauty of the shot, because we're building these albums. So, you know, sure, I'm just going to be in the garage looking for these magic moments. All of a sudden, I turn around and say, let me go back a little. I turn around and I see mom over here just loving what's going on. 
Now, I need your name. Let me find her hugging her daddy. Wait, do it again. Hug him real slow. Right, shh, 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 right there. Don't you laugh. Look at me, look at me. Daddy's eyes right here. They're smiling. She's got a smile. T can you tickle her a little? Right there, right there. Look at me, look at me, look at me. No, 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 no. Do it again, do it again. Hey, Bart, white background that flips out. Right there, didn't we have it on the roof? Because I just show you, because we do this all the time. Oh, it's your turn. You're right. He's right. It's, I've got to get his picture. Let's, let's bring him over. Okay. I'm sorry. How about you hug your daddy, okay? You know, he's right. Wait, you know what? I'm going to guess how old you are. Now, this is going to be good. Okay, you know what I did? I, I really, th this is a great lesson. Great lesson. He's next. I think we need to let him take a picture. Can you take a picture for me? You want to push the button? Come on, come on, I'll show you. Come, come over. Just push the button, okay? You're going to love this. Watch this. Come push the button. I know. How old are you, six or seven? Yeah. You're six? I got a seven-year-old son. Come here. And I love boys. Now watch this. You're going to take the picture. Watch this. Let me get it ready. You just push that button right there, and you're going to put them on TV. See that button right there? Right there. Now get ready. There, pick her up and put her on your knee. Get ready. <laughs> this is awesome. You're funny. Get out of the way, little guy. Get out of the way, little guy. That's great. That's funny. Right there. Oh, look. Look at the picture you just took. You see it? <laughs> you got the best shot of them all. You got the best shot of them all. Oh, look. He's going to come up again. Oh, no. Wait, we got to push this button to see him. There he is. You got a better picture than me. You're better than I am. You thought, look at that. That's the picture of the day. Let me take your picture, okay? You go stand on the paper. Go stand on the quarter. And here we go. Are we doing all right? We can't miss. All right, you got to tell me your name, but let me guess first, okay? Um, you got to turn towards the window this way. And look at you. You're so good. Look at that light there, the broad light, so soft, so pure, so beautiful. Look right here at me. How about can you put both arms behind your back? And then look at me. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. I love it. Now, who's got that gray t-shirt? Just, I know we're going to build a group. I, I thought maybe we might just show the audience at home what stripes versus solid would do in a black and white. So we don't have to do it this second, but let's get some wardrobe over here. You know, we might change it a little bit. It's hard to dress one, two, three, four, five kids. All right, you know what? I want to see how high you can jump. Before, oh, whoa! Now look on the TV. I think you're going to be way up in the air. Look at that. All right, let me do it again. Let me do it again. How about this time? Turn this way to the window. Yep. Now look at me. Right there. So I've got to go vertical to get him full length. Let me see. Right there. Okay, I think I'm getting there. Your name is, how about, is uh, Don, are you here? Don, wiggle that reflector for me a little, can you? I feel like the light's gotten a little dead. There you go, right there. Now look over here at me. And your name is, I ain't know your name, Ninjago. Are you Ninjago? No. Do you know what Ninjago is? No, but my name is Levi. Levi? I thought it was Thomas the Train. Do you know Thomas? All right, turn this way, Levi. Turn this way. Good, right there. Now look at me. Both hands in your pants pockets. Both hands in your pockets. Boop, boop, boop. All right, Levi. Are you wearing Levi's? That's good. Tip your head here a little. Oh, just a little? Too much? Too much? How about Simon says, touch your knees. Yes, right there. Yes. Now touch your head. Now touch your ears. Yes. I love it. You're great. Now how about can you lay on your tummy? Go ahead, really. Now put your knees, put your knees way over here. Yeah, your knees. Yeah, so you're going to lay sideways. Good, right there. Now can you give me a reflector, another reflector right there on the floor? I see it, Bart, right there. <clears throat> see it? And we're going to throw it under his, under his elbows. Pop it open. Just go barefooted if you have to. Just be right in here with me. Now go up like this for me, Levi. Go up like this. What I'm building now is I'm going to build the composition for the whole family, okay? We're all going to be laying on the paper, and it's going to be chocolate time for everybody. Here we go. Don't you, don't you move. Look at that shot. Can you put one hand like this? Oh, you're so good. Can you take your other hand and hold your muscle? This hand here. Hold it. Yeah, that's good. Right there. I love it, love it, love it. I like that full length. Look at this. And I can come in close. 
one six on the camera, two thousandth. I want to see that picture on the screen. Let me see. Let me see. Come on, baby. That come unplugged. Here we go. Now we have a baby. You guys are throwing everything at me right here. Come on, here we go. Just like this. I had you there for a second. Did you see it? I saw it. Here it comes. Leave it alone. It's just probably recycling through. There we go. Now I hit this. There you go. Whoa. There we go. So I don't know everyone's names. Tell me the mother's name. Sonia. What do you think? Thumbs up? Great. Did you bring a Visa or a Master Charge today? <laughs> I'm kidding you. That's another way to tease and have fun. We're just having a good time. Look at that shot right there. That's how it is. The frame in between frames. Looking over your shoulder. You know, a lot of times the best pictures, <laughs> I know you hate it, a lot of my best pictures are happening right behind me. You know what I mean? So, how about, can you throw him in a gray shirt? That front, is one of them his? That looks like it'd fit him. Run over there and change, Levi. We're going to put that shirt on you. Now let's get the baby, the little boy over here. Just underneath. Just stay handy. Just stay low. Now the baby is how old? <laughs> Six months. So here's what we're going to do. How about, what is this? Another gray? No. Let me see something here. No. I got a trick, okay? Let your husband hold the baby. Okay. Look, look at the baby. It's just so comfortable with mama. So... Hello. Come over here. All right. Go over here and sit on the paper and lay back to me. I'm going to let you hold the baby. Just sit down. Face the knees this way. Good. Now, come lay, lay on your back. Now, come up this way a little bit. Right there. Got to get this off the hanger. I'm going to cover you. Green is a tough color. Gray is great. Is it wonderful? You're going to actually put your hands right on that shirt. Can you, can you bring the baby and lay the baby right in Mama's hand? And face the baby towards the window, and her, his legs will go off the back a little bit. Right in Mama's hand. Legs going back. Now hide the shirt a little bit in the front. Pu push him down a little bit towards your tummy. Towards your, there we go, right there. Now I want to minimize that shirt. Can you hide the shirt a little, Dad? Tell me your name again, the father. Tyson, just kind of off, off of his shoulders. See the baby? I want to see just the baby. Mom's got to get her hands under the shirt, really. Mom, under the hand. There we go, right there. That's it. Now you hold his chest. Now, now that, that's good. Now, boop, 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 boop. who's got the bells? Bart, get the bells. When we ring these bells, he's going to be defenseless. Right over by my camera. Boop, boop, boop. Right here, right here. Go on the other side. Go get him right close to his nose. Right close to his nose. Right there. Right there. Right there. That's good. Who's got a tickle feather? He's laughing. He's laughing. Who's got a tickle feather? Give me a smile, buddy. What's his name? Abram. Avon? Abram. 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 Abram, you know what that means? That means you're a father of many nations. That's Abraham, isn't it? Beautiful. Oh, we just need a little smile. I'm getting great shots of him, guys. Let me just show you the picture. Here it comes. It's going to come up. Don't you laugh. Who's got... We don't want to lose him. Who's got the tickle feather? All right, we got him. I think we got him. I don't want him to cry because i got to do the whole family. Feather? Tickle feather. There we go. Pick him up a little higher and bounce him a little bit. Kind of woo, woo, woo. Now tickle him a little. Now tickle me. Tickle me. Now to, well, don't touch him too hard. Oh, I got it. There's the Gerber baby shot. You guys, throw anything at me. I'm all right. I'm all right with it. Woo! Pose it, light it, love it. I love it. All right, now, did everybody get a solo? I want to see that gray shirt with Levi. Come on over here, buddy. Man, that is great. That's chocolate time. We're going to have to give him a little piece of chocolate after this picture. Stand over there. How about you lay? How about, can you just sit down for me? Just sit down. 
Now turn this way. And can you hug your knees like this? Look, pull your knees up. Yeah, that's cool. Keep your... All right, let's get that reflector out in front. Crisscross applesauce. The reflector's got to be out in front a little bit. All right, look at me, buddy. Good. I love it. I love it. Back real tall. Sit up real tall. Yeah, sit up like this. Not too tall. Sit back down. Okay, that's good. Um, sit back down. Yeah, right there. That's good, right there. Can you go like this with one hand on your knee? Yes, you look great, buddy. Levi, your other hand up on top of your knee. Your other hand. And your back a little taller. Oh, look at me. Oh, you're great. You're great. You're great. I'm going to come in close to you, okay? So I'm going to guess one thing you won't believe. <clears throat> I'm going to guess what your best friend's name is, okay? I don't have to. Look on TV. You, hang on. Look at this. See, sometimes you get the shot. Don't push it. We, let's, wait, hang on. Where did it go? I would rather keep moving rather than wear him out and just keep doing the same thing over and over. There you go. That's good, isn't it? How about... Sure. How about... Um, how about we start putting them all together? Look at that shot right there. I love it. Dad and son, come on out. Let's see if we can do it. Let me think here. Did everyone get a solo? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. So now, sometimes it's better to start with the big shot and then come down. But I didn't feel I was ready for everybody. I kind of want to warm up to them, know who they are. And you know what? I think they all should get a little surprise. Where's the chocolate? I saw a whole bunch of chocolate. Let's give them each a little piece of chocolate. M&Ms are great. Is it okay if they have one? Look, guys, you've been so good, you each get to take a few M&Ms. Take three, two, three. You want to give one to your sister? Or she should get her own. You know, this would be great under the lights. Everybody come over here. Can, can somebody videotape this right here? Because talk about how to get great pictures of kids. Who's next? Me. <laughs> All right. I love it. Just take a couple. Just a, There you go. And you got three. You get three. After the pictures, you get ten. Ten. But you get three now. Okay. Relax. Good, good, good. Now, what we're going to do, we're all going to lay on Daddy like a horsey. You want to? All right, so this, I like the gray shirt here. Can, he has a different color shirt, too. Let's go ahead and go T-shirt white or whatever. It doesn't matter because we're going to, even if they're just undershirts, we've got a shirt, a picture with that shirt on. So, Daddy, sit, sit, um, yeah, I'm going to lay you on your tummy. So we'll wait for your wife to hold the baby. So this is kind of a pile up. And people buy pictures based on two things. You know, what are they? What are they? You should know at home. Expression. How does my body look and what's my expression? So now what we're going to do is we're going to go really for faces. And it works. All right, push up position. You lay on your tummy there. And then go back this way a little bit. Yep. And remind me your name one more time. Tyson. Tyson? Yeah. Good. And your hand like this. Oh, look, Levi loves riding daddy's back. But, you know, be real careful. Hey, you know what I should do? You guys, you guys look great there. So what we're going to do, I know Mama's going to hate this, but we're going to put Mama on her tummy. Come over here. You're going to lay right over here. You've been on your back already. Might as well take your tummy. Are you guys riding Daddy like a horse? You come right in here. Let's do that reflector from below. That reflector from below. You okay? What do you... There we go. Oh, yes. Now, how are we going to pull this off? You've got the baby. Now... This is going to be rapid fire. You're going to take this hand up under your, your husband's armpit. Okay. Now, I'm thinking about the two of them together now. And Tyson's chin up a little bit. Now, these children are kind of young. We're going to have to hold them in here. I might need a couple of grips in here. So you're going to come right up on Mommy's back. You got her? Stay right there. Come over here. Tell me your name. What's your name? Elijah. Elijah. I love that. You're going to put your chin right here. Can you just real softly come in here? No, not your hand, your chin. Like this. Go like this. Yeah, right there. Yes, 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 yes. Now, Levi, your chin right here. Now, whoa. And tell me your name. Your name is? Anna. Anna? All right, Anna, your chin right in front of Levi's ear. Scoot up on him. All right, scoot up on him. Bart, you're going to shoot this for me. I think, because i got to pose it. 
Just get in there and work with them. Try to get them all up on top there. Uh, that's good. Elijah's got it. Elijah's good. Work the reflectors, Bart. Elijah's good. Leave him alone. Leave him right there. Reflector, Bart. The other reflector. Uh, that's good. That's good. Now, can you, Anna, go stand in the middle in the back? Stand up. I don't see Levi's chin. Levi's chin. Right there. That's good. That's good. Let me see what I'm getting. Let me show the folks at home. Now, Anna, look at the picture. You got to get your chin right in the middle. No, no, Levi, stay in there. More M&Ms are coming. And ice cream this time. Elijah, your chin up and bring your sister way in. Pull her in, Elijah. Elijah, pull your sister in. Yeah, right there. Now, Elijah, chin down. Now, chin down, Elijah. Somebody come help me in there. Just put them in there. Anna's going to stand right in the middle. Just, just put them all together. This, is, this, could be a, this could be a Photoshop. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. All right, now, where's the tickle feather? Don't tickle me. Somebody tickle me. But don't, don't, don't. Oh, no, Jerry's going to tickle me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, Elijah. Now, Anna, get your chin in there. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no, Elijah. Don't you laugh at me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Elijah's going to laugh. Oh, no. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Anna, Anna, your chin up. Anna's chin up. Anna's chin up a little. Be taller, Anna. Be a little taller. Stand up. Right there. Now, lean in. Elijah, lean in. Good, 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 good. Elijah, get your head right in there. Here, back. We need one lady here, to help. Put Come your on head right here. here. Put your head. Monica. Put your head on the feather. Monica, there you, you go. take the tickle Come feather. On. Jerry, you stay with the kids. Here we go. We're there. We're there. Okay. Hey, 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 bye. Bye. hey, bye. hey. Hey, oh, I know cool. a song you're gonna love. A B. Right, there you go. There you go. Now, can you put oh, wait, your... where's the baby? Put the baby right in the middle of the parents right here. Whoa, you guys. Don't yeah, know, nobody even look told at me. Look at you the shooting feather. away? You're getting some? You keep shooting, just shoot heavy. Just sit the baby right between the parents. Okay, guys, this is the biggest bribe ever, meaning I'm going to give you something so good. I'm going to give you cookies. They're so good. I know right where they're at in the kitchen. They are so good. I ate one when nobody was looking. And there, there's a cookie jar. Have you ever seen a cookie jar? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look at that. Can, can you, oh, that's good. Everyone, look at the baby. Look at the baby. Pull Elijah back. Pull, pull Elijah back. Yeah. You know what? Stay. stay. Tell, me, tell me again her name right here. Come in here, stay with me. You, you get in there and just work with those kids from where Bart just left. Everyone, look at the baby. Look at the baby. Look at the baby. Elijah, listen to this. Listen to this tip. Elijah, what color are the baby's eyes? What color are the baby's eyes? Look at the baby. Look over the top of your mother. Yeah, that's good. Anna, lean in. Anna, what color? Anna, tell me what color the baby's eyes are. Look, look, and look and see. Look. Look down and see. They might have changed. Look at the baby. Anna, look, 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 look. I can't see Anna. Anna taller. Anna a little. Yeah, now come over the top a little bit. Come over. Go, go push Anna up a little bit. Yep. Go up and down. This is it. This is it. It's, it's cookie time. Cookie time. Cookie time. Oh, we got it. Oh. Now I got to get a good profile of the baby. So bring the baby towards uh, Tyson. Anna. Right Anna, there. Right Anna, there. Anna, Beautiful. Anna, All right. Last one. Elijah, one more. Elijah, Elijah turn around. Look, look at your brother. Cookie time. Look at Elijah, look at the baby. Look at the baby. Look at the brother. Elijah, go lower. Go lower. Oh, no. Hide behind your mama. Elijah, you got to hide your knee behind mama. Elijah, yeah. hide. Right, Elijah, put, her all, put his all back there. Come on. Oh, no. There we go. All right. Take your hand off mama's eye. There we go. There we go. There we go. We got to hide Anna's hand. It's, it's, Anna, it's, somebody hide. One more time. Right there you go. Woo. Elijah, look. Elijah, up, 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 up. Uh, Levi, Levi, one more time. Little um, mama's aunt Harry, somebody fix it. Come on, it's, there we go. That's it, that's it, that's it. One, two, three, Elijah, you got to get in. Elijah. 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 Over here, bud. We, can, we can Photoshop him in right there. Right there. One, two, three. Elijah. Hey, shh. Hey, why don't we tickle the baby? Who's got the tickle feather? You go behind, go behind Levi over here. Go behind Levi. And you, shh, everyone be real quiet. We'll see if we can get the baby to laugh. Elijah, I need you. Elijah, get in, get in, get in. Get in over there. No, over here. Elijah, come here. Eminem time. Oh, you know what he could do? He could lay in front of daddy's elbow. No, I like him on the top. Put him in there, Jerry. Shh, shh. All right, come over the top of Jerry and tickle the baby. Let's see if we can get the baby to laugh. Last time, Levi, lean in real, real tight, and then we're going to take a break. Right there, right there. Here we go. Anna, get up. Anna, I don't see Anna. That's good. Everyone, this is going to be a comedy. Lay this girl on her tummy, Jerry. This girl. Last one. 
Oh, where's those M and M's? Can somebody give them to me? They're right up here. This? Can you grab the M and M's? Oh, this is great. Get this. Get this. Over there, honey. Look. Get this. Look at, look get this. This. this is the shot. Look, honey. All right. Where's the M and M's? All right. Look what I have. Chocolate. No, 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 no. You're Wait. gonna stay for one more picture, and we get chocolate. One more picture, and we get chocolate. Okay. Elijah, Elijah, you gotta get right him. Here, right one down, picture. Right here. There no, you no, go. Put him in the back. Put him in the back. He's okay. better. I know he can do it. There you go. go. Watch this. Can you? You wanna oh. hit a few? Just take that button. And get it. Get it. Do one M&M. Try. Okay. You gotta do me one more. One, Watch one, this, Elijah. Look at, okay. Look at the Watch bag. this, okay. Elijah. Elijah chocolate. Watch what I'm gonna do. Oh, I missed it. I'm gonna do another one. Everyone, look at me. Look at me. This time, sit the baby up. Sit the baby up. You take this. And, and have the baby look at me. Elijah. Chickle feather. Right here. here we go. Last time. Pull the baby's thumb out of his mouth. And then put the baby right between mom and dad. Right between mom and dad. And turn the baby to the window. Are you sure we have two more families today? I don't know. Here we go. Right there. All right. Elijah, all we need is you. Can't see your face, bud. Okay. All we need you. You be the star. Look, look at Clay. There all right. You go. There you go. Look at me right here, Tyson! Whoa! Anna, go this way a little bit. Mama, Mama, go this way. I'm sorry, go lower. Get by the baby and scoot this way. You're kind of looking. Now go lower. Good, right there. Good. Anna, put your chin in there. Anna, get your chin in there. Yes! Yes! And that little crack over here. And the little crack over here. Over here, Anna. Anna, over here. Come over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Push Anna over, Jerry. He's gotta, she's got to be in this crack. Right in there. Right there. Anna, oh, sorry, get right honey. in there. I'm sorry, honey. All right, wait, is Anna hiding? Yeah, she's gonna wanna be We'll give her an M&M. &M. Anna, take, oh no, we can't give her one. Anna, last one and you'll be my best friend, I promise, okay? That's okay, we got the shot. Let's take a break, let's run back and look at it. It's okay, I'll show you we got it. Pull the reflectors out. You guys, look at the television. <laughs> look at the television, Levi, wait. That was good. We got it. We did well. I don't know. I can't spin through them fast enough. So look, simply using Photoshop, we're going to take the one best head of everybody. And um, you know what I might do? How about somebody take all the kids and let me just make sure I have a rock with uh, Tyson and your wife. Let me just get a nice shot of the two of you laying right there because that might be the benchmark and then I'll put all the kids in in Photoshop. And it's very common to do these things, <clears throat> to make the sale. Levi, you take the picture. Come over and push the button. Daddy, lay on your tummy real quick. Mama, can you do on your tummy one more time? I just want to make sure. This is good. You're going to push that button. Ready? One, two, three. Mama's on her tummy. Ready? Wait, let me get them posed. So I want you to say, pose it, light it, love it. Can you say it? Pose it, light it, love it. Mama on her tummy. Pose it, light it, love it. Yes, I love it. I love it. Look at this guy's camera right here and say it. Right here. Pose it, pose it, love it, pose it. Wait, I'll do it again. Pose it, light it, love it. Say it again. Pose it, light it, love it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mom and Daddy, real quick. Just ignore her. She, she can be in the picture, too. It doesn't matter. Right here. Look, you guys need a good picture anyway. Can you get the light under her eyes? Two reflectors. I need to help her. Bart, two reflectors. Two reflectors. Don, you want to get that other reflector? Come on, man. You guys can't get comfortable on me. This is time to work. This is, this is magic time. <clears throat> that reflector underneath. <clears throat> Esther, how did you get the candy? Look at me, guys. One, two, three. I need light in your eyes, Tyson's chin up. All right, good. Everyone look at me. Put, put the reflector a little lower, a little lower. Now just pretend the baby's right there. So kind of pull your hands in real tight. Right there. And yeah, that's it. And come apart a little bit so I have a place to put the baby. All right, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Try to just go drop the baby right in there looking at me. Because they might like to have this to send out to all their relatives. Got our new six-month-old. When's the next one coming? <laughs> there we go. Put the baby right in there. Hands, you always put the, let me show you a good tip, okay? You guys... Put your hands over the baby's tummy. That's what everybody does at home, okay? So hold the baby, and this is what happens all the time. Mom is going to, yeah, no, sit him up, sit him up, sit him up, right there. And now that's it. Look at that. Hold him like that. 
Now, that's wrong. What we want to do is put your hands under the baby's knees, right, and turn the baby to the light this way, and then we make a little noise. Who's got the bells? Boop, boop, boop. Lean in there, lean in there, lean in there. Someone, someone get the tickle feather. Yeah, that was great. His hand down. Pull his hand down, Tyson. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Turn the baby's feet this way a little. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Oh, look what you did. Anna, a little taller. Oh, right in the middle, Levi. A little taller. Oh, no, it's going to happen. I can see it. Anna, a little taller. Oh, get in there, buddy. Get in there. Get in there. Give him room. Don, let him get in there. Get in there. Woo, woo, woo. We've already got it. So we need some help on, on this side. Elijah, Elijah, over here, over here, over here, real quick, real quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I'm counting to three. One, two. Oh, no, Elijah, you're in there now? Go, Elijah, on top of Mommy. No, I'm not Mommy, Mommy, Mommy. All right, here we go, Elijah. One, two, three. Anna, you're too low. Anna, you're too low. Anna, come high. You want to get a picture? Yes. All right, I think we got it. I, we don't have to redo it. Uh, Levi, get your head right in. All right, let's call it a shoot. How about that? We did it. Woo! You know what's gorgeous to do? Um, if I could do this, can I surprise you? What, what are we doing? 146, we go to 02? 215? We go to 215, but we, we have 10, 10 minutes. more minutes Good. with them. So. Watch this. This is going to be the most beautiful thing you've ever yeah. seen in your life. We're going to take our lessons. We're going to put profile light on the baby. And we're going to put the parent in there in the background. And I'll show you some slides to illustrate this. But if the light's coming here, let's bring the baby right over here and bring the baby into this light right here. Let me see. Turn the baby here. Right here. There's the profile light because it's coming from behind. Flip the baby around like this. You're good with children like this. Kind of hold the baby out into the light just like this. So under your, on your right hand. Yep. Mm -hmm. Can I get a camera over here? Watch out, Bart. Say hello. Come on in here. Right here. Now... Hold that baby right in here. I'll do it if you need. Watch this. Just, just like this. Yeah, now spin around. Now there's the light right there. <clears throat> That's what this whole day is about. Window light. Look at that. <laughs> you see that light? So what do we want to get? I want to get Tyson. I want Tyson here. And I want his, his wife here. So here's how we're going to do it. Here we go. Hang on. You've got to come down for a second. All right, Tyson, you go right here on your knees. Okay? Tyson's on his knees. Good. And you're going to hold the baby out there. The black-white background. Can you pop that open, Don? And put that in behind here. It's right there on the floor. Hustle. There we go, right there. Now, this place is over here, I think it's going to be better if you'll come forward. Can I have a posing block? Right there. They're right there. I'm going to seat you on a block. No, no, guys. Come back. I'm going to do just the baby. Maybe if you're all good, I can get you all in. Flip it around to black and put it right in there. Maybe a bigger one, too. Oh, look how beautiful. All right. Can I get one person, Don, to help Bart hold the background on one side? Just come on one side. There we go. Now, pick it up over the chase part and put it right behind Daddy. Now, lay it down a little so the light gets in, because right now the light's not in. Right there. OK, there's the shot, right there. i got a few minutes left. This one? It's OK. Can you sit here with your knees going that way? You're back to me. That's too high. Let me just now sit again. And just put your face right in front of Jarvis. I'm going to go in front of Chase. Chase Jarvis. All right, right there. Beautiful. Now, your left shoulder, Tyson, around behind the baby a little. Pull the hair off your face in the front here. Tell, remind me your name one more time. Sonia, get your face right in there. Now, I've got the two of you. Can somebody wiggle the reflector a little for me? I need two reflectors. Just, now, the light's gone. You've got to lay that way down. Lay that way down. In fact, keep scooting it to the dad. Right there. Beautiful. Now, what I would do, seriously, we're not going to do it on TV. I'll show you a slide. I would go bare shoulders. I would have mom in a bra, dad no shirt, and baby naked. And this, I'll show it to you. It's so easy. But 
Look how we harness the light. That's what I'm showing you here. So we're almost there. What we need to do is get Chase, I mean, we need to get um, Tyson to get your face right down low behind the baby. Hide half your face behind him. Now look, his hand, kind of drop his hand down. There we go, right there. Good, right there. And Mama, you're going to put your chin right in there, Sonia. Right there. Chase, come up a little, I mean, come up a little, Tyson. Now, do you guys just talk to him, talk to him. Pull him into you a little bit. Right there, right there. That's good, right there. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, and then just kind of, someone get the feather and screw it right between them, right between them, or some bells, right up between the parents. There we go. Go real close to the baby. There you go. There you go, right there. There you go. Now pull the hand out and we got it. Sonia, lean in. The baby lost that beautiful light. Where's that light? Where's that light? Lay that background. There we go. That's great. Tyson, get in there a little closer. Yes. All right, guys, we're almost there. Can you pick the baby up a little into that light? Right there. That's gorgeous. One, two, three. I love it. Big smile. Put your cheek right in there, uh, Tyson. And Tyson, go closer to Sonia. Right there. Chin up on the baby. Just kick his neck back. I mean, there we go. Right there. Get it in focus. I'm shooting two fly. All right. If, can we turn his nose to profile? There we go, right there. Too much. Bring it back to me a little bit. All right, relax. Let's look at it. Woo! That's good. It's in there. Whoa, what is that? I was trying to concentrate on getting focus on the baby and the parents in the back. Let's, can we take a look at some slides to kind of strengthen everything I just did? Let's go to our PowerPoint, our keynote, and uh, I have the clicker. And you guys were all so good, it's time for a few more M&Ms. Thank you so much. You guys were awesome. Great. Thank you. Family, a round of applause. Up our IT Thank department you. here at Creative Live, and we were just so excited that he could bring his entire family in for all of you to learn out there. That was incredible. Thank you so much, Tyson. Thank you. And Sonia, of course. <laughs> all right, so, so Levi would like some vanilla yogurt. Do we have some of that here or ice cream? Ice cream. All right, so you guys go in the hall, and I hope we've got it, or I'm in big trouble. <laughs> we've got something here. They've got a big refrigerator. All right. Let's take a look at, um, I mean, that was it. That's how we do it. And usually so, there's two of, two of us on staff, myself, a monkey, and an assistant. So that's and, how we do it. And that was just awesome. And I just um, would love to, in addition to getting through your slides, just kind of take a few minutes to, after the, we let the family go. All right, awesome. Thank you, Tyson. Um, take a minute just to recap okay. exactly everything that just went on from the lighting to the family to the craziness like you said um, normally you wouldn't have seven other adults necessarily um, in the room but just kind of take us through what just happened it's a real chess match with me yes i make a move and i'm waiting for their move if they make a move i didn't expect then i have to make a new move but my whole move is to humiliate myself the joke is on me i'm the big goof and they're laughing at me. And I, I love that role because, you know, it's just fun to do kids and families. I'll go to some families <clears throat> in the D.C. area and, you know, it gets real busy spring and fall. And I just open the garage up and say, can we pull the cars out and I'm going to start right in the garage. And they're kind of like, in the garage? I said, you know why? Because your house is so beautiful. I don't want to get all this background and stands and, there's, and their, their, their floors are probably, you know, $10,000 and I don't want to scratch it. I don't want to bang something, and I've just learned, and I'm quicker that way, and really the reason I like to pull the cars out of the garage, I like to see what they're driving, so I know how to sell the pictures. That was bad, isn't it? It's the truth. I've seen some nice cars come out of those garages, and you know, if the dad's driving an $80,000 car, don't you think he could spend a couple thousand dollars on portraits? Yes, and that's the way I have to feel all the time that my pictures are more valuable than a hunk of metal with rubber wheels. These portraits are art, they're beauty, and I'm going to sell them that way. And I, you know what my goal in life is? My goal is to make the largest portrait sale ever. That's my goal, the largest portrait sale ever. Now, that's going to be hard, because I have some friends in London. This guy, is, what's his name? He made a sale to some Arabs. Amazing sale. My good friend Jeff Lubin, I know about his sale. But if you have a sale, an, a goal like that, <clears throat> and you miss it, 
you're still going to do so much better than if you didn't have a goal. So what do I say? I'd rather aim high and miss it by a little than not aim at all. So that's where I am with the families. That, you know, this is fun, but it's, it's art and it's business. So when we pull the white paper down, I ask them all to dress in light colors, pastels, whites. And it's kind of a Ralph Lauren feel. And guess what? Usually these big family groups, there's usually maybe three or four families involved. There's the grandparents, then there's like four kids and their kids. So I like to warm up with each family because I am a name guy. And when I'm doing the big group, the names are very important. But again, we know about meltdown. You know, we could start to see it with Anna there on the back row. And you kind of get to a point where, you know what, we'll Photoshop it together. Good enough. And you know, the flash, we never really metered it out, but I'd, I'd love to right now. Can you just uh, hit the test button? We were shooting here at 800 ISO at a 60 at 4 in the beginning. So I'm just going to go with a meter. Click it. Let me go. I've got to get my shutter speed up to 250. Go. Not a word of a lie. What are we at? Two and a half. Two and a half. The flash was a stop under. And the flash of stop under is going to do volumes because that little reflector, sometimes a little face gets lost back in there <clears throat> and that reflector is missing it. And then we got to go into post-production to fix it, which we can. But that flash is just going to be this big fill light. And that's the way I do it. I'll show you some slides to, to kind of to speak to how this all works. But um, the whole idea is to learn everybody's names, get familiar, be the monkey, get goofy. And then when I have the whole group, I've kind of won everybody over. It's kind of the same thing at a wedding. At the wedding, my plan is to do all the close-up portraits, all the family groups, the small groups. And then when I get under the chuppah or under the canopy or I'm under the, uh, the altar and I'm doing groups of people, I know the names. I've kind of worked hard to memorize the names. It's a game with me. And how I do it was association. Like, Jerry, I met you the first day. I got your name right off, didn't I? Yes. I was thinking Jerry Lewis. I'm sorry, you're a little goofy. But no, that was funny. Right. I was thinking of your Monica, right? I have a, a friend I just did some work with, Monica, and she's a, a CEO of a company, and we do a lot of email. So this morning I came in and I thought, Monica, remember how I picked your name up? Mm -hmm. That's, I do it with association. But let me tell you, if you want to be a great photographer, it starts there. It starts with people. You want to bat a thousand? <clears throat> it has nothing to do with the camera. Trust me. It has, what you, it has to do with your personality, the way you're going to connect with people, the way you're going to pace your portrait, the way you're going to get in and get out, and, and really, you know, keep it light and lively. Just you, remember that. Do you prefer to do the family portraits in their own home rather than your studio? I have just built a studio that I am in love with, and I hope to show you some pictures of it. <clears throat> I go to their house for an extra $250, so I don't okay. mind going over there. Sometimes, again, their, their homes are much nicer. They have beautiful homes, entryways. So it's up to them. I give them the option. But if they come to me, I have window light, studio all set up, and an outdoor area. And I can round robin it. And again, my next goal to tell you is to have a studio outside, in the window, in the side. We have three stations. And a family can come over and choose what they want. We're going to give them levels. Would you like to hit two stations? That's going to be enough for you. You know, that could be seven, eight hundred dollars. You want to go to all three and do an, a clothing change? We're talking twelve fifty. Give people the option and have a photographer. Bart can be out by the window. You know, Catherine could be in the in the in the, uh, the environmental, and I'll be in the studio. And so that to me is my goal: is for families to come over for about two hours and create a book. And usually, most of my family sessions turn into books. And one more quick question, Neil. Um, envision that this was a garage. Is this what you're going to have? That be the door? Have the backdrop parallel to exactly. the opening? Open the garage door. door. In fact, let me show you. I think I've okay. got some slides to illustrate it. Ready? <clears throat> so the tummy shot, I think, is where I'm about to begin. And this is one light overhead. That's just a hair light, infrared camera, and she's just laying on a gray piece of paper. One light. So then the baby comes, and this is kind of what I was setting up here at the very end. Uh, this is done with my spider lights but I'm able to control the lights very gently. I was making some video on this day as well. I love the props from Design Revolution. <clears throat> they haven't offered anything for the prize, but I know she just couldn't, she's probably too busy to return my phone call. <clears throat> so whoever wins today a portrait, I'm gonna speak on behalf of Design Revolution that she'll throw something in that bundle. Because these little things are what the parents love. Hats, 
<coughs> buckets, pearls, little fabrics. They're all over in one little area of my studio. Oh, we got a baby. Let's get the stuff out over here. And we kind of prop it, you know, make it look more current, I think, or just little babies. You know, big babies have big heads. You know what I mean? And if you cover it with a hat, it's much better. It draws your eye to the face. You take that hat off and you've got this big head, bald head. Now here's the setup <coughs> when the parents were leaning into the baby. You see the hair light and the main light? They're both coming from behind. And that umbrella is my fill light. And that fill light just kind of came into fill for that picture. Here's the light. Here's the picture. Pretty amazing. This is a great trick. This is out in the ice house. We have a window light just like this. And I anchored the baby. The mother's hand is right here. Mother's hand is right here, holding the baby. So I got a little piece of scotch tape, doubled it up, and stuck it on the baby's palm. And the baby's playing with the scotch tape, trying to get the scotch tape off of her palm. And that's how I got the hands posed like that, scotch tape. Just tape the hands together. <laughs> but be careful, because we had this happen once where the baby put the scotch tape in her mouth. And the mother was like, ah, you know, and I was like, oh, I'll never do that again. But I, I do it every time now, but I always just be real careful. I put, you know, stick it down real hard, get the picture quick, and get it off. I'm watching it. <clears throat> I love this picture. Just look at that head of hair. Is that gorgeous? I was in one city, and somebody said, is, is, is he wearing a wig? No. This is actually 180. I laid the baby on a mirror. But what do you do with a mirror? <laughs> you get a hair dryer and warm up the glass. Because if you put a naked baby on a cold mirror, you're going to get tears and TT in a hurry. So what I've got here is a warm-up, and then the baby's laid right onto the glass. I love the mirrors. We have acrylic mirrors, too, and they'd be nice in here as a fill light. So let's go real fast here. I'm getting kind of low. There's the design revolution, <clears throat> the props they do. And if you need ideas, you go on their website. They photograph all these little infants. And infants are tough. You know, just a sleeping baby is, is the way I usually do it. <clears throat> this is all design revolution props here. The fabric. This is what I just did with Sonia. I laid the baby on the mother's tummy. You see that? And then the baby, the mother holds the baby up into the light. Now that's the baby's reaching for what? M&Ms, <laughs> you know? And right in front of the softbox. So it's really just shoot heavy. You know, I, I went to the beach with my son and, and a wave came in and knocked him down when I took this picture. And we were there for four days. He never went back on the sand again that he was so young. I was so mad at myself. This wave just knocked him over. But I got a picture of him in the grass that you'll see in a minute. This is the cover of our new book, All Window Light. It's baby and child portraits, and it speaks to everything I'm doing here. It's on Amazon. Here's window light shooting through the window. We've seen this picture and how it was taken. When you walk in my studio, it's a canvas, 40-inch canvas. Everybody loves this picture, and it is, it's truly a, uh, a piece of art. It is good. Now, this is what I do, is what we just did here. Gray paper, stand him up, his foot's on a quarter, shoot away. Let's take you in a real session. Let's get the audio up and look at a little video. We made this Thursday to show here today. We have audio? That's great. We're going to open up the garage door, we're turn it up a little louder. and get busy. Just a simple piece of gray paper, a reflector, and we're ready to work. We're going to shoot high ISO. He's defenseless. I got a tickle feather, I've got bubbles, I got balls, and I have film. We're going to shoot a little film with my old EOS camera with a pig troll. Let's get busy. Let's have some fun. Yeah, look at that smile right there out of the gate. Beautiful. Woo! There we go, John. Yes. Now, John, you come on this side. Nice. Okay, we got the indoor portraits done. We're just going to go outside and shoot into the sun. Backlighting is so easy, but it's a hot sun, so we have a scrim. I know this works because I did it with my own wife and son. I'm going to put Sheila in the direct hot sun, setting sun, but this umbrella is going to be a big scrim and it's the most gorgeous light on campus.
That's gorgeous, that's gorgeous. Right into the flare. Now he's laughing. Now he's laughing. I'm trying to get that little flary light. All right, let's pack it in, guys. Let's go home. I could have just showed the video and not done all that work here in the studio. <laughs> I can't wait to see this video come together. Tomorrow I'm going to do a burrito technique. I don't know where this idea, you know where the idea came up? We were shooting outside with the paper, and it blew over. The paper blew down, and you know what? When the paper blew down, I put the model in the paper. And that's what I did here. I did that with the baby. You see how cool it is? And the light's coming from behind. What am I really doing here? I'm taking the light away. I'm subtracting. I love this portrait so much, the red against the gray. Here's little Daniel. He's the most good-looking boy <clears throat> in the world. I love him. I could just come over here and say, I've got an overhang right here. He's underneath uh, the shade and the light. Look at these big catch lights. It's just an open sky. I mean, he was three years old, and he had that shirt on for three. Here he is at the studio. Every time I'm doing a portrait, <clears throat> I'll give him like $5 credit towards a Lego if he'll help me. And I've got a portfolio of him that's just amazing from doing this. The sofa, we have that at the studio. Uh, we're just tickle feather. Here's the same time we took him up in the beach, 2018. Now this lens, this lens is butter. I mean, pure butter. It is so gorgeous. And look what it does. <clears throat> I use it for video and I use it for pictures. They don't make it anymore. It's a, it's, I've actually redesigned it for 202. Let me see it right here. And the, the lens, uh, Picto Books has given you a book away, and my good friend Steve from Picto, he's a brilliant friend of mine, he gave me this lens. You talk about a friend. You get them on eBay about $4,000. Look at that glass. But that's what it does. <clears throat> it takes the background and it throws it completely out of focus. We take it to every wedding. When you were doing the video from the back of the aisle for the ceremony, it's great for video. For filmmaking, it's amazing. That's a cute little shot sunflowers, the setting sun, and the silver reflectors, all I'm using. <clears throat> also, we do the sunflower shoot every year. And every year, I'm the guy out there. They plant these in Maryland for the birds to eat. <clears throat> and I come out there, and guess what? I bring a ladder. Guess what else I bring? Posing blocks, a flash. I bring the scrim, the big umbrella. I bring a couple of helpers. There are a ton of other photographers out there shooting. And these guys are so challenged because all they brought was their camera and their flash on camera and their pictures are looking amateur. They're getting the sky. What am I doing? I'm going up high. The first thing I do is I anchor the, see the little boy? He's on a posing block. Why? Because now he's, he's anchored for about a minute. <laughs> I got a minute and then I'm acting like a big goof. Does that make sense to you? I'm up high shooting down to isolate him on the background. Simon says, we're just about through the show and then we're going to kind of pick it back up with some more families. That's probably one of my fa favorite pictures of four children. And look at the little girl, she's in midair, you know? And this is not posed, this is, you know, this is where you have fun with the kids, just get it. His foot's on a quarter to hide it, just like we did today. Okay, I'm ready for questions, I'm ready to, you know, ready for two more families. Not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, um, let's see, first question from the chat room. Oops, sorry about that. That was really loud, echo. <laughs> it's from, uh, let's see, it's uh, Siolokadeid. Sorry, I did not say your name right. Uh, but anyway, they're wondering, it takes a lot of emotional energy to deal with five kids. Thumbs up. And then a follow-up to that is, how do you keep your energy going? How do you continue and, and do, like, an entire day with a family, a large family, going and going, keeping creative the whole time as well? You know, <clears throat> I'm a very spiritual person, and I think God gave me a gift of this incredible patience that just, I'm kind of very patient with children and families, I know I am, and I also feel that <clears throat> when I get started, I don't know where it comes from, but the Energizer, Energizer Bunny just comes out of me. And I, I kind of have this feeling like, like I'm a little bit touched with fire, that, you know, I'm not going to stop until I get the picture. And I start doing all this stuff, get this, get that, good, you know, and I, and I just go, 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 and we got it, you know. So I don't know where the energy comes from. I just, the grace of God, you know. Awesome. Well, we certainly have been really appreciating mm. it. And it's, I mean, super inspiring to see. Thank you. Do we have any questions in our in-studio audience? Yes. yes. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, so on this one here, you're, you're going to have to Photoshop it together. So from a business practice, are you going to in, invest that time in post-production, get it all put together in the hopes of selling that? Portrait? Absolutely. 
You know what I might do is rough a couple together before I erase it out, and I'll say, you know, this is going to be awesome. This won't take that much time. You know, it's a little bit of a level of enhancement. It's not expensive, but we're going to have to do it to finish the job. But, you know, to make a good sale, I don't want to get hung up on the little things. I'm going to gloss over that. I'm just going to keep going until the end. And it's, again, part of batting a thousand is give, give, give. You know, and, and that's what I'm trying to be a, a giving person. So I'm not going to say, oh, I have to charge you for that. I have to charge you for that. <clears throat> you know, we change wedding albums a lot. I had a bride the other day. She called up and she made six changes to her wedding album on every page. <laughs> you know what I mean? Can I, at home, you know what I'm talking about. We, we do the spreads. We put them online. <clears throat> well, guess what? I don't know if you have Judette's name in here, but Judette is my album designer. It's called Artistic Story De Design. Now, she'll design the book. She lets the changes come, and she'll just make them for me. And I, I could be on the beach or at the golf course, which I never do, but Judette fixes it for me. She's the designer, and she fixes it. And guess what she said she would give us? A free album design. When we do our portrait drawing, you guys, this number one portrait is going to be flooded with free gifts. All right? So Judette's my, my, she's my savior. Because sometimes the bride likes something, the mother likes something different. I'm in the middle. I do it one way, then they say, can we change it? Oh, let's change it. And they all say, you know, we kind of like it better the way you had in the beginning. And I'm like, yeah, no kidding, because we're designers and you're not. So it, it gets to be a little bit arduous, you know? Okay, so I hope I spoke well to that. So, yes. So, out of the group, like you did with a whole big group when they were all on top of each other and such, how many of those do you think you'll actually show the client? I mean, I'll probably show them a like lot of five. Them five, that it's all coming together, and then one good one. And we'll probably all have a good laugh. <clears throat> There's a sofa in the back we'll probably use for some of the other families. Sofas are difficult. You know why? It puts all the heads level, right? Mm -hmm. So I might put three in a sofa, two in the back leaning forward. Now I've got my little group of five that we did yesterday, and then maybe something over in the corner, maybe something here, maybe something there. So, <clears throat> you know, for the next few families, maybe we'll come off the white, Maybe we'll use these rust walls. You know, I, I, I'm just open for a lot of suggestion now. I think you see the way I work, and now I'm going to get you guys involved. We're going to style it together. We've got an amazing team here, and I love when people give me ideas. I love when people, you know, everyone's been so helpful. You know, how about these clothes? I think the gray shirt made a huge difference on Levi. You know, when, we get, when we look at those pictures side by side, and we go back and uh, make a black and white, those stripes are just pulling our eye away. So... <clears throat> Tell the mother, lay all the clothes on a bed, on a sofa. What do you want to do? Put colors that are in nature. I see green and blue and brown. I want all those three colors in the palette, darker shades of those. But, you know, to take a green or a teal and turn it dark is easy. Like, you're, you're today in a little bit of a light green today. I could select that in Photoshop and pull it down a little bit. I mean, it'd be easy to make dark green from teal or, you know, whatever. You, so those shades come down easy. But stripes, they don't come off. You know, polka dots. The worst thing you can put on is red or yellow. Because if you do a portrait in red or yellow, it's usually right where your eye goes. Now, a solo can do a red or a yellow, maybe a red. <clears throat> but a family group and a red in there, your eye goes to the red. A yellow, I like black. You know, black is in nature. If you squint your eyes down in nature, that's all you see is all the black coming in. So... I would say everyone's got a nice pair of dress jeans. So why don't we lay all the jeans out, everybody put on some nice fitting jeans. Now let's go on tops. What do you want to do? We could do white tops. We could do shades of blue and green tops. That's what I would suggest. And on my email, I send an email to my clients. I wrote about three pages. Hey, how are you going to dress for your family portrait? Well, let me tell you, it's everything. And I wrote in big letters block, this is where we begin. We've got to get this right before we go anywhere. If I'm going to make the biggest sale in the world, I can't do it with stripes and polka dots. So I'm going to go there. And then I say, you know what we need to do next? Why don't you just dress everybody like you're going to a nice dinner? You know, if you're going out, you're probably going to wear a, not, a long sleeve shirt. You know, button downs are great. <clears throat> Maybe the men should bring jackets. We could take them on and put them off. You know, we could do, and you know, dark dress shoes. And, you know, that's pretty much the, the rule. Dress like you're going to dinner. I love it. Thank you for all of the tips that keep coming and coming, Clay. Um, we are going to give you a 15-minute break <laughs> before we come back. And everybody out there at home, uh, one of the things 
that came in the chat rooms. Clay, you have the most energy. What an incredible session with a beautiful family. I'm worn out just watching. So <laughs> the folks at home need a break too. What are we going to do when we come back? We have two more families coming. So we're going to play with some family groups. And we'll probably kind of accessorize this time off the white paper. And um, why don't we go back up on the roof? <laughs> just kidding. Uh -huh. Just kidding. They're all laughing. <laughs> Lindsay over there. Let me the tell you guys, <laughs> going up on that roof is not easy. They hustled up wires and everything went up there. And then we were up there saying, three minutes, three minutes. And we're like, three minutes? You know, no way. And then sure enough, go. And, you know, of course, you guys made it look so easy. Uh, okay, right. great. I can't wait cool. to meet my next two families. And then, you know, maybe I'm going to put some of my students to the test. You know, maybe I'll say, uh, Jerry, I'd like you to pose a nice picture of two people. You know, I want you to put two people together for me. I think it's great to see where you're at. Hey, what about the competition? It's 2 o'clock, isn't it? Just after. Woo! Right. I can't wait to see that. So we, ha we get to judge that tonight between midnight and 6 a.m., right? <laughs> well, right. we've got, we still have a few more hours for voting, everybody, a little bit less than that. Uh, that's the photo contest that we have going on here you can head on over to facebook and see all of the images that have been submitted that's right clay the the submission time ended about 15 minutes ago but you guys can still vote for the next uh, less than three hours one more quote for you pookie pick said i'm loving the impromptu ideas that you have clay how you really adapt to any situation and that was very true in this last shoot i think i need to buy this video watching it twice will not be enough Oh, good. Hey, crazy. tell her I'm going to buy the video. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Well, learning from a master, taking the time to, oops, sorry about that. Learning from the master has just absolutely been a wonderful experience. And uh, learning about taking your time and pacing your portrait is something that we have been learning today so that you can pose, light, lift, and refine and making a beautiful classic portrait and bringing it into a more of a contemporary field for all of your uh, clients out there is what we are learning today. So just to remind you that the entire three-day course is $149, but during this live event, it is only $99. And as a bonus, Clay is including with the purchase of this course, his top 10 photos of all time and all the copy and information on how he created them. So you can take these master portraits and be able to study them and learn in your own time at home and just study and recreate them in your own environment and portrait studio. So, um, and then also, not just 10, he couldn't keep it to just 10, of course, he had to throw in a couple extra. So there's an additional two bonus portraits as well. So right now is the perfect time to grab the deal at $99. The green buy button is right below this video, and we will see you guys back here in 15 minutes. Who do you want to see next in Creative Live? I'm Craig Swanson, and we want to hear from you. Go to creativelive.com forward slash suggest, where we've created a special form for you to tell us who you would like to see next in this Creative Live classroom. Creative Live is here to help you unleash your creative potential by bringing you the world's best experts in this unique live worldwide creative classroom and helping you build a sustainable business and lifestyle around your creative endeavors. We're looking for your suggestions for the best instructors in design, business, filmmaking, photography, audio, and software training. Tell us the name of your dream instructor, what you want them to teach, and if they are already teaching, give us
Welcome back from break, everybody. You are on the final segment of day two of Pose It, Light It, Love It with Clay Blackmore here on Creative Live. And this has just been an amazing day. I can't believe it's already the last segment today. I know, I know. So we cool. still have two families I to know. photograph in this next segment. Plus another full whole day. I know, on top of I it. know. Cool. Uh, what we wanted to make sure you guys, if you didn't notice already, that there is a summer sale going on here at Creative Live. This does not happen uh, very often here where there is an entire site-wide sale. So there's a little green icon that says summer sale up there on the website. Feel free to go check out um, all the different workshops that you've been thinking about. Some of the workshops are up to 50% off. So a lot of them back at that original uh, price for the live event. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to bulk up your Creative Live library on top of this class right here today. Any of those workshops you've been thinking about uh, but you haven't bought, that sale ends tomorrow. Tomorrow's the 31st, right, Larry? I can't believe already yes. the 31st. Right, already. <laughs> so everybody, that ends tomorrow. So just encourage you to go check that out. And Clay, it's time to throw it back to you. OK, great. So we've got some adult children today <clears throat> coming in at this second section. So it's going to be really easy for me. They're very <clears throat> well behaved. I've met them. There's not a lot of bribing going on. Annika, I've already given her chocolate, and so she's happy. <clears throat> so really, for me now, it's going to be more of an environmental scene. Let's say you're going to go into someone's home. And we're just going to kind of build the portrait here. I think before I get started, I've got about 12 or 15 slides. Why don't we go over to the keynote, <clears throat> and let's take a look. You guys tell me when we're hot on keynote. And I'd like to show you what's kind of going through my mind. Are we good there? So this first title slide kind of is interesting because I'm showing how I scrim the light here. <clears throat> and that's, I didn't have my umbrella. You know, the umbrella blew over in the wind and broke in half. So this is the way we used to do it, two light stands and build like a little light tent. And boy, the light is really beautiful in there. <clears throat> Again, here, maximizing the flash to marry it in with the background like that, to pull it all together on a fall day. This is fun too. Just walking and swinging the young boy in the middle like that, having a good time. Notice the attention to the clothing here. We really did a nice job on the, on the <clears throat> I think, on the clothing consultation, and they look great. They love their new dog. They just got this guy. They lost their older dog, and uh, this is dog's name is Kramer, I guess from uh, Seinfeld. And you know, I had plans to airbrush out the house over in the back. That's their home but I'm shooting into the last bit of the sunlight of the day. And that's just a flash near the camera. So what I'm usually doing is shooting towards the sunlight on the setting sun. As soon as the sun gets down below the horizon, I flip around and shoot with the light at my back. Now, notice the rocks that they're sitting on. Those are plastic rocks, and we keep them in the studio. Bart and I went out to a shoot, I guess on Friday, we take these rocks with us. They stack, they carry, they're wonderful. These rocks are wonderful. And they dressed very well here too. And again, this turned out to be a real nice sale. We started inside, we did solos of all the children. The father got a 40 inch panel, which was a solo of each of the children. And then we did a, a group of the kids inside. I stayed inside, stayed air conditioned, used all my, my um, I guess my, I don't want to say charisma, all my tricks. I, I had all these kind of things to keep them engaged. You know what I mean? And then we took them out and played around and walked around for this. <clears throat> the gray paper always works, and it's very current. I mean, if you go to a magazine today, what do you see? Gray paper. I see that in the W magazine on the newsstand. This is what our clients are looking at. So with the clients seeing this, this is what we need to be thinking about. This picture right here, or a portrait, could be the poster for how to photograph everyone. Look at that. We've even the dog is smiling. <laughs> you see that? Isn't that great? And that's no Photoshop right there out of the camera. So that's in our studio. Again, a studio portrait. This family, I've photographed every child as a baby. And just recently, I, I wish I had all the slides. I went to his home and hung 40 pictures in one hallway. They were all face mounted and we just built them right down to one beautiful family group at the end of the wall. <clears throat> he built a beautiful home and he and we've been photographing probably 15 sessions. So their whole life story is on two walls with a big portrait at the end. And he says, Clay, I have to tell you, every day I walk down that hallway, it just makes me feel good. It's just a feel-good hallway for us because it's all of his kids growing up. This is well, you know, the sofa we have in the room today 
is tough to work on because you see what happens to the two girls' eyes? They're level. They're parallel. I would rather have one face a little higher than the other. I'm trying to build those circles, remember from yesterday? That's ideal. Like the family today, I mean, we could do three posing st stools and do a real formal group, and that to me works well. But we're going to work with chairs and sofas, so we'll probably add the posing stools in with those elements. They had some very formal portraits, but this was the one the mother chose, and I, I love it. It's a hug, it's a feel-good picture, and this is what our clients are starting to crave, more of a relaxed feel to the pictures. Here's another beautiful setup. This is right out of the book that we did for them. The two sisters on the left, one's in a feminine, one's in a back two-thirds, and then the group of four. In fact, look at it right here, just exactly like we've been talking about. Do you see that? And how did I do that? He's sitting on some of those posing blocks, you know, the Hanson posing blocks. I hope we're giving those away. Um, um, whoever wins first prize gets a set of posing blocks. I've got them right here. He shipped them in. I'll have Kenna ship them out right to you because they, they are the best prize. In fact, Hanson, you should, you should, I want another set. They are everything. Right here, she's on a posing stool. Right here, she's on a posing stool. I've got two stools in the weeds. You know, this is that fall grass, and she's standing. But that's what it takes. I started real formal, got the formal, and then I said, everybody hug. So that's how that came together. <clears throat> this is just really right out of the camera. No Photoshop at all. There's no head swaps. The dog was in. You can see the leash, really well behaved. Again, the sun is setting, and I'm shooting right into the setting sun. I'm in the shade of a big tree, and I've got just one cue flash near the camera. And to me, this is everything a family portrait should be. And I'm looking at each person individually. Do you know, if this were her picture, she would buy it, just right here. How about that? She would love it. Dad looks great. How about mom? A little square to the camera, I think, if I look at this. I really never noticed. Her shoulders are a little level. Right shoulder could come down. I really never analyzed this portrait that closely. And then how about the young girl in the front? Do you think it's an accident? that she's sitting in a feminine pose? Do you think that left shoulder being down is just by chance? No way. I'm telling her, and I know her name. You know, like I'd say, Sarah, Sarah, drop your shoulder. Tip your head here. And I'm talking to everybody real fast, refining the picture. The young boy, basic pose. Isn't he in a basic pose? And I got the dog in a feminine pose. <laughs> so there we go like that. Look at this, the setting sun. We just finished their temple shoot, which means we're at the, the shul and we're doing religious pictures, and it was such a beautiful day outside, and I said, you know, we need to go outside. I opened the door, and what was it? It's over the B'nai Sedek, and there's nothing but parking lot. And then over here, there's a cow field, and then over here, I said, you know what? Let's get in the cars. You follow me. I'm just going to drive. Whenever I see the spot, we'll pull over. <clears throat> and I'm just driving, and I see the spot. I run up to the neighbors, it was, in a, it was in a driveway, and I knocked on the people's door, I said, do you mind if we take, it? and I, I've never had a no, and trust me, I've knocked on a lot of doors, can we shoot, because a lot of people landscape their homes beautifully, and you just go up and take advantage of it at the end of the day, and no one has ever said no, oh, sure, can I get you guys something to drink, uh, you know, it's good, about time we had some people visit us, you know, and it's fun, and we get out and look at the picture, look at the composition, do you see it, right here? Group of five, one, two, three, one, two. Seat the women, stand the men, okay? So I think we're about there. Plastic rocks, that's two families. That was a beautiful sale, beautiful order. I love this. Do you know he has the David Lazarus Foundation? <clears throat> and Saturday, we flew here to Seattle. We could have been on the roof of the Willard Hotel having free drinks and uh, dinner on, you know, his ticket. He begged me to come. But that little portrait of Nicholas... We showed it a little while ago in the paper. He was in a red sweater, and I printed that out, gave it to Jeff Medford, a good friend of ours, and Jeff showed up in our, in our stead and brought the portrait, and to me, that's what happens with our family work. We, beget, we, we make friends, and that's why I love photography. I love <clears throat> new relationships. I love learning about new people, and David's just a wonderful guy. He wants me to do a modeling portfolio for Nicholas. This picture was made the day of the bat mitzvah, and I photographed each person up on the paper, and it turned out to be probably six different Photoshop moves. You, you, who knows? You know what I mean? She might have been in one picture. This is from another. This is a third. But this is in their home. I just put the gray paper up. We're jumping in the car, running down to the party. 
So it's fun to work in people's homes. I'm in a total rainstorm here. I'm at the temple. I'm under the breezeway. Right behind you, you're looking at, it is raining like buckets. And I said, you know, let's just go out. It felt good out there. And I just put them out in, in the rain, but they're in the dry, in the, in, the, in the breezeway, not getting rained on. I exposed for them, and look at the background. It just went, shoo, that's hanging on their wall at their home. I love it. Now, here's the last one, super formal, but this is what the mother asked me to do. She says, Clay, I need, I did, you know, I did her wedding, and I did work for this family. They, they had a nut store called Ann's House of Nuts. They're probably selling them out here, and um, I photographed a lot of work for this family, and she said, we all want to be formal, jacket and tie. So this is in our studio. Then I took them outside and just had fun. So you can see how the formal session can also lend itself to some really great moments. And these are pictures that came out of a book that we created for them. And at the last moment, I told the mother, guess what? The book is awesome. It's designed, why did I make three instead of one? She said, three, one for each of your children. What's the price? I gave her the deal. It was... She couldn't afford it, but she couldn't afford not to do it. Does that make sense? It should be this. I'll do it for this. Ah, oh, Clay, well, let's just do it. And so she got the wall prints. She got three books, and that's what we're doing. We're going for, you know, I think the big, the big session. I don't know. In the film days, we didn't work that way. But with digital now, it just feels like we're doing video with pictures, doesn't it? We just can't slow down. So we have this great-looking family, and I think I want to take some pictures. Let me just tell you what I'm thinking about. <clears throat> I'm thinking speed light. I'm thinking speed light. Now, I know this guy is watching me from home. He sent me some stuff that I've never used, although I said, what a great idea. Here's a grid spot. This is from the spin light. We had it earlier on the stage when I was doing the, the corporate shoot. And the speed lights are all set up to work with TTL. So I'm not a huge fan yet, although I'm a big fan of the new 600 flash because it's a radio slave. In the old days, the red thing had to see the camera. Now, that's not the case. Now the case is, I can hide the light behind the background, and I can get a little light on the, on the wall. I'm going to use this light here, kind of to layer in on top. This is a rapid box, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you, can you just stay with me? I'm just going to do this, because I know it'll come off the wall. And I know I can do it. Whoops, I just got caught there. This picture right here, can you see this? That was made with one rapid box, one battery operated flash. We did have another one underneath at the knees, the technique I used yesterday. But I don't even think the one on the knees did anything. Maybe I over vignetted the picture. And so if we can make a picture like this, with one little battery-operated flash, that's, that's colossal. And this is where the industry is changing so fast. And it seems it's getting lighter, faster, and quicker. So let's have the young Annika, is it? Is her name Annika? Why don't you come on over here with me, and I'll take your picture. No? She doesn't have to. How about, Anthony, you come on over. I'll do your picture. So it's a chess game, and the move was made, and the move was aborted. Do you understand the chess game, how it's working? So I'm playing a game, and I'm just going to see what comes out of it. And, you know, it's going to come down to chocolate or ice cream or, you know, money. I've got $10 in my pocket. $10. And I'm going to expense it out to Creative Live, and I'll give it to you. That's a funny story, but you know what? I was doing a family portrait once, and the little girl, the little boy was being such a hard subject. And I said to him, I'll give you 20 bucks if you'll just be good. And he says, okay. And he was perfect. I have the slides to show you. He's going like, he's making faces and his parents can't control him. And it's a Sunday morning and I'm doing the shoot before a wedding. And I didn't want to do it, but I squeezed it in because I, I, the people needed to get it done. And I'm like, if this kid does not behave, what am I going to do? And he's just being terrible. And I said, look, I got 20 bucks. If, you just, if you're nice, I'll give it to you right now. He was perfect. Walked in, gave him the 20. When I delivered the final product to the family, I hid $40 on the bill as an 
aggravation fee. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I said, that was, and I told the father, and he didn't care. In fact, he was embarrassed when I gave the 20 to the son, and he wanted to pay me back. But anyway, those things always work. All right, how you doing, buddy? You look great. How about sit on the posing stool right here, and we're going to zero in our lights. What we're using here is window light with the little speed light. So let's just shoot, shoot, shoot. I can hear Jennifer in the back. Quit telling stories and take pictures. She's right. She's right. Every picture has a story. You know what I mean? It's just that's what it is. Put your knees this way for me, buddy. And just kind of lean in there to, that, to this wall. Yeah, that's good. Why don't we get him a couple posing blocks, Bart? I think I might even lower him down a little bit more. But let me, let me test this light out. Let's just keep him right here. So I'm back to the mark. You know what? My plug right now is on this camera. And I think we should switch it. I'm taped in. Um, I think I can just undo it. I hate to do this to you back there, Mike. But um, why don't you untape that and just stick it in here. And I'm going to do a couple of test shots. Good. Right there. Good. Perfect. I'm going to pull a little bit of slack. So we just worked in the studio knowing that the light in here is fantastic off this window. What we've done here is we've put a speed light in here, and I'm using them pretty much on manual. Manual means it's ETTL, this little sending unit. Now, I could have a flash up here that would set it off, which is what I normally do. But I just called Canon, and I said, you know, I'm going to be on Creative Live. And when I work in the Canon booth, this is what we use, and it really makes sense. It's just a nice little sending unit. So this right here is going to go on camera. I hope it's, I didn't mess you up there, Bart. And when this light, when this camera is plugged in with the little sending unit, it's going to set the light off. The light's pretty gorgeous, just like it is, but the light is a stop under. We're actually stopping a third. I just turned it way down. Going to go to manual focus, and he looks handsome right here. Just look at me, buddy. Right there, I got him looking good. Good. Tip the top of your head to the right a little bit. Good. Turn your nose to the right a little. Turn your nose right there. Now that was that was huge what I just did. Now the back of his shirt, don't move it, don't move. I could liquefy this later on, but why liquefy it? Look at this. I hate computers. You know, I said to myself the other day, I'm gonna get off the computer. And I kept thinking about it, and I said, that's kind of like saying, I want to be a golf pro, but I don't want to have any golf clubs. <laughs> you know, today the computer is everything, it's the portal, isn't it? So that's good right there. Now, let's take a portrait. Now see, we're not getting the flash when we're plugged in there. So I know what the deal is because I'm on video. Uh, I'm on live view. I mean, why even add the flash? Look at that light. Again, coming from above. <clears throat> but I think what I have to do is flip it off video and then take the picture here and they're going to go. Yep. So let's take a look at that picture. Wow. Let's compare them. So the main light is coming in there about a stop and a third under. That's no flash. Whoops, come on, baby. No flash, flash. I like flash. It shaped the face. It gave us better skin tones. Did everything I said it would do. What do you think back there, flash? Yep, mom says flash. Did you bring a Visa or Master chart? No, I'm just teasing. I like to keep them laughing. It's all about teasing, you know, having a good time. Let's add another light part. I'm going to bring this light in. This is a little back 45 separation light. Again, a grid, and I can spin it. That's the spin light. Let's give one of these away also. It's, it's on the list. And we'll put one around here behind. So we've just turned on a separation light. Let me make sure it's on. And we put this light on. I want about a stop under here. Yep, stop under, and about a stop under here. And then we've got it. And then we've got a fill light. Is it on? I think we're going to turn it on now. Yep. So here we go. One, two, three, four speed lights. Thank you, Canon. And we're going to bring this back here. And what you see is what you get. And let's shoot it up. Let's have some fun. Scoot this way a little bit more. A li yeah, I'm, I'm just hiding my backlight. Lean in there. You got a great smile, Anthony. Let me see it again. T yes. Tip your head to the right. I felt like that light on his back 45 might be a little punchy, 
But I like it. Do you like it? It's a nice little mirror light there. Why don't we go in there and I'll do it. I'm going to pull it down a little bit. Now, I can control each light individually from the camera. I prefer to just come over here and I'm on ATTL. I'm going to be minus minus one and a half. And I'm going to kind of bring it in here more as a hair light. So now I brought it down a little and I got it off the cheek and on the hair. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. I like it. Tip your head to the right a little bit. And the light on the background, is it going every time, Bart? Go in there and see it. It's so subtle, it's just a little separation. That's a nice portrait. I like it. Do you like the bricks? I like, I like the bricks, but you know, this is one thing I've been playing with all week. We have everything at my studio just like this, just for fun. Just hold this in there, Bart. Black. Can somebody jump on this side, on the other corner? Yeah, we're just going to use our lights, but no backlight. I'm just going to show you how quick I can add variety. <laughs> Sorry, Jerry. Nope. You're doing great, man. All right, let's go to work. Oh, that's good. You're going to model for me, aren't you? You're going to be my model. One time I'm going to get your family photograph and give you a portfolio. You ever thought about modeling? You should. Yeah, you should. Right, keep your back tall. Good. Tip your head to the right. The shirt keeps buckling a little bit. There we go. Here we go. Kind of the front. I kind of messed up the front of your shirt a little bit. How about no smile this time? No smile. Lips together. Lips together. No smile. Tip your head a little. Mm -hmm. Chin down. This quickly, we went from our brick background to this background. And, you know, I think that's an awesome portrait. I messed up your shirt a little bit. <clears throat> do me a favor. Stand up for a second. Come over here. Watch what I'm going to do. The handsome blocks are right there. But just sit on this, buddy. You can do it. I'm just going to turn the chair sideways and then lean right in here. Yeah, right there. Can you get your chin way over right there? Can I have one more of these blocks? They're right there on the floor over there. Stand up again. Let's get the big one. Let's get them all in the mix over here. Yep. Let's put that one right here, Christine. All right. I, I'm, I'm kind of like enjoying just kind of zeroing in my lights. Get right in there. Good, just like that. Hey, Don, this light over here, jump back there and grab the one that Bart put way back there in the corner. Take it off the stand, the top one. Boy, that is smooth, isn't it? That's a smooth looking shot. Uh, you got to see it, Anthony. Look up there. <clears throat> no, no, Keith, I want to leave that one alone. Uh, actually, it's on the low stand. Bring it right over here. Hand it to me. I was thinking about this one up here. Why don't we do double kickers? Jerry, you bring yours out. I'll bring mine in. Now look, I've got a kicker right here. I want the kicker to be low. Remember the arrow we talked about yesterday? So the kicker's going to be right here. So I've got this little clip here, and the spin light should allow me just to spin it around and vignette it right there. Now yours is going to come like the arrow, double kicker. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Alexis, I'm going to get you over here in just a second, okay? Show me some love. Show it to me. Love it. You know, that little bit on the forehead's a little shiny, but I think the eyes are just glowing there. Thank you. All right. We've done portraits like this. Now we're going to back up and use more of an environmental look. How about a big smile? Teeth. Teeth. Chin back up a little taller. Back. Chin down a little right there. Bart, look on your little kicker light and see if it's going down here. Watch. Right there. Yes? I'm going to take it up to level. Right now it's a stop under. Now, this little kicker should give me a little more chrome on the Cadillac. This is your big moment, buddy. You're going to be discovered with this picture right there. Well, you might have blinked. 
You go looking at me right there. Right there. Hint of a smile. Now smile teeth. Right there. <clears throat> How about, come on in, Alexis. Let me give you a solo. And then I'm going to build the whole family. And then, Annika, you're going to be next, okay? So why don't we let your sister sit there, and I'll just do a real simple portrait. See, the family's making the effort to model for us. I want to give them some nice portraits, and this is just how I do it. How about your right hand right here? Yep, and just like that, put your hand under your hair. Chin down a little bit, right there. Tip your head to the right a little bit. Also, notice that my main light <clears throat> is feathering over to the reflector, and it's just like I do in the studio. Just beautiful eyes right here. Look at this. Chin up a little. Good, right there. Nice smile, teeth. Oh, you're gorgeous. Lay both hands down like this. Right there. Turn your shoulders into the window a little bit. The other way. Turn, turn more. Turn more. I'm looking at that back elbow back a little. Yeah, right there. How about we go over the shoulder? Just keep spinning around. You rotate around, push the chair a little. Yep, and then look over your shoulder at me. You know, look right here at first. This is the back two-thirds pose. Keep turning your back to me a little more and your nose to me a little bit. Tip your head this way. Yep, now turn your face to the left. Keep turning, keep turning. Good, now look right here to the corner of the window. Tip your head to the right a little more. A little more, good. A little more, tip your head to the right. Now smile, teeth, 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 right there. Now look back at me with your eyes. Tip your head to the right, good, right there. There it is, back two-thirds, the Queen Elizabeth pose coming in, over the back, eyes cut to me. So, let's go ahead, I love the portraits. Why don't you slide out the black background, you come away for a second, and let's, uh, Annika, you want to do a picture? Come on in. We'll just do a solo, kind of fun, we're at the house. Come, you can come with Mama, if you, if you want to come with her, that's fine, come on over. Yeah, stay close together. In fact, why don't you all kind of get in close here. Why don't you just curl up in the chair for me? You can sit there. You know what would look nice is to kind of spin it around and maybe raise you just an inch and you just sit right up in here, okay? I hope they didn't eat all that ice cream in the back because I know we both need some ice cream, don't we? We sure do. Okay, how about that backlight? Throw the backlight on the back wall. Thank you. Still light's going. The light's about a stop and a half under. I'm going to bring the camera down now. Camera height now has to come down. Good. Just sit on the stool and slide over out of the way, Bart, so I can keep working. Just sit on the stool. Okay. All right, put it right in. I broke it, but now I fixed it. What? I think. Uh, you know, what? I got it. Yeah, Just the that spinner works good. I spun it right up on the back wall. Just bring that off. These these uh, flashes actually have batteries that are added onto them that kind of help. Can you just fold both arms like this? Good, right there. Beautiful. Don't move. Is your name really Annika? You know what? I think your name, I think your name is, I know your real name is Cinderella. Is it? No? No, it's Pocahontas. Do you like that name? No? Okay. I'm going to fix your hair a little bit. You did great. Look on the TV. Can you see it? Oh, let me show you one more picture. I'll turn it around for you. Look at my camera for one second. Can you turn the monitor down a little bit? It's on wheels. We'll let Annika see her picture. Here we go. Chin down just a little, right there. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at, no, there we go. Now relax your mouth. Let's do a couple more. Look right here at me. Good, right there. Now I got her. I'm going to push some elements in here, which are just a little tree here. And another one over here. All right, whoops. Hey, Bart, or somebody come over here and just slide those plants to the left a little bit. Just take a little lower. All 
All right, here we go, right there. Beautiful. Turn it to me a little bit. It's kind of, it's kind of interface. Just take a knee there, Bart, and lower them like this. Take a knee, and now go like this. Right there, right there. Beautiful. Annika, look at me. Can you go like this? Yeah. What happens when you smile? Don't you laugh at me. You're going to laugh at me? Oh, I love that expression there. That's the portrait right there. Just take a break. Look at this, guys. What we've done, we've kind of created that shoot-through effect. And I think it's gorgeous. I love it. Pose it. Light it. Love it. Can I add your brother and sister? Because I've got them all individually photographed. Come on in, guys. So what we'll do now, let's see if we can fix this backlight. I need both stools. Bart, I'll give you that. Here, Don, you want to work with him? It just came apart. How about, I usually put the man farthest from the light and the woman closest. So, Alexis, you're going to be here, leaning in like this. Can you be real tall this time? Sit up real tall. Yep. I've got her on a block, and you're like this. And then, Tony, Anthony, you're going to go back here. Okay, right in there. And you're going to straddle, and you're both, all three going to get in here. Then I'm going to add mom and dad. And we got it. Then we're going to go outside, and we're going to take you on the roof and photograph you. Now lean in, Tony, Anthony, a little bit more. <clears throat> These blocks, another thing, when I go into a family's home, the blocks are awesome to put under the cushion so that when you sit on the sofa, you don't disappear. So the blocks go under the sofa. I remember doing a portrait once, and I went into their home to do the other child three years later, and I lifted up the sofa to put my block under there, and there was still a block under there from three years ago. The mother could have died that I left the block. In. She never cleaned her sofa for three years. It was in the formal part of their house, and I don't blame her, but <clears throat> my wife was laughing about that. All right, Anthony, get your shoulder right up to your sister, to Annika, your right shoulder. Put your hand on her leg and lean in there. Lean in there. Come on, baby. All right, Anthony, you feel like you're kind of far back there. Can you scoot closer? Come on in right into me. Yeah, and can you get your knee on this side of the chair, your left knee? That'll give you the ability to kind of lean into the picture. That's it. Yeah, pull that chair in tighter. Good. All right, right there. You're doing good? I think what I'm going to do, you guys are fine. I'm going to kind of watch this. I'm looking at the picture, and what's, what's not good? Alexa is closest to the camera, and I feel like she's going to be kind of enlarged. So I want to take the whole group and just... Rotate it around. So all I do is turn Annika this way, and you're going to go back a little, and you're going to come up a little. Keep coming. Yeah, right there. There we go. And can you, uh, I'm going to lower your chair a little bit. Stand up. Now sit again. Now just get right behind Annika. Right there. Just push your chair out and kind of lean in. That's good. That's good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Here we go. A little taller, actually. I made you too low. Maybe I'll take your left hand right here. Yeah, Monica, you're going to back up a little. Right there. Come in right here. And this hand, let me see your fingers right here. All right, this is a nice group of three. Inverted pyramid. Anthony, you just need to slide in behind your sister a little bit. Bart, go raise his stool a little bit. Just go raise him up. I want you guys to see the picture. He's got to be taller than his sister. So stand up a little. All right, now. And then kind of go behind your, get in tighter. I know, there you go. You're there. You're there. Now look at me. Look at me. There we go. Come on in there, Tony. Anthony, come on. Come on, baby. Tip your head this way. Even a little higher. Do you know how to do it? You just, there you go, right there. Now lean in. Put your hand up on your sister's shoulder. Softly. Get in right in on her face. Get it almost on her hair. Come in this way a little more. You're there. You just need another inch. Come on. Up. Right there. We're there. Scoot to the front of your chair so you can really get in tighter. Yeah, this way. And turn your shoulders to your sister. All right, here we go. We've got to do something funny to make little Annika laugh. Here we go. One, two, three, Annika. Oh, she, I see. She's starting to smile a little. Tony, can you get in a little tighter? And put, almost feel your sister's hair on you. And then bring your chin down. Come way over the top now. You've got to work it. There we go. Right there. One, two, and Annika, don't you laugh at me. Don't you laugh. You're not, are you? You're not. There you go. I knew you would. How about this? Oh, I love it. I love it. Right there. Look at me. Tony, can you feel her hair with your cheek? 
Yep, can you turn your nose to your sister? Alexa, can you slide out to lower you? Slide, slide, more. Now lean in. Yes. Guys, come on in. Tony, two inches. Give it to me, buddy. Now tip your head. Tony, a little taller. Yes. Annika, a little, I mean, uh, Alexa, a little lower. And your nose to the right, Alexa. Now, tone Anthony's chin down and come right to your sister. Come right to your sister. Chin down, no smile. No smile, right there. Come right over the top there. Right there. <clears throat> now, everyone smile. Especially Annika. Can you tickle her just a little, guys? Just tickle her a little bit. Just a little. Look at me. Yes. I love it. I love it. Tony, your chin down. Anthony's chin down. Everyone relax your shoulders. Yes, that was huge. That was huge. Anthony, I want you to get right on top of the girls. C come on in there. Chin down. Chin down. Right there. That's the shot. Yes. If Annika smiles, I'm done. Annika, smile. Don't you laugh, Annika. Come on, teeth. Teeth. Come on. One, two, three. Teeth. Yes. Right there. All right, relax. I want to add the parents. And I want to talk to something that was really big there. Come on in, Marcel, and tell me again. Al Allison. Allison, why don't you stand right in the middle and Marcel right here. Watch what happened. Anthony was like this. I always say, sit up and relax your shoulders. That's huge. That happens all the time where people shrug their shoulders and I want to relax them. All right, here we go. Love it, guys. You're almost done. Turn around to me a little bit right here, Alexis. Your shoulders. Good. How about accessorize? How about, Catherine, come in here, please. You see this, um, yeah, what are they called? They look cool. Now, I feel like Marcel, a little low, maybe we should give him a little block, or you know what? Are you in heels? Nope. Well, you're fine. Just spread your feet. There we go. There we go. We're there. All right. I love it. Now, I think I'm going to slide you this way a little bit. Can you come up a little bit? Good. All right. Good, good, good. Marcel, you come out this way a little. Bart, we can get rid of the reflector, I think. Just bring it back a little because this fill light's in place. And then I can get the plants in the picture. I really, um, I like what's happening. Let's do it real quick and I might change it. Your elbow, let me go live. I think I can go live view and just show you guys as I refine this picture, okay? Let's go. There we go. Here's the picture. All right. <clears throat> what I'm looking at is a, a void right on Anthony's left knee. Tap your knee, Anthony, your left knee. I need, I feel like we build our foundations from the ground up. And I feel like this one's kind of an inverted pyramid. Do you see that? I see that. We could, we could put Allison over there, and, and we could put the women in the front and the men in the back. I think that would be better. Let me just take this picture, and then we'll compare. Everyone look at me. Marcel, you come out a little bit. Come out a little more. Good. Tony is very square to the camera, isn't he, Anthony? Anthony, turn your shoulders to the right. Keep turning. Drop your shoulder and lean over to your sister a little bit. Good. Now, uh, Alexis, turn your nose to the right. Gosh, I can't believe Annika is so good. Did you guys promise her a present? She's going to get a surprise, isn't she? Marcel, lean right into the picture, Marcel. Yeah, pretend like you're happy to be in the family. Here we go. Look at me, everybody. Look at that smile I got from Anthony. Anthony's left arm. See how static it is? Your elbow out, Anthony. Your left elbow out. Yep, and your hand in on your thigh. Up higher. You see, that's helping. Lean in a little. Marce uh, Mar uh, Annika, look at me. Annika, be real tall. Sit up tall. Yes, right there. Right there. Alexis, lean in a little bit. And you need a chin down a little bit from Anthony. Anthony, good. Good, right there. Now, that's no flash. And that's okay, because I'm going to make this picture better. I, I like the composition. I don't love it. If you could just have another child, it would be okay. <laughs> but here's what I'm thinking. What if we let Allison take your seat, okay? So you switch. That's going to put mom right in the middle. And this is how you have to do it. You have to be on these sessions and shoot it, look at it, and say, how can I make this better? Who's not going to like it? Who doesn't look good? And in that last picture, I saw some problems. Now, I'm thinking of another face right here from Anthony. You're going to come over here. Let's get the other posing stool. It's right here somewhere. Anybody see a stool? Was I sitting on it? 
posing stool. There's two in here? Yeah, there's two in here. So bring me all the handsome blocks, because this is another testament to how great his product is. You can just stack them up and make a posing stool out of it. <clears throat> you guys feeling okay? Good. You feeling good? You're looking good. You're looking perfect. All right. We're just going to stack them up here. Just give me one and you start throwing them down here. Yep. You get five blocks, all different sizes. They weigh nothing and they're impervious to high heels. And I think this set's about 350, I think. I think they can go in different ranges. You can get a smaller set, too, as well. They might be a little more. I'm so, I hate to quote them. Look at that. That might even be a little tall. Sit right here, buddy. All right. All right. I got it. I'm going to push you in a little tighter. Stand up. Sit down. All right, guys. After this, it's time for ice cream. Allison, turn to me a little bit. She's going to be in a basic pose. Tip your head to the right. Good. <clears throat> so, for me right now, the most important thing in this picture is that the mother looks good. That's the most important thing. The second most important thing in this picture is that the mother looks good. <laughs> the third thing is the man has to pay. <laughs> so he has to look good. That's straight from Hanson Fong, and he's such a brilliant educator. Your right knee behind your wife, well, your mother. Yep, there you go. He's like, what, my wife? You guys ready? Good. On your mark. Get set. Your knee this way a little, Anthony. Lean into your mother a little bit. Be taller. Turn to me. Yep, put that knee over a little to kind of hide the blocks. Your foot over a little. I'm loving it. Turn your face this way a dash. You are awesome. I'm just wondering if that's the best place for you. I think so, right there. All right, here we go, guys. And I'll probably unplug and go with um, flash as well. So this will be one with no flash. And I feel like, Anthony, you just need to kind of come into the group a little bit more. Come on. Pretend like you're happy to be in the family. Yep. Can you throw Don the block under him? Let's raise him up. Yeah, we're going to get you up with your father. Sit up. Just like that. Beautiful. 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 Your shoulder to your mother a little bit. Marcel, spread your feet a little so you're a little lower, a little lower. Right there. And that keeps his back tall. That's it. What a nice family group. Right here. One and a half, two. And Marcel, lean over to your wife a little bit. Now watch this refinement. Marcel, your nose to the right. You see how I turned his face to the light? Alexis, your chin down a little and your nose to the right. You see how I turned her? Now watch this refinement. Alexis, your elbow in front of your daddy's tummy. Marcella, Marcella's thin. Keep going all the way up. He's thin. Most of my clients, I can't say that. <laughs> and I'm always hiding bodies. It's called body blocking. So watch this. Alexis, lean in more. Lean and pull the right shoulder back. Yep, and put your hand, your right hand on your thigh, on your, on your, and on your lap, and bring your elbow out. More, 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 more. Did you guys see that refinement? That's what I'm doing is building the base. Now, we're going to do the same with Anthony. Your left elbow up, Anthony. Yes, Anthony, your shoulder behind your mother. Turn more, turn more. Anthony, you slide out, slide out, and turn to me. Turn to me. Yes, that's good. All right, lean to your mother an inch, Anthony, and we're done. Anthony's chin down a little. And if Annika just smiles a little, we got it made right there. And, all right, that's no flash. I'm going to unplug for a second. Or no, I'm going to take it off video is all I have to do. And I'm going to shoot away. Here we go. I love it. And I'm looking right down the middle here. And I want, I want Allison to turn to me a dash. Just a little. Right there. Drop the shoulder and tip your head right there. Good smiles, everybody. Teeth, teeth, and you're done. Hey, let's get your shoulder up there a little bit more, Anthony. Your right shoulder. Turn to me. Turn it to me. Relax it. Yeah, you're just turning. You're turning. There we go. Right there. Beautiful. Can the back four people, the back four, Lean, to, lean over your daughter a little. That's keep, keeping everybody in focus. Tip your head this way a little, Marcel. Right there. You guys did it. It wasn't me. It's you. Big smile. Come on. Make sure we're nice and sharp because I'm on manual focus. And how about this time? Can everybody just hug your mother? Hug Allison. Just get in close. We got the picture. Right there. No, you look at me. That's good. Can you come up higher, Annika? Come up real high on your knees. Get up. Let her sit on the arm of the chair right up there in that little opening. 
Yeah, that's all hug Annika. Look at that. Oh, I love it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Ah! Get in there, Tony. Get in there. Turn your nose to the right, Alice, uh, Alexis, your nose. A little more. A little more. Right there. Now let me zoom in. Annika, don't you laugh at me. Annika, don't laugh. Come on, Annika. Woo! We did it. Pose it, light it, love it. We did it. Right there. Oh, did you hear that? All right, let's have another one. <laughs> you guys wait. Let's, let's talk about this. A lot of things just happened. You guys can go eat ice cream. Can we uh, give them a big round yeah. of applause? Thank you. You guys were great. Really great. Thank you. Give me a handshake, buddy. Five. Thank you. Make sure they give you some chocolate. Thank you. It's nice. Thank you. Give me some five, buddy. Um, okay. A lot of things happen real fast there. And it was fun. It was really fun. Wow, look how pretty these guys look. This is going to be fun. And look at the sofa. Can somebody just pan your camera over here and look at them over there just sitting on the sofa? That's awesome. They're just ready to go. I think what we'll do is just put that sofa over here and just shoot on it. And you know, these rust walls, I'm looking at how the, the brown goes with the green. Um, we might, they're kind of hard to move. I, I, I think we could just to change the brick wall um, and I can talk to you guys about what we're doing. Um, they're not hard to move. I'm just thinking out loud if we have to, but the green sofa against the brown is awesome. I also have a painted background from David Mayhew, but I talked to today about that, that I only want to use that when it's way out of focus. If I put five people in front of a background, it's hard to shoot 1.2. Good point? 1.4, and I don't want to do that. So I want to shoot about five, six on the families, and the background would be too busy on that shot, I think, unless I could really get it way out in front of it. All right, so two things happened in that session that were critical. One, it was this, it was this, shoulders up. Boy, I've seen that in a lot of portfolios. And so, relax, that was good. And you're learning a lot of my good one-liners, you know? Pretend like you're happy to be in the family. That's great, you have a visa or master charge. That's just funny, I mean, I wouldn't do that with a client, but I do that in classes because I'm not really thinking about anything other than trying to keep these guys relaxed over there. So I can't wait to meet everybody. How did we find you guys, huh? Craigslist, all right. Uh, family on cat. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Yes, I'm listening. Can we ask you a couple of questions before yeah. we bring the next family? Why don't family? we start changing the set for questions? Perfect. And we're going to go. I think we should do those rust walls. Why don't the four of you, can they move over? Yeah, yes. you guys move out of the way. And uh, why don't I just stand here, and I'll answer your questions. All right, great. The first Watch one from the chat rooms is, how do you meter your camera for different skin tones? How do I meter my camera for different skin tones? I basically, in all my family groups, I've had those people on a plane. I mean, let's look at this right here. There, the difference between the front nose, which is Annika, and the back nose might be this far, OK? So what's my problem here? Nothing. I have no problem. I would have a problem if Marcel was too far back. Now they're saying maybe, hey, we've got darker skin, lighter skin. You know, that's just going to be an area where I'm going to deal with it in post, and I'm not going to worry about it right now. I think their skins all blend beautifully together. I don't think it's much of an issue. I hope I answered that properly. I think I've had a bride once who was very light and a groom who was very dark. And that was a challenge. You know, that was a real challenge. <laughs> I see this coming in. There they go. We're changing the set. So this is it. Let's go for it, baby. So when I had the light and the dark, I tried to continue over lighting the groom. So I always say put the light on the same side as the woman. Light the woman, light the woman. And let the guy lean into the picture. On that wedding, I kept the light on the guy's side, because otherwise he was disappearing. But now that's an easy fix in post you know, if you want to lighten somebody. All right. Okay, next. All right, so we have the, the models that we are working with today, but we have a lot of questions that are coming in about the what if it was this person, what if it was that person. We don't necessarily have them, but maybe you could just talk a little bit to a question from Mom's Photo, and Lisa LaRue also wanted this question. How would you pose and light someone that's a, in a wheelchair with little mobility? Um, most of these poses that are seeing are requiring flexibility of the client. And then the second question in terms of things that is, what about heavy, heavier set 
models or okay. people. Okay, no problem. You guys take off. Come on through here. I'm going to tell you, I've worked with a lot of wheelchairs, and a wheelchair is not a bad thing at all. In fact, I can even do a mock wheelchair, you know, right here, right now. And it's basically, you put your hands on the wheelchair, and you lean into the picture, and then maybe you throw your arms like this, and if you see a little bit of the handle, I always have black fabric with me, I always do, I could cover the handles. So I bring the people into the wheelchair. So the wheelchair is not a problem. Um, the next thing would be heavier set people. Again, what I'm doing there, I'm keeping the body 45, I'm keeping the camera above eye level, and even maybe a little higher above eye level to minimize the body and draw the attention to the face. I do that with slim people. I'm telling you, it's so funny to see someone who's so gorgeous and so slim and beautiful, and I do their picture without a stool or a low camera, and they're like, oh, I'm so fat. And I'm looking at her like, you are not fat. You are beautiful. And, but that's people's perception. So we need to stay in on the faces, I think. That's, that's my rule. So just kind of draw the attention to the face. That's what I like to do. Okay, great. Next question is from Wasim. <laughs> Uh, this course is gorgeous. I noticed that he crops joints such as fingers and hands. Is that okay as a rule? And if so, how far can I go? Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm one who does, I don't really love to crop off an arm or hand, so I don't know when I did that, so I'm sorry. And um, usually, I've been pretty loose with my cropping lately because my new files are so gorgeous. I mean, I'm going to just give a shout out to my buddies at Canon. This new Mark III camera, 5D Mark III, at whatever the price point, 2800 is is there's more technology in this camera than the space shuttle. Don't quote me on that, but it is awesome. So I shoot a little looser these days, and I crop in Lightroom, and I crop in... So I don't want to cut off legs and hands. And a lot of times, the problem for me is to get a picture into an 8x10, because I'm shooting so much full frame, which is 7x10. I'm sure at home you can relate to that. You cut, a, you know what I mean? You cut an 8 by 10 and you got all kinds of cropping problems. So what I do is I celebrate the 7 by 10. I sell 7 by 10s and I tell them we'll have to professionally, um, professionally uh, work them as far as framing and matting, okay? But it, I hate to cut some pictures to 810, 11 by 14, because now we've gone to the longer format. I loved the square. I hate to say that. I don't hate to say it. I mean, I'm a Rolleiflex nut. I have seven Rolleiflex cameras, and you'll see me out on the location. My people look at me, what are you doing with that? Sometimes the dad comes out and sees me with a twin lens Rolly, and it's just a conversation piece. And I always say, I'm going to make a few pictures with my Rolly. And I always do, and, and I always make it happen. And the digital just smokes it. And there's no real reason to use film. It does look a little different, but I've got a lot of heroes in this business. My heroes are Cecil Beaton, and uh, you know I love the work of Avedon. They both did all their work on twin lens rollies. They had big cameras, and they had little cameras. And they were probably saying, you know, I like the twin lens rollie. You know, it's so sharp. It's so edge to edge beautiful. And I could take a picture from a rollie and blow it up as big as that window. And it's, you know, a Hasselblad the same way. Um, so I'm a fan of film. And I'm, not, I'm never going to change it. I've got all my Hasselblads, and the value is nothing. So I'm going to keep them and shoot with them from time to time. All right. We're ready to go? Um, no. Let's, let's <laughs> just have a, a little bit more of a discussion here. Um, do you guys have any questions in the or for us in the studio audience? Any questions? Yes, Jerry. Why don't you just have a hug in the beginning? I mean, all that work to, <laughs> for, for the money shot in the end. I'm just teasing. <laughs> I know, and I'm trying to think of a good answer. Um, I could pan back a little bit and show you the picture a little looser. Uh, you know what's funny, and, and I keep relating to this, because I have to relate to this, because I'm showing you what was taught to me. And Joseph Zeltzman, and I have all of his prints. I, I would love to show them to you. Joe Zeltzman, he had all these beautiful posed pictures. And a Joe Zeltzman portrait... Um, oh, Clay? We're just going to stop. We're having some technical issues. Okay. So that the.
Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, don't worry about anything. We did not have Clay teaching while we had that little technical glitch. So you didn't miss anything. And we're going to throw it back over to Clay to keep going and start, start over with our new family. OK, great. You know, we're so hot, we blew a fuse. <laughs> we broke the say. internet, Clay. You, know, you broke we, the we internet. We pulled down the internet. Hey, maybe we crashed the server, because so many people need to learn technique. Let's quit faking it out there. Let's get busy and learn how to do it correctly. I, I, you know, I don't want to disrespect anybody who picks up their first camera and just goes out to do family pictures, children, and fun. You know, and that's the way I did it. I just didn't know any better. I would love to pick up a guitar right now and play Malagueño. You know, it's a beautiful ballad. I could never do it. I would need 10 years of practice, and I could do it. All right, that's what you need in this type of photography. You could do it in a couple, three years with some intense practice. But what I'm doing here are just simple compositions. I'm building pyramids. I'm going for expression, and I'm trying to sell pictures. So now, we just, I mean, we are working on the fly, guys. I mean, we just slid in a new background, a new sofa, and... I see a model in the back, and I think her name is Beverly. Beverly, can I do your picture? Come on over. Come on. You'll love it. It's so much fun. So I've got a challenge here. You know, a sofa like this is so, you know, flat and horizontal. So how about just sit up here, and let me just see what happens, and cross one knee over the other, okay? Cross one knee over the other. Great. Oh, look at that. Now, how about spread your arms like this? Yep. Lean this way and tip your head that way. Now look at that. She's in the seated three-quarter bridal pose. Do we have the thinnest block I can find? Because I'm going to illustrate something. Can you jump up? Stand up. And now sit on there. Go ahead. Good. You'll never notice that little rise. Yeah, I'm, used, I'm, I'm all plugged in. I was using a different camera here. Let's go live. Sorry about that. Cross your right knee over your left. Beverly, stand up again and push that block all the way under back there. Stand up now. Put, go ahead, Bart. Push the block way back. We might need to do a block under every soap, but now sit there again. We'll see. Good. Yeah, Bart, pull that way over so it doesn't show. Good. All right. That's a cute little portrait right there, isn't it? We keyed the beautiful teal with the brown. Turn your knees this way a little bit. Keep turning. Good. Lean this way a little. Now tip your head this way. Look at me. Watch me. Watch me. Yes. But this way. Yes. Now turn your nose back to me. Yes. Just a little bit. Your whole nose. There you go. Your face and your nose and everything. That's cute. Where would I crop this? I think the boots are adorable, but I'm going to just crop it at the knee. Is that okay? Here we go. Now I'm on live feed on this video, but I'm going to take it off video so I can get my flashes to go. I'm going to focus. I went in close to focus, and I just saw the most beautiful face in there, and I took that. I think it's a little bright, so what do I do? I simply can turn this down from my camera, and I, you know, sometimes it grays out for me. Let me just give it a quick chance and see if I go to menu. There's the picture style. Look, I've been doing black and white. You see that little arrow up there? If you just hit that one time, you can find your black and white real quick. But what I'm looking for here is the speed light control. So I'm going to go this way. External speed light. Now you see that? I can come in here and there's my exposure right there. You see all that going on? ETTL, manual, multi. Stay with me. I'm going to just see if I can darken it real quick. More technology than the space shuttle. Flash burn. Flash clear. Flash function. Now you see the plus. It says I'm um, plus a third. And it feels a little bright. And I can just pull it down from the camera here. Now look right back at me. Tip your head to the right. To the other right. Yes. And a big smile. Let me see. Teeth. Teeth. See if it's a little darker. Yeah, it looks beautiful. That is a gorgeous portrait. I think we, that we just hit it, didn't we? And we controlled it from the camera. Now, how about, let me do a couple more. Because you look at the TV. You're like a movie star. Look, look, see? <laughs> I love it. 
Now tip your head to the right a little bit more. Tip your head like this. Yeah, look at that. Now her shoulders are a little square to the camera. Can you turn your shoulders and your knees this way? Keep turning, keep turning. Yes, now keep your back real tall. Now drop your left shoulder. Yeah, I showed her. Look, I'm dropping your left shoulder. And then tip your head to the right. Right there. Now just relax your shoulders down. Watch me. Shoulders down. Yes. Yep. Back tall. Yes. Tip your head here a little. I know your middle name. They told me. Your middle name is Cinderella. They told me. Yes, they did. Smile, smile, te teeth. Yeah, right there. See, I use the same lines over and over. I'm just, when you get, when you get there, you just do it. Let's see that smile. Ah, love it. Love it. Now, I'm just looking at it. I mean, it just looks beautiful. Do, do, don't you come, come take a look. I think, you know, for this portrait, I gave you enough space to hang this in your home as a really, you know, probably a large portrait. I would, I would say this an easy 24-inch portrait because I've given you the space. I like to shoot in close, but this, this sofa gives her a sense of space. And what I'm doing, I'm just going to tell you guys at home, I'm speaking as an artist would speak. I'm speaking, have you ever, you want to learn how to sell? Go to Las Vegas. Go to the Wynn Hotel. Go into a watch store. And before you know it, you're about to walk out with a $10,000 timepiece because they know how to point out all the benefits and this, this watch will be worth more money next year. They, they increase in value. Let me talk about some of the benefits. And they point out all the benefits of that watch. I'm bringing her to the portrait, the mother, and I'm going to point out the benefits. I'm pointing out the head size, how we would hang it. I would actually frame it. What I would do is put a, a little mat right here and a brown frame around the picture. I'm talking about how, you know, I'm engaged like that. So now, Beverly, I see you have a sister. Let me guess your name, okay? Don't tell me, please. Come over here and let me guess. Did they give you any chocolate yet? Not yet? How about curl up here with your sister here? And we'll do the two of you together. And then what do we have, a brother also? How about we give, well, let me give your sister a solo portrait. So you come out, Beverly. And how about we stand her on a couple of posing blocks back here? Come around here. I'm going to guess how old you are, okay? Come over here. Good. Come, wait, let me have one more block, Bart. Just throw it to me. All right, there he goes. Stand right there. Woo! Now, can you put this hip right up here like you're sitting there? Look like this. One leg. I'm going to scoot you in. Wait, a little top. Give me one more little block. One more. Now, yep, stand down. Now, stand up. Now, just sit right there. One leg. That's it, right there. She's in a basic pose, head and body to the light. Oh, oh the little hair in your face. Yeah, the only thing wrong with this background is that little band going through it. And in respect of time, I'm going to take the picture and deal with it later. But if I were in my studio, I would be flipping these things sideways, and I would fix it. But let me get the portrait. You are beautiful, right there. Oh, look at you. I love it. Woo. Oh, that's great. Pull that hair off your eye. How about, Tra is it Travis? Why don't you come right in and stand in the middle? And let's put Mom and Beverly in here, too. You are great. I love it. You're so funny. I'm going to guess your name. Your name is Silly Dilly, isn't it? Come on in. Let's have all of you come in. Beverly, wait, you stay here. This is great. Let's put a posing stool in here for Travis. <laughs> Mom, you can just sit right here. She might disappear. I think it's good. You cross your ankles left over right. And Beverly should be right over here in the middle. And can you? That's great. And put her on this then, Travis. And we'll give this over here to Travis. Travis, you're going to take this and sit on it. Flip it over. And you know what I'm going to do is raise it up a little bit right there. Man, this is going to be a good picture. That's good. Come on the front row, Beverly. You have that pose down really good where you cross one ankle over the other. Yep. And then you lean over to your mother. Wait. Where's those bubbles? Let's get some bubbles going. I got bubbles. You like bubbles? I got bells, and I got whistles, and I got tickle feathers. I got it all. Just keep it right in the mix here. All right, here we go. Pull your hair off your eye up here. I never did learn your name. What is it? All right. What, Jane? Jane, Beverly. What's your son's name? Scott. You're Scott? My brother is Scott. 
I love that name. All right, here comes the bells and the bubbles. Scott, do you like bubbles? Yeah, we got bubbles right here. Let me show you. I got them. Come on in here. Come help me right here. Caitlin. Caitlin's doing it all. Woo! Caitlin's going to take over. And what, what we have to do when we do this, all wind machines, all props, all fun comes over here, over on this side, Caitlin. You know why? My lights are here. So if she's going to be anywhere, she's going to be in between the light and the lens. That's awesome. Travis, lean in there. Travis, lean in there. Now, mother's name is? Aaron. Aaron, your hand's under Scott's knees. That's a big tip so I can see Scott. How about, throw, how about if, I got a better idea. Beverly, sit over by your mother over here, and you drop Scott right into this little corner. That's good, that's good, that's good. I love it, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love ice cream too. Now, what you're going to do is fix your top here a little. It's just, there we go, right there. You know what we'll do? Just leave him alone for a second. I'm going to focus on the four of you. Let him go. I don't need him. Turn your knees this way a little bit. Good. Beverly, you turn your knees a little. Aaron, is it Aaron? Sit up there like we had you, but the other way. Face the other way. Face the other way. Yep. That's the shot right here. Let's go. I think he needs a block under his sofa. So I'm going to give the thinnest one. Here you go, Bart. We're going to put that under the back of it. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, now scoot him in a little closer. <laughs> All right, here we go. Everyone lean. Is it Aaron? Uh, Aaron, and tell me your name. In the, one more time in the middle of the mother. Aaron. Aaron. And up here, her name? Jane. Jane, lean into the picture. Good. Beverly, real tall. Let's let him go. Just let him run. Let me get the four of you really zeroed in. Cross your ankles, Aaron. That's gorgeous. Hide your left hand, Aaron. Good. Jane, the hair off the eye. I have scissors. Here we go. I'm just teasing. I'm not going to cut your hair. He's great. <laughs> Let him have fun. All right, you guys look at me, Travis. That's good. Right there. Let's take a look at where we're at right now. Let's look at this picture. Let's look at the exposure. All right, Jane, look at me. That little kicker light's hot on Travis. You see it up there? Travis is getting too much light. And this little backlight, you, you do this one, Bart. Can you get it? Let's just take it out. Let's just let the light, just let it fall. You know what? We've got a main and a fill. Let's let it fall. You're funny. You're funny. Here we go. Who's got the bells? Who's got the bells? I'll get the bells. All right, here we go. Oh, I got a tickle feather, too. All right, Bart, this thing is all zeroed in. I'll get them. Just get a chair and sit down. Is there a posing chair left? Way back there. You know, take a chair. Sir, can you hand me those chairs, the stool? Because if you're going to make this picture, you've got to saddle in. Two minutes. Here we go. No, here we go. It's right here. You just sit down. Ho, ho, ho. You want them? You ever heard of Santa Claus? I bet you have. You just sit right here with Mama, and I'm going to tell you a story about Santa Claus. He's got these reindeer. He's, have you ever heard of Rudolph the reindeer? He goes like this. Ho, ho, ho. You're so good. Now, bring him up a little in front of you. The most important thing right now is that Mother looks good. Cross your ankles. Beverly, put your elbow in front of Mama. All the way. Yeah, and then put your elbow on her knee. Here we go. Travis, lean forward. Jane, a little hair off your eye. Yeah, Jane, lean to Dad. Okay, I'm going to tell you a story. I'm going to be Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho! Shoot away. Shoot away. All we need is a little boy's face. Sit up tall. And the back row, can the, can the guy seated, can you back up a little bit, just scoot to the back of the sofa? Yeah, because we're going to get an exposure uh, focus issue. Here we go. Love it, love it, yes! You know what? Can you put your son right on your knee, on your lap? Just a little bit. Just a little. Right there. Just a little bit. Right there. Woo, woo, woo! Travis, get right in there. Let's see if you can put your hand right over here. Let me raise you a little. Just stand up. Now sit right there. Here we go! I'm going to tickle you. I'm going to tickle you. Watch this. Let me tickle Beverly. <laughs> I'm going to tickle Jane. <laughs> you want me to tickle you? I'm going to tickle you right there. Shoot away. I'm going to get you. You know I'm going to get you. Oh, I knew it. Oh, I knew it. I'm going to get you. I'm going to pull your legs down. Watch this. Do you want me to eat this? I can eat this. Ready? Here it goes. I'm going to eat the whole thing. You dare me? Here it goes. Ta-da! I got you good. Beverly's chin down. Now put him out a little bit. I wanted to kind of hide. 
your uh, blouse is kind of tugging. So maybe he can put his elbow in front of you. Yep, there we go. Let him just sit over there. That's cool. Crisscross applesauce. Pull your legs together. This is the last picture. I love it. I love him over there just being himself. Here, do? Oh, I love your shoes. Are those checkers? We have about a minute to go. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do one more picture with bubbles. There we go, Bart. Shoot that. Mama, scoot back a little. Jane, that hair off your eye. Beverly, sit tall. Beverly, tip your head to your mother. Can you lean on Mama a little bit? Lean right here. Just lean on her. Oops. Lean on right here. That's it, right there. Now sit tall. I'm going to make it sound like a dog. Now I'm going to do a kitty cat. Kitty cat goes, moo, moo, right? Yeah? Moo. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Jane, tip your head this way. I mean, uh, Aaron, tip your head this way. That's it, right there, and smile. Got it, done. Thank you. You did good. You're all finished. All right. Now what? <laughs> I know one little boy who's happy about that shoot. That's <laughs> adorable. Wanna, very, yeah, I didn't do just cute. the three kids. If you want to jump out and throw them in there, if you have a minute, we'll just do all three. Put Jane in the middle. Jane, I, jump in the middle. Beverly, you take the middle. You're the oldest. I like Jane up on top where she's sitting up there. Sit on the sofa like you did. Right there. Shoot away. You got it? Here we go. <laughs> you want to see what's funny? If I tickle you, you see that guy over there? I could tickle him too. You want to see? Watch this. You sit on this little pad here, okay? And you put your feet right here. And you sit right up in here, okay? Get in close, Beverly. Get, and lean into your sister. Right here. There we go. Right there. Now watch. I'm going to tickle my friend over here. Ready? Here goes. Don't you laugh. Here he goes. Watch this. <laughs> you want me to tickle myself? I'm going to tickle myself. <laughs> you want me to tickle you? I will. I'm going to tickle you. Jane, can you slide over? Let's help her to the middle. I'm going to help you. Right there. You stay right there. Right there. A little more. That's it. So we've got a pyramid going. Last shot. Last shot. Last shot. Hey, what's his name? I don't even know. The young boy. Scott. Yeah, my brother's name. Scott, lean over to Beverly a little bit. <laughs> Scott, go to Beverly a little bit. I'll help him. Here. You want ice cream? Yeah. Okay, he wants ice cream. Right there. Right there. Don't anybody move. Don't anybody move. The, 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 the shot is really right here coming down on him, but I'm going to tickle Scott first. Here comes Scott. Here it comes. Scott, you want to see magic? Who's got a silver reflector? Because you can pop him in and out. He's smiling right here. All right, last time. One, two, three. Yes, T. Don't you laugh, Scott. Here I come. Here I come. Here I come. Here I come. There it is. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. Got it. We already got it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Normally I would do the parents, I'd do more, but I think, you all right? They don't want to leave, for ice cream. they don't want to yeah. leave. He doesn't want the portraits to end. <laughs> you know, if you were to ask me what I think my strength is, it's, you know, children. I love kids. <laughs> I miss my son, he's seven. And it just, every time I photograph a child, I feel like I'm photographing my son. And a little girl, I feel like I'm photographing the daughter that I don't have. So how do you bat a thousand? You just love people. You love on them. That's how we bat a thousand. Look at those guys. You know, we could take those cameras at 14 frames a second these days. We could make a movie right there, you know, with pictures and video and put music to it. We're doing that, you know. You've seen, I've showed five videos in the last two days. He doesn't want to leave now. He doesn't want to leave now. I'm going to tickle you. <laughs> All right. Clay, bye this bye. was just a wonderful, beautiful setup, and it actually looks really portable. Can you go through it one last time, all the different uh, pieces of gear that you used to achieve this, this exact setup for this family portrait? Well, one thing that I really love is having the block. This sofa is an old, kind of hard sofa where this was not as critical. If you go into a regular uh, home, a lot of these sofas are real cushy, right? So I think that this, you know, we have to just take the, pro the product. I was thrilled with the way that the 600s performed. You know, I didn't think about them. There was that one moment I wanted to tug them down a little bit, and I was able to do that from the camera. 
I, I need to study myself. I need to continue to grow. Uh, Bob Davis, my good friend Stephen Eastwood, Bruce Dorn, they're my buddies, they're my explorers of light, and I watch them work with the speed lights, and I'm always learning. And let me tell you something. What got you here won't get you there. I got here for 25 years of work, and if I don't keep working harder than ever, these youngsters are going to go by me, but they're going to have a tough time getting around me because I'm, I'm kind of leading the way, and I'm not going to lay down and die and, and say, well, there's a speed light. I'm afraid. What, what do you do with it? I'm going to get one. I'm going to read the manual, and I'm going to learn how to use it because it is current. It's new, and, and the equipment is made for us to kind of like make our lives easier. But sometimes, if you notice, what I did today, I went back to just feet and distance, you know, the, the, the cue flash, and then we kind of came over to the speed lights, and they worked beautifully. So you'll see me more and more using battery-operated flashes. My corporate segment is all cue flashes, I mean, sorry, uh, speed lights. So there we go, we go into a cor corporation, and we shoot speed lights. So what is the moral of today? What is the moral of the story? And I guess you know, work hard, but, you know, plan your work and work your plan. And I say that too much, but it's true. I see some of these compositions in my mind's eye. You cannot do this alone. You know, I kept throwing different people behind my camera. But the, the best thing is when I'm not shooting, honestly, and when I'm in there making it happen. I've gone to weddings, you know, and the best time is, I, I hate to say it, is where I'm helping everybody get the shot. I'm helping the young photojournalist get rid of the sky, shoot here, the video would look better over there. And I go to a wedding, I've been to the bride's dressing room, the groom's dressing room, and an hour later I say, I haven't even taken a picture. All I've been doing is helping my crew get great pictures. Because honestly, the dressing room is a waste of time. Uh, I need eight pictures. How can we go in and shoot 80? Some people shoot 800. And we need to just go in the dressing room with one goal in mind to get the bride out of the dressing room so I can get her under my lights and make portraits. That's what I think. So I can get her where she can enjoy her wedding. Speaking of weddings, I, I'm really going to hit it tomorrow. I'm going to show you some wedding pictures because, you know, we've been toying around with portraits. We've been on the roof. We've been doing a little fashion, kids. I really haven't done any wedding work. And I always see these top 10 wedding photographers of the world, these magazines, these periodicals. And I, I'm not going to take any away, anything away from these great photographers. Half the time, I'm, I'm looking at the work, and it's very weird. To be the top photographer of the world, wedding-wise, you have to do something super weird, you know? Wedding stuff that's just crazy. And, and my clients would say, what, what are you thinking? My clients want the best. They want portraits, groups, families, and they want to have fun. They don't want the photographer to rule the day. Dennis Reggie taught me, find the moments, don't fix them. Monty said, you don't, you, you've got to get the portraits. I'm stuck right in the middle doing both, and I'm happy to do it. So the mother wants the portraits, the father's writing the check. If the mother's not happy, if mom is not happy, nobody's happy, right? So we make mom happy. So tomorrow, we have a big day planned, and a lot of it's going to be centered around some wedding portraiture and also... I want to show you a little bit about the wedding story, a little bit, just enough to show you really that my real true passion has lied in weddings all these years. That's kind of how we paid for everything is, is wedding, wedding, wedding. So I go home to a bar mitzvah, then I have, guess what, August 10th, I'm doing a, a, a wedding and I'm not taking the pictures. The mother called me and she says, Stacy Klein, she flies on the jet with Obama, the Air Force One, you're doing her wedding in two years. She said, go look at his films. I went and looked. And I went gaga. And I called my daughter and I said, I know you don't want video, but go look at this guy's films. And she went and looked, and the bride said, okay, Mom, I'll do it. So we are doing a same-day edit where we're going to shoot the wedding, and it's a brunch edit. The next morning, I'm going to show their whole wedding, the Friday, the Saturday, and some engagement at the brunch. To me, it's a very exciting life to do that. I'm not going to even be taking the pictures. One more quick comment on that. <clears throat> I did a wedding the other day, well, it's been about a month or two, and I didn't do the pictures, I just did the cinema work. I'm looking through my eyeglasses, trying so hard to keep the camera in focus, DSLR is not easy, I'm just sweating it out, and I realized I had no connection with the client at all. She hired me three or four days before the wedding because her videographer got in a car crash. 
Now I'm at the wedding and I had trouble connecting. As a photographer, I connect well. I'm looking over the camera, I'm autofocus, I'm smiling all the time. When I'm making a film, there's no smiling because I'm just, you know, you know, fighting the camera. So um, it's a problem for me. Anyway, that, I hope that helps you guys. Tomorrow's a big, big day. The All biggest. right, and tomorrow we're probably going to start off going over homework again that you are about to sign tonight as well. I think Seattle is beautiful. And yesterday it was gorgeous at 8 o'clock, at 9 o'clock, and it was still bright at almost 10. So I want to see your best portrait, all natural light. You can add a flash, you can add a reflector, you can do whatever you want, but I want to see natural light, a portrait of an individual. Okay? That's my homework. And all of you out there online, uh, please do the same tonight as well. We'd love to see you participate and see your uh, Facebook posts and images as well and share. Um, Ma uh, Clay, th of course, I cannot leave you at the end of the day without an amazing, fantastic quote. This one comes from David Leparati, who says, I met Clay and Monty in 1990 and 92 when they were in Australia on a series of workshops. I learned so much about classic lighting and posing back then and still use those skills. Watching Clay has re un uh, refreshed that knowledge, and I will purchase this course to use as a refresher in classic portraiture. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Creative Live and yeah, Clay. That's, that's what a thrill, you know, to go to Australia. I've been there twice. Uh, we'll be in Budapest next month. And boy, what a, what a beautiful life to help people, you know, in their, in their profession. Well, Thank we're you. so glad that you could be here uh, with us, Clay. And again, just like David, I think that there are so many people who are at different levels and different skills of photography. But what we've been seeing over the past two days, what we'll see more of tomorrow, is truly learning those classics, learning those fundamentals um, here from Clay that you can then put your own spin on. But again, you always need a refresher. You always need a refresher. And that is why we make these courses available for you to purchase. And this course is $149. However, when you purchase it now during the live event, it is $99. That gives you access to all three days of course content, plus that beautiful bonus material that Clay created. He said he first had 150 of his favorite images that he had to get down to 10. We, got it, we, we gave him two more, so it's at 12. But he's illustrated how he's created, written about how he's created each of those, and it's an interactive PDF. So you can actually go through and click on the links when you have that e-file and find out even more details about he's, how he's created these pieces. So everyone, we are so excited for tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us today. And we will see you back 9 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow. Another big round of applause for Mr. Clay Blackmore. Woo! Thank you, Clay. Pose it, light it, love it. Whoa, what a day. You know, three families, a baby. A